happening, baby. Hell yeah. It is happening. Oh, yeah. This is happening. Yeah, cool. All right, so no F-bombs, no curses or swears in the first uh, f 10 minutes. Okay. I think. Oh, this could be tough. Yeah, I know. I, it's hard I can for do me it. too, trust me. Okay, there's a part of my brain, I, I swear, I can just flick it. Really? And then I can be perfect. Okay, not literally. Um, the switch is my dick. But I, I, I can, if I want to, just shut off being offensive, like any bit offensive or swearing. I think normal people have that switch. Yeah, I just Actually, have to be conscious about it. I think normal people have that. I, I, I don't I think have most that. people do, yeah. I don't have You don't? That. No. No. I, no. I think, like, to an extent, like, I can try. I'll, I'll have, like, varying degrees of success. You know? Oh, I see we have people here. Guys, thank you for coming. What are we doing tonight? We got, actually, two special guests. Yeah. Not just one. We got Fat Nuts Fred. You know him. You love him. And we also have the music composer for Down the Rabbit Hole, Ryan Probert. Uh, you, you know, the, the the thing I'm most excited about for the day, for the model debut on Saturday is getting to show off the model because it's amazing. But the second most exciting thing is that I'm probably going to have a lot of new eyes on me and I'm going to get to explain the origins of Fat Nuts Fred to a bunch of new people. <laughs> Fred, people... um probably have no idea what you're talking about right now do you want to explain what's going on for anybody who's confused about what you just said oh yeah um i'm retiring lauren so that i can detroit become human so lauren um, you 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 shot in the back of the head and you buried buried in a shallow grave oh i'm like he's going to be resurrected on occasion bury like him this this boy you can like, bury him next to like... uh jay chan jay chan's lonely in the in the cold hard earth you could bury him next to her Oh, no, she gets to stay cold. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair, fair. So what's going on? I'm sorry I, I interrupted you. What's what's? what's oh, no, um, I, I just got pulled into, okay, just, I got pulled into a, um, a new VTubing agency being headed up by Meriwether Media, which is really nice because I want to take streaming farther, and taking it farther means committing more time and resources that I just don't have. And so mm -hmm. Mary's like, Master Frederick, would you like to join my new? Because that's what he fucking sounds like. He's whimsical. Would you like to join my? Would you like to join my new VTubing agency? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So this guy created a new. By the way, who is he? Like, um, like who? Like, what's his? Like, who, what's his deal? What's his deal? He he's in charge of uh, Meriwether Media, which does a ton of very popular webtoons. Okay. A lot of comics. They do a lot of comics, but also since VTubing got big, they've also been doing a whole bunch of lore videos. So like, by the way, videos you, that your just switch explain... is fa your switch is faulty because you dropped an, you dropped an f bomb in my vod. <gasps> no. Yeah, gotta I'm get sorry. that get that checked out. So he makes comics. <laughs> yeah, um, he his team. He he has a team that makes comics. He's a writer, and then he has artists and editors, and like it's it's a whole operation. Okay. And he's like, I'm going to make a VTubing agency and just throw my resources behind it. So he started, this This guy started a new VTubing agency. Yeah, and he, it just got he, announced yesterday. He signed on five streamers, I think, five VTubers. Yeah. And yeah. one of them is 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 Fat Nuts. Is me, yeah. And they, uh, the model, the new new model. Yeah, new model, um, incredible model, holy shit. Do you want me this to show chat moves. the model? Uh, I mean, you can show the model. Um, it is cool. I can, can you understand send me a that it's not everyone's style. Can you send yeah, me yeah, a, here, a, I've got a JPEG? It. Yeah, listen, if you're going to sit here, li li chatters, <laughs> I, not everybody likes VTubing and stuff. Not everybody likes what, what we're talking about. If it's not for you, just shut up and let the people who it, who it is for enjoy it, okay? Yeah, um, it's... I, I will say, even if you're not into the design, the tracking and the the rigging. It's a top of the line the uh, rigging model. Is so top. good. It's a top oh of the line my, model, right? It is so expressive. It is so expressive. Um, here it is. You guys ready? You guys ready to see um, Lauren's replacement? You'll, you'll get to see it move on Saturday. But this is what he looks like. 
twinked up owl boy. <laughs> Goaded with the sauce. He's going to read you a story about how to have more riz. Actually, owled up twink boy is more accurate, I think. The chat is just full of people saying twink. It's amazing. <laughs> you motherfucker. Um, <laughs> All of you. Yeah, that he, that's a massive bottom if I've ever seen. I, I, I accept this. But he spent know, a long time designing it, um, getting it just right. I, I love him for the record. I, I love him. I, I, I did enjoy Lauren, but I, I like this a lot better than Lauren. That's right fair. Um, I, I know I know that it's going to be divisive, right? Um, yeah. yeah. But then again, um, do you remember when Lauren had beak lips? Uh, beak, no. Beak lips? Oh my god. If you go and look at some of the old clips on my channel, mm. you'll find Lauren with beak lips, and it is not the best design decision didn't get the you had to hadn't had the beak figured out yet like how the beak was not, gonna work not, not quite it, it took a minute uh, so but like it, yeah. when i got rid of the beak lips people like there were some people who were like oh god and yeah. then after a while it's like oh my god that's what he used to look like so th this character's name is just fred th this is just frederick there's no name for him like it's just he's, he's me yeah that's cool yeah. and and so what you you're gonna debut the model on saturday yeah, Saturday is the first time. And what time? What time will, are you going to do um, it? 2.30 Pacific. 2.30 on my Pacific. Stream. Stream's not moving. Um, also, stream content. I'm, I'm going to be doing a full week of streaming after the debut. Okay. And right now, the plan for day one is I'm going to take everyone on a tour. In case you were worried that the stream content was going to change, day one's content is planned to be a dig into the mystery flesh pit. So... Oh, nice. Don't worry about it. Nice. Everybody loves a little is... bit of mystery meat. I am keeping a, a, a chunk of the emotes. Some of them will be phased out eventually, but yeah. there are some that I could never get rid of. Like, come on. Come on, chat. Anyone who's subbed to me, you know which one we're keeping. Put it in there. Get, do it. Do it. So There you go. Yeah, don't... So, guys, don't miss <laughs> Fred's... Uh, <laughs> debut of his new model um the twink the twinked up tw twinked up bottom goaded with the with the owl sauce um i love him the mystery twink pit he's gonna do the mystery twink pit which everybody mm -hmm. loves the mystery twink pit right um but yeah guys even if even if you just uh go hang out for a little bit and, and support him you know it'll help you know it'll help people get, see what he's doing see his channel see his model yeah, I'd appreciate it. And the more people we can get in there, the more people we can tell about porking across America, which I'm also <laughs> considering doing for debut week. I, I'm going to try to be there uh, myself. I think it's Saturday, you said? Yeah, Saturday at 2.30 Pacific time. All right. Um, PM. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to I'll I'll try to uh, I'll try to be there. Uh, but oh, support. An another another thing I want to point out. This is not going to affect me going and on to other people's streams. Like, you're okay. still going to find me hanging out with people like you, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that was really important. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was never on the table to uh, limit who we could stream with. Does it Does it impact your ability to have other people on your stream? No, it does not. The only time that I can't have another person, like mm -hmm. someone from outside mm -hmm. of the group on stream mm -hmm. is opening week. Because we're trying to know these no are, cohesion. For, if you don't know, guys, these VTubing agencies, uh, they have their their contracts tend to be really specific sometimes about what Some the, of the talents can do. Okay, Japanese ones tend to be very specific. Oh, I heard um, the Japanese ones are like are like nuts. You dude, know, they're very not, they're restrictive. Not even, they're not even co-ed. They, they're right, uh, and they kind of like. I, I, they, they, I, I've heard some of the Japanese VTubers are making like less of a percent from the pro, from the pro, of the profits than the than the agency is. That's something like I, I've heard. Which is wild. Tell, That's right, wild to me. Um, right. I I will say like this is like I I am very happy with with, with this agency with Astroline. It's that a little. I'm joining it's, it's, in it's, on. It, it, um, I've heard it gets a little exploitative over there, but but Fred wouldn't um enter into something that was. You know, going to be bad for him. He's doing it because it's going to be part, good for him. So, well, part part of it is like this isn't just an agency, and he's like, "Hey, I'm going to take you and throw you into a pool with people you don't know." Good luck, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Like this. This is. I have known Mary mm -hmm. for 
the majority of the time I've been making content and we've like supported each other for a long time. I've known mm -hmm. him like, I think about as long as I've known you. So he knows the not, guy, not it's, not a, it's, not a, it's not like a stranger to him. Right. So he knows he the reached, person, he trusts the person. Yeah, yep. he reached out to me um, and was like, hey Fred, you want him? And then the other people who are in are Nick Nocturne, who mm -hmm. is, um, who also I have known since near the beginning of yeah. my time making content. Mm -hmm. um, we're very, very close. Um, and then uh, the person I know the least is Lumi, but like every time we've hung out, we've gotten along really well. And I'm close with Alf Hilda, mm -hmm. who is the other member. And like that's, it, it's a group of friends, right? Like it's an agency, but we all know each other. The, the way we're describing it is it, it's boutique. Okay. That's a cute word. Yeah. <laughs> really know what it is. What, like, like, what does that mean? It, it's just, um, it means that it's, like, small but specialty. Like, we're not looking to have, like, 50 talent, like, fi 50 um, members of the talent agency, right? Right, like, I understand. Which is good, because the less people there are, the more attention that that you get as a, mm -hmm. as, a, as, a as someone who's signed on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm excited for you, man. I'm going to come by and, and tickle your cloaca on Saturday. Yeah, um, please do. I, dude, I am, I am so excited for this model. I, I, I want to specify. I know we're spending too long on this. I didn't come on here just to like advertise it. I just wanted to talk about well, it. Well, I brought you on and... here to advertise it, so that's what I... we're doing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, um, but yeah, it's basically going to be. The changes are going to be a new coat of paint because I'm get. I got more than just the model. I got a bunch of great mm -hmm. assets as well, um, and then. I also am going to be getting support for organizing bigger things. Did I ever tell you about the Sun Tzu challenge? Yes, you did. It never yeah. came to fruition. We're we're working on it. You know what it is, bro. You 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 try to do a lot sometimes. I think you bite off a little more than you can chew sometimes. Right. Like we got motherfuckers and... waiting on 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 the fuck episode on four the Warrens, of the, of the yeah. Warrens for like fucking three years. Three years. Yeah. It's, they it's still too long. ask. I know. We need, to, dude. I we need to keep doing it. Well, I'm, I'm, well, well, uh, where's, but, and this is a question for the both of you. Where's this fucking Eve online video guys? Just waiting on, uh, on, uh, my graphic designer. Now he's okay. wait, actually he just, he's almost finished, but the second to last section, he Fred, only has you're, one beco more section you're becoming there. the George R. R. Martin of, of fucking <laughs> like of YouTube documentaries. No, I'm, I'm not. And you want to know why? why? Because I can show progress. Okay. All right. He can't. <laughs> He, that's true. He can't. That's true. He can't. Um. So, uh, yeah. Um. There it is. Uh. There's questions in the chat. Does the human have a cloaca too? I think you should just say yes. Who cares? Dude, I. Let's I, lock I that in. Love... Let's lock in that lore. I I'm I'm realizing now that I have so many opportunities to fuck with fan artists. Right. Like yeah. he has a single orifice through which he pisses, shits, and comes. And it's like on the back of his left knee. <laughs> that, that is now canon. That's... How many minutes are we in this? <laughs> uh, that is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> All right. So, dude. Um, Tonight, we're going to look at some real estate listings a little bit later on. But first, the two of you have something really special that oh, you yeah. wanted to show me, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted, so there's like, I bet there's like 15 people in chat that are going to know what I'm talking about. I wanted to introduce Mike to the world of Shri Chinmoy and his concerts. I just heard Spaghetti Bob. You're saying the yes. word Spaghetti Bob this repeatedly. A, this is a huge Spaghetti Bob. Um, well, a trusty guide introduced you to Sri Chinmoy. Yes, and... he did. Who, who guided that... you? Who? A uh, trusty guide. Oh, a trusty guide. No, yeah. Atrocity guide. Oh, atrocity guide. Yes. Are you familiar with her channel? Of course. You introduced me to her once. Yeah. yeah. Actually. Yeah, she's cool. No, she's fantastic. A trusty uh, well, guy. He was saying atrocity guide. Atrocity guide. Uh, no, Ryan, can, guide. Ryan, can you do me a favor? Can, can you say, hello, Carrie, you fit blonde? No. Please? <laughs> Please? I'm already being bullied. This is bollocks. 
<laughs> no. Hello, so... Kerry. You fit blonde. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not the same. It's not the same accent. It's not the same. I feel like I sound like Burton Face Man do, or something. Do, do you know who? Do you know who um, we're referencing? You know the no. That's the Spaghetti Bob that we should not go down that Ooh, rabbit hole. Right? Okay. Yeah, okay. that's enough. Okay, one Spaghetti Bob at a time. So okay. The dude's name is what now? Shri Chinmoy. Shri um, Chinmoy. He, he is a complicated figure, but the short version is that he is. One of those Indian gurus that came out of the the hippie movement. He got a lot of popularity. Um, On a scale of I one to Rajneesh Param, how uh, how intense are we talking? Uh, well, like he was much more benign mm, okay. than Rajneesh. Um, so mm. I will put him on a four, right? Okay. Like the potential is there, but okay. the ceiling is so much higher. The worst he's doing is kind of like bilking people All a right. little bit. All right. All right. He's um, a bilker. Well, um, and actually, I think that the best introduction to him is a little bit of Atrocity Guide's video, because it's going to be hard to understand precisely what's going on and how head-ass it is without, like, six minutes of context. He, he's Bil kind of interesting, mm -hmm. though, because he, he met, he, like, met the Pope and he talked to the UN and stuff. He's, he's yeah. kind of, he's kind of a bit more sinister and subvertive than, like, you know, He's kind of a big um, deal. He's got he 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 met people. He's a mover and a shaker. This guy. He yeah. If Rajneesh was counterculture, then Sri Chinmoy was like culture hijacking. Uh, okay. All right. All right. So I I see. I think I, I see the difference now. Um, you right, want to like link me up the atrocity guide video? Yes. Um. So if you go to this video and go to twelve minutes and twenty seconds. All right. Hold up. That is where the section about Sri Chinmoy begins. Let me see. I feel uh, like 12 I feel like minutes people, and 20 seconds. I feel like people who can hijack existing systems are more dangerous than people who try to tear tear them down. You feel that too? Uh, in the sense of, well, what's the system in question here? Um, like governmental systems and, and cultural systems. Like if they um, can worm I, their way into the existing uh, establishment. Right, I think like of a dictators. Yeah, yeah, because so. you are you because you already have a, a degree of trust with the public. You know, you right, already yeah, have you, that. You're you're um you're legitimized. When right, you do that, coups right? are another example. Coops, coups, coops. Um, all right. So you want me to just let this rip? Yeah, let's go. Just gonna, just um, gonna let it rip right here. Yeah, twelve minutes and twenty seconds. That's where you start. Oh, could you share your screen so we could watch along? Oh. Oh, right yeah that's kind of a big kind of a big thing right here we go by the way um this dude's face is one of my bttv emotes uh, yeah meditate yeah meditate can you see it uh yes i can all right oh hey it's my video i'm gonna play yeah i'm gonna play this ready yes that's him yeah <laughs> Frederick Lynn's <laughs> dedicated his first book titled Lifetime's True Accounts of Reincarnation to an individual named Sri Chinmoy. In Lynn's second book, Sri Chinmoy received not only the dedication, but credit for the ideas presented in the book itself, disclosing that Lenz had been a student of Chinmoy's for the past 10 years. Sri Chinmoy continues to astound with his Herculean feats of strength. A guru, a genuine guru. <laughs> Really, genuine Sri Chinmoy. What, what's going on there? Guest on the program, and he's the holder of the United Nations Medallion for Peace. In 1970s Queens, New York, there were few local figures that baffled the media quite like Chinmoy Kumar Ghosh, who'd adopted the honorific title of Sri before leaving Bangladesh for the United States. After settling into Queens, Chinmoy began putting his face on posters around college campuses, offering free meditation classes to the public. His following is nearly always described as increasing, and by the mid-70s, reporters found that he'd accumulated hundreds of students, most of whom were college-aged. Little by little, as we meditate every day and we see him twice a week, we notice, or I notice, that I'm so happy and I feel God's presence so much of the time. 
Chen Mui attempted to be a living example of what a focused mind, conditioned by frequent meditation, was capable of, and would invite local press to witness and perform endurance challenges, which he called creative miracles. He's, the first well, was a 24 A little bit of uh, um, an overachiever, huh? It's got a man, man of many hats. I mean, you can be the judge of that. <laughs> well, he he aspires to that, right? Mike, this is going Mike, somewhere, guys. Like, this is going I, somewhere. I, I have a question. Yeah. How do you feel about poetry? Um, I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm kind of lukewarm on it. It depends. I mean, you know, I mean, I have to see it. I feel like I, I, I've, I, I've enjoyed it. Sometimes depends what it is, you know. I, I remember when I read my favorite poem to you, and you immediately replied, "It didn't rhyme." Yeah, I, you know, I was mostly memeing, right? <laughs> you know, okay. Yeah. I just want to put something out here, guys, because this is the ti the title of this stream. I called it dumb YouTube or stupid YouTube or something. Stupid YouTube crap. Mm -hmm. I do. I'm not talking about atrocity guide. I just want no, to put atrocity the, guide is lovely. This is context so we can yeah, understand I, how. I'm YouTube about me and Fred. That's yes. a dis. <laughs> no, that's the disclaimer. I am not talking. Atrocity Guide is awesome. I'm not talking about Atrocity Guide. This is just this is just so we understand the 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 the, the bullshit that they're going to heap into our eyeballs right after we watch this. Mm. Our writing <laughs> session where he produced 843 poems. Oh this shit! This works out to about 35 poems per hour, or a poem every hundred seconds. Prolific. Would you like to read this poem for us, Mike? I feel like uh, he was going for quantity over quality here, right? Yeah, I, I think that's reasonable. The body sinks, the vital dies, the mind questions, the heart suffers, the soul smiles. The heart per suffers. Hour, or a poem every hundred seconds. This is like the one piece of poetry, this, this, uh, <laughs> this book. Happy and unhappy, happy you are with your life's sincerity cry. Unhappy you are with your heart's insecurity sigh. And that's and that's a poem? He's that's calling that poem. he's calling that a poem? That's the poem. Can can, can you try to tell me what you think this means? Like I, I Um It means that he tried ayahuasca one summer. <laughs> 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 I, I think someone just in chat to a Radiohead song. <laughs> Say again. Someone, someone in chat. It's just lyrics to a Radiohead song. <laughs> I fucking hope not. <laughs> someone in chat mentioned that this would be improved by reading it in Yoda's voice. Happy you are with your life's sincerity cry. Unhappy you are with your heart's insecurity sigh. Now sing it like now sing it like Tom York. No. <laughs> I am in my new home. You like that? You see, we still have that emo. Yeah, it's yeah. Welcome to your new home, freak. A day without meditation is self deception. Night. A day without meditation is self destruction. Fight. Oh, he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> A day without meditation is reality negation we just don't flight. Know if there is a Man, he thought he must have thought he was so uh he was so clever. This is I feel like this is every person who says they're smart enough that they shouldn't have to work. Uh you think so? Yeah. Like I, I feel like the kind of person who says like I, I should have everything delivered to me on a silver platter is the same kind of person who writes poetry like this and then, like, beats off once for every letter, like, staring at the poem. I, uh, like, I should be paid for this, you know? Like, I right. should be, you know, I mean, look, I'm, I'm too smart to work. Mm -hmm. I'm too smart to work. What's so amazing about that, like, that I, I, I feel like I've known people like that. That's, like... In and of itself, proving that you're not smart. The, it's never it, the people who are smart who have that attitude. Yeah, yeah. Like the smart people because are you going would, to like it, you wouldn't if you were smart. 
Right, like, like smart people are smart enough to do the minimum amount of work to get the amount to get whatever they want. Um, it's it, it's the people who can't achieve that who see those people and are like, why don't I have that? They it seems like they do nothing. Yeah. I'm that smart. And it's yeah, like, it's, nah. it's it's a it's just belies a complete lack of imagination and and like right. fucking self awareness completely. Like you can't. You know what you 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 know what you know what that type you know what that is, that's fucking main character syndrome type shit. Yeah, like that's main yeah. character syndrome ad adjacent right there. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. you can't conceptualize like, wow, maybe, maybe, maybe they do work really hard. I just don't see it because, you know, no, you you can't you can't conceptualize that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna play this. Yeah, A going. world's record for the number of paintings done in the shortest possible time, but on tonight's edition of Bert Haney's People, he may just have found that man, a guru, living in Queens. The oh. pace of his second challenge. So this is like his thing, yeah, yeah. It was okay. more yeah. frantic. Sixteen thousand paintings in twenty-four hours, averaging now only a few seconds per piece. I have no preconceived idea as to what I'm going to paint. I just <laughs> allow myself to be carried away by a higher force. It's uh, hard labor as well as an act of love. Remarkable. I mean, I, I yeah, because, I mean, how long did this take again, did they say? Twenty Was it 24 hours? 24 hours, yeah. I mean, he just yeah. kind of, he did like a subathon, bro. Right. He did a <laughs> <laughs> He just did a fucking <laughs> sub of the, like that's fucking yeah that's exhausting, right? It it's exhausting, but I feel like he's found a way to be a professional preschooler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Next, he's just gonna do, his for his next challenge. He's gonna put the square peg in the square hole for twenty four yeah. hours, and then there's gonna be twenty four followed by twenty four hours of juice and cookies. Mm hmm. I was kind of thinking it looked like some of them looked a bit like Picasso's, but like he worked hard. Pick, I mean, like <laughs> they look sort of like that. Uh, I don't know what it's called. It's like a Rorschach type of a uh, uh, approach, like a, mm -hmm. almost fucking tie dye. Unless this one. You know, I mean, they're different. I'm generalizing. There's a lot you can just, see some behind this guy. I figured it out. Shri Chinmoy is the kind of person who would be stuck in bronze in League of Legends and complain that he like could never get out of it. Why Except is that though? Because not... I don't know shit about League of Legends. Well, be, yeah, like, I don't know bronze, shit about League of Legends. Uh, br bronze it, League is like a very low league. There are tons of people who like play a fuck ton of League of Legends and just yeah. don't improve, um, and just never get out of their rating level. They they never like improve their rating, and they always blame it on the team. And I feel like if this if Shri Chinmoy played League of Legends, he like would just play and never improve. Like I, he just made paintings, right? He does. He he admitted himself he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He did say that, right? He's he's like he's like every league jungler. Yeah, right? but he's like. Only, you he, think you could go on? Go on. He like. just kind of goes on instinct and doesn't think about what he's doing. He's also kind of just dipping his toes into these mediums as he moves through them, you know? And mm -hmm. I mean, a part of it is a little bit disrespectful in the sense that, like, it, it, it doesn't really, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I was discussing with a colleague the other week, yeah. there's sort of this strange paradox between being part of the music industry where a lot of music is made by amateurs yeah. who are really passionate and they're a really important part of what we do. Mm -hmm. And there are some people who... Um, get independently wealthy away from the arts and then sort of treat it like a hobby and absorb a lot of the commissions and income that professionals require. So we kind of feel like we're in this kind of paradox between amateurs being a huge part of our work and sort of semi-professionals kind of dragging us down a little bit. Or kind of just <laughs> like taking, taking food out of your mouth in, in, to an extent. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the music industry is an absolute f fucking dumpster fire right now, as far as I could tell. But, like, for a lot of reasons. Um, and I can't imagine what it's like to be a working musician. I mean, I don't have to. Yeah, I, yeah. I know personally many, like, you know, working musicians. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's really hard. But, like, 
I, I feel like it's harder now more than it's and even for musicians too with like the you know the the, the freaking like you know you see the actors and everybody like striking right now and all that you know mm. sag after and all that shit going on strike writer strike yeah. actor strike dude they're mad about the streaming revenue on the fucking tv shows have you seen the fucking music revenue on Spotify and shit? God, yeah. Have yeah. you seen how fucking unbelievably pitiful that is? When are musicians going on fucking strike, Ryan? What? What? We? I'm not allowed to go on strike because I'm an independent organization. There's, there is there is no be, union for you. Yeah, there's no. The, uh, well, we, I have a union, but we. You do. It, it's, it legally counts as collusion between businesses if I were to go on strike with other musicians. That is bizarre. I, that is that in the is, UK at least. Yeah. Okay, that's a little um, strange. Yeah. The music right. industry is is completely destroyed. Really, it's it's an absolute dire state, particularly after COVID. Um, mm -hmm. I've got colleagues who work at professional levels. They are releasing albums like, recorded in twenty twenty now. You're roboting, but strangely, I can still understand what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm like in the ass end of the house. Um, so maybe that's why. Am I still am I better now? You still uh, are like you're still, still Wally. roboting. Yeah. Try again. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel better. Um, they're releasing albums. They they put out uh, three, you know, they recorded three years ago because there's such a backlog of albums to release yeah. in 2020. But they're at the back of the queue, and they're sort of putting albums they recorded three years ago out now. Yeah, yeah you, wow you, that that is that is crazy and ridiculous. I wonder who would allow for that kind of thing, and then you just see me like sliding money over to like legislators <laughs> in the UK. <laughs> but yeah, you're um. I I don't know why. Can you can you say again? What you can you say anything? Because I'm trying to see if you're still a robot. You might we might have to redo this call or something. Mm. Okay, how about nope, now? You're better. Yeah, I don't know. It's just it's fine most of the time, and then it sometimes just goes wrong. Okay. Uh, was, this is not hmm. my editor, by the way. This is my composer. This is, this is the person who makes all the music. This dude, Ryan, made six hours of new music for the new video. Fuck, really? That's all new all, music? All of it. All of the music for the new video is new and tailored to the video. Like, yeah. w when I say I'm releasing a six-hour video, I mean a six-hour-long video with fresh visuals um, and completely new music all the way through. Oh, they're not fucking around. These like, guys are not I, fucking around. I, I need to stress, this is down the rabbit hole, but big. Yeah, these guys are, are not fucking around, guys. All it's of it is original hole. composition, yes. So, six hours of original music. The songs are not reused. Right, it's, it's, like it's you'll, a, it's see, a score. you'll this, see similar motifs. This you'll, thing you'll, has you'll, a you'll... fucking score. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Which is crazy. This is how we do down the rabbit hole, man. Can't wait for XQC to watch it in his stream. What do we do if XQC watches it, Fred? Um, it means I get to make a Twitter post. You want to make a snarky Twitter post? Oh yeah, are, are you kidding me? I'm like gonna gonna slide into that. If I could get, I I feel like if I can make someone like XQC mad, uh -huh. that means I'm doing something right. It seems right? to be like, that's really, validation. really, really easy to make him mad. That's though. true. Yeah, <laughs> didn't he get into like this Vex massive knew bout more with, about with, it like, with Mudahar? Ve yeah, yeah. That Vex was watching it. He got like he got into a bout with uh, Mudahar. Well, not just Mudahar, but H three H three as well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because H three tried to mediate foolishly, and right. and it was just like trying to mediate with like like a monkey with rabies. Right, like yeah, it like was just like you just like don't try to do that, you know. It was like just you're just gonna get your face eaten. Like I, there's no point to try to. My right, favorite like part of that was when he took a picture of his watch and sent it. To I Ethan, was gonna say that. Yeah, and he was like, I, "I'm wearing I, your house on my wrist." Never forget, I'm wearing your entire house on my wrist, on my yes. wrist, smiley face. And I was like, yeah. "That <laughs> what a cock." That was the last. Honestly, honestly, like the very, very final shred of like, I, I, I don't know. I guess respect I might have had for that person when I saw that. That's very, um, I get to sleep in a race car. Where do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> um, Look. And then, right, yeah, Hassan got involved, whatever. I don't want to fucking talk about these assholes all night. We, what, what, what were we no, talking about? No. The music industry being fucked up? Yeah. Um, but what I wanted to get back to was this video, obviously. Now, this guy... Mm. Now, it's okay. I guess it's not hurting anybody that he's dabbling in all these these mediums. 
But, you know, it's like, again, when you go for uh, quantity over quality, there's going to be some, uh, you know, there's going to be some hits and misses. I, I think that, I mean, obviously he's doing it for attention and I don't think he's really trying to impress anybody. But depending on the medium, like sometimes, I mean, like, look at look look at art, like specifically painting and drawing and stuff like that. Like, you know, you'll, you, 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 could, you could take a, like a painting or drawing from a six year old and you could put mm. that in a museum and people could sit there and, and, and enjoy it because, you know, I mean, it's like, it's, it's really subjective, right? Or like, I, art, I, I would, visual I would mediums say, are, 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 tend to be like really subjective. I think that maybe there was a time, a brief period where you could do that. But I think mm. like art critics are like a little more wise gatekeeping. to that. They're a little get more gatekeeping now. Not really. It's, it's just that they can they can recognize they they can recognize when someone understands composition. Mm -hmm. it, but I mean, like, like it how depends. How do you get the platform? Do you know what I mean? How do you get put in a gallery? How do you get right? Okay, right. okay. Was it through yeah. merit or was it through hard work? Was it through like you know? I guess like I guess networking and like being in the uh, an active part of the industry, or was it from your a fucking spectacle? No, the, and the your pro, like, you know. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of problems with the fine art industry. Very few have very few of those problems have to do with the perceived quality of the work. Most of it has to do with like weird corruption bullshit. Right. Right. Because um, like the fine like fine art the fine art community and the fine art market is a, a nightmare. And that's just true in every industry, probably, if you get right if you, if you look hard enough, right? Mm -hmm. It's true. It's yeah. true for everything if you look hard enough. Like Right, like we as like little people on the ground look at these works of art and like think about their um about their cultural value and we think about what they mean to us personally, but a person who actually buys it often doesn't give a shit because the art's more of a store of wealth. Right. Right. Which is which is horrible. Should not be that way. Uh, mm. it's just it's 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 like a betrayal of what art is at its at its primal heart you know at its, right, at, its like, at its primal like core it? you know right like art art for the layman is different for uh from art for the people in the fine art market mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. lumpy touches in the chat for one of our hey. re resident like eminent eminent artists yeah uh, we love lumpy touch lumpy touch saying oh. nft but real did did you see I voiced uh I voiced for a Lumpy Touch video recently. What? No, I didn't see. His, his most recent video, I did voice for it. I did voice and throat chanting. Uh which well I mean I don't want to get in a spaghetti bob over this, yeah, but, no, what, but, it, but it, it's only a minute long. Um it, it's the his skibbity toilet video. I did not see this. You know what? Should we yeah, that was fucking me. we're getting so far off topic. Send it, send it to me. It's okay, here, I'll I'll go and find it. Uh let me see. Yeah, I was going to suggest we look at the 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 diagram of what makes good and bad art. I like, was I saw in. I saw I that, that I, I, I love, saw I that, that, but that's going to be that's fucking it's such a shit. that's such a it's very on topic, but it's such a tangent. Here you go. You, you I sent you the it's video. Such, it's that's such a. It is. All right, we're we gonna watch this re, this real oh, quick did, from did it, Touch. Real is quick. it a short? Yeah. Whatever. Sorry, it's a short. Apparently, is that okay? Um, I, I tried to send you. Just is a there is there watch. one that is there like a normal one or? I tried. I tried to. Is that? Oh, it sent you to the shorts page for some reason automatically. Huh. Weird. All right. So we're gonna take short out of the URL. Uh, I guess. Instead, and just... put uh, slash watch question mark <laughs> I... v equals. Um. In the place of shorts. Watch. S say question again, but mark watch question mark yeah. v equals. And then uh, okay, the rest okay. of it. And it says this video isn't available anymore. Really? Here, let me see. Let me see what you did. Uh, it should. Oh, you you need to put a wait. Oh, th there's there's a. What did you do? Oh, get rid of the. Uh, get rid of uh, everything. Get rid of the percentage sign. All the and everything after it up to the Y. Not no not, not why up did that until do, the why why did that <laughs> okay so that Mike do you, that? here's what you're gonna do here's I, I, what you're gonna do Mike no I got it 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 I got it
Put Wait. a slash after the dot com. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, well, it's not like it's a different resolution anyway. It was made it was made no, for that but, resolution. No, but you cannot uh you can't adjust the volume of a short. Oh right. Yeah, bullshit. Okay, so I'm on this dark night. Oh. An accursed ritual is being performed. Hooded figures gather. A meal has been prepared for the thing that lurks below. Dude, Eldritch skipping. Oh, no, he's skipping. Value exceptional. The time has come. Is that fucking Garfield down there? Oh, oh. <laughs> Algorithmy. <laughs> This dark night. It's so good. I know, so right? Good. He did such a good job. I, I love algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so good. Oh my yeah, god. That, that that was me chanting oh. it. That that was my throat singing layered five times and then uh with reverb. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so yeah, guys, follow Lumpy on uh on on youtube it's yeah, freaking Lump awesome lumpy touch my is god great. that was <laughs> <that's> awesome. <laughs> oh lumpy i also saw on twitter that thing that you did for uh eye patch wolf that was awesome too that um what is it like the garfield the demon that you made for him but that that was modded into his, his that he modded that into the game right like that was actually in his game that was or, or it was a video that you made i don't know what happened I the most seen that. painful okay. part was adding the skibbity music. Oh yeah, I hate that. I I hate that fucking song with a passion. I love that it's like muffled because the skibbity toilet has like fucking tape over its mouth. Yeah, it can't speak. Oh my god, dude, that yeah, is look. that's so good. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. A lot of lot of fun little uh, little touches in this. Yeah, Algorithm. you can hear it as it's being lowered in too. <laughs> Oh my God! Is it, you, you know, you know, you actually managed to make me feel pity for this motherfucker, which is ama which is, which is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's goddamn hilarious. It replaced the final boss of Fear and Hunger as a surprise for him. So, Lumpy, you're you're telling me that you you got him to mod the game, but That's some... like you didn't tell him exactly what it was, basically. Oh my god! That's like, are you amazing. you you or you worked with somebody to mo to make that a mod, and then you had him install it, but you didn't tell him what it was. Is that what happened? Something I, like that. That's great. Something like, I, that's that makes awesome. me want to do that for <laughs> my <awesome>. stream. <laughs> if I could get someone to do that for like something I play on yeah, stream, just sick. mod it in horrific ways. Hey, while we're giving those out, Lumpy, can you do that for me too? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, while we're while we're subtly uh, uh, demanding this from you, uh, I'd like to also do that. Um, <laughs> hold on. So, where what I was trying to talk about was we're we're going. Hold on. We're going. We're okay. going so deep into the goddamn weeds at this point. Um, okay, we're going back. So Shri Chin Moy is me. Is yeah, like I'm, I'm on the murder bed. Come on, it's, he's it's killing me. He's is it hurting you? It's 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 a bit hard on my knees. Okay, you know, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I'll, pl I'll just play. No, this. no, it's fine. <laughs> hard labor as well as an act of love. Remarkable. Through meditation, Chinmoy claimed to have achieved what he called. So th this, that's how he meditates. He leaves his eyes open and then looks at the ceiling. No, like this dude. I think what might have happened is this dude will just randomly dissociate, and he th <laughs> and he like misattributed it to meditation. Yeah, and everyone bought it. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. So, sorry, Lumpy. Yeah, I, I, I saw the fly emote. Thank you for making that. That was awesome. By the way, 
I, I couldn't see well, I can't see emotes on the phone when I was when I was doing that IRL stream I couldn't see emotes on the phone but then I went and looked at the VOD and I saw it in the chat and I, I didn't thank you thank you for making that that's awesome a oneness oh, that with is the supreme awesome. yeah, it's, it, those are the spotted lantern flies that we're supposed to kill over here when oh. we see them oh because gotcha. I keep murdering them on stream well Ryan right. you, 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 you've been watching the IRL streams have you seen me killing these things I haven't caught all of them. I've been uh. watching bits and bobs. I saw you throw an axe. Psych and... Psychedelic yeah. state he was known to spontaneously slip in and out of at all times of the day. Yeah, I don't think that's like normal. I noticed he can't drive cars like meditating. that, can he? No, he can't. Like it... if if he's driving, he's gonna kill someone. He's effectively right. like narcoleptic, or 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 I don't I don't I think narcolepsy is often like mischaracterized in media. So I don't even really know what narcolepsy like really is, but like. This, whatever this is, I don't think it's a good thing. Like, like it seems like they tried to frame it as a good thing in his time, you know? Like, or it's something that's like, wow, right. look how, you know, look how wide open his chakra. His chakra is fucking goat seed, bro. He can commune with the nirvana at any moment. He doesn't even his control, shock. he doesn't even control when it happens. That's how good he is at this. And it's like, no, nah, that's bad. No, his he needs to see a- is gaping. He he needs a fucking doctor. Like that's not good, right? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, his chakra is so gaped. Yeah, right. Like I, I love the idea of him going to like a spiritual healer. Yeah, and like they look at him and they're like, "Oh my god." Yeah, <laughs> I could I I could drive a bus through your chakra. It was rapid eye movement on your part. My consciousness was flying. From one plane of reality. <laughs> that. Okay, I fucking hate this. I I hate. It has I hate. Huge I hate. Huge big the birthday boy vibes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really first picture. I hate that. Twin of it. This facial expression Chinmoy adopted became the focal point of his group meditations, with students staring into the flickering whites of his eyes as they cleared their minds of thought. I'd be laughing hysterically. They'd have to kick me out. They'd have to drag me out because I would not be able to stop laughing at him. Sri Chinmoy is like a visitor from this other world to this world to show his followers how to reach this other world. At home, students would substitute with a photograph as instructed by his 1978 meditation manual. Quote, the best type of meditation comes when you enter into my consciousness by looking at a picture taken of me when I am in a high meditative consciousness, when I am one with the Supreme. So th this, this guy is, is a narcissist. That I mean, or a very good salesman. Because- You, you remember, yeah. you remember that time when someone said, hey, like this this binaural beat is really nice but like can i download it off off of youtube yeah and then the the uploader said no if you download it you have to watch it on <laughs> you youtube or it that? won't have the right effect you remember that <laughs> yeah i remember that oh i that. loved that i loved that oh what yeah what an incredible grift amazing right so here um, you gotta, he's, he thinks he's a painter. Well, I mean, I, I, to his credit, he did say, I have no idea what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But also, I mean, like, I get what I was trying to say before to an effect was you can argue that those paintings are fine. Like they're not, I mean, like even the poems, like I could see people arguing that the poems are fine. I could see people arguing like, yeah, these are, these poems are these, yep. These are poems. They, they function as poems, you know? And those those paintings, I could see people saying the same thing. I could see people saying, "Yeah, they're fine. They work as art." Like, sure, there's a lot of them, and sure, they're not all, you know, they didn't all get the same love and attention. They didn't get all this same, you know, juice put into them. But, you know, do not. To be fair, though, this is his best. These are his best areas. Yeah, this is the best he can do. <laughs> Picture, of as you'll see. Being. Yeah, well, we're going again. We're going somewhere with this. We'll get there mm -hmm. two hours from now, but we're going somewhere with this. Do not think of it as a picture with a human of a I, human being. It was that smile in the last shot that I used uh, for the emo? for one of my emotes. Yeah, mm. meditate. It's really good. <laughs> That's bad. I do not. That makes me deeply uncomfortable. 
It is uncanny, isn't it? There's never a second when you can't feel him. He's, he's there with you like your guardian angel. Chin Moy would soon have enough of a following to pack out event rooms, where he would take the stage, establish a oneness with the Supreme, and then deliver to a crowd of thousands a new creative miracle. This is what we're going to watch today. This is this is what it's this all been lead, leading up to. Yes. In a single performance, Chinmoy would sometimes cycle through a hundred or more instruments, improvising melodies with each one just long enough to channel the Supreme before moving on to the next. <laughs> By the That's my guru. Late 1970s, Sri Chinmoy's multi-sensory meditation. Somebody in chat was like, oh, that's kind of impressive. Yeah, because you hadn't actually heard it yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the concept of it was impressive, but you hadn't actually. I'm telling you, he's a professional priest. By the way, yo, can I just like, can I just like say atrocity guide? Like, holy shit. Like, you, you know, those four clips were picked so deliberately. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I actually <laughs> I, I got I got to watch this early um, yeah. with with her in the call yeah and I at that moment I paused like after those clips yeah, I paused yeah. the video and I was like that was on purpose yeah yeah and of she, course and, it was and, and and she was like yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that was uh S tier editing right there. Experience yeah. <laughs> had extended far beyond. I love uh, someone in chat said, I love how she does com comedic juxta juxtaposition, but keeps her narration entirely straight and serious. Yes. <laughs> to New York. There are over 125 Sri Chimnoy. It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're watching a fucking, uh, uh, like, like one of those, uh, mockumentaries. Like like fucking yeah. like Spinal Tap, you know? Yeah, it it, it feels yeah. no, it does it does feel like <laughs> Spinal Tap or like uh, what we do in the shadows. Why? Right, right, exactly. While not being just you know like like showing you how how fucking like unintentionally funny like reality is. Yeah, right, you know, around the world. One thing what you goes... can't hear in this bit, um, I think uh, a trusty guy pulled back from it a bit, but I actually wrote the soundtrack so it like jammed with what he was playing but you did, she because mm -hmm. you did the music for this bring, video yeah 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 yes. so she but i think she brought the volume of the instruments up so you can't hear my my jamming i think it might have been a bit oh, too hammy you went a little bit like like you you, you, ch you channeled him you like jammed along with him yeah yeah yeah, yeah you wanted it. <laughs> he was feeling it Bottom you know what happens in the centers so did you want me to keep watching this or are we going to switch to that other video that we... I, I feel like we pretty much hit what we wanted yeah, with this video yeah so okay. here's what yeah. we're going to do i am going to give you this video mm. and you can do with it whatever you like this is an hour and a half long cut of shri <laughs> chinmoy giving a concert in frankfurt in 1991 Let's let's dive in. I would recommend giving every instrument a little time, by the way. Okay. I'll try and name them all. See, what I was trying to say before is so he, he took that what do you call it? Um that trend that he has, or that I don't know what it is. Like I'm gonna do everything like I'm trying to get into the Guinness Book of World Records approach. Yeah. And and he, you know, and like I said, he did it with the paintings and it was like, OK, and then he did it with the poems and it's like, OK, but now he's trying to do it with musical instruments. And the problem with that is like. There's some really, really like clear cut standards for music. I mean, like, yeah, you're always going to find an idiot who can sit there and just be like, no, look, if it comes from the soul, you could do anything. But but no. Right. You know what I'm you know what I'm saying? Like like music is specific. You right. have to know what you're doing with 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 instruments. You have to know what you're doing with composition. I mean, right, Ryan? Like well, some instrument some musicians are like quite limited musicians. Mm -hmm. They they don't have a 
very broad technical range, but they do a lot with what they got. Yeah. And it's it's a really shit example, but Chet Baker it is a really they're they're still an amazing trumpet player, but they're they're more technically limited than a lot of other famous jazz trumpet players, but they just like they made this really specific style that's like really evocative and really beautiful. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and yeah, go on. Go on and, and when they're in their wheelhouse, when they're at their cruise speed, they sound fantastic. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. you can't really take them out of their element. But they, but 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 I bet you that person knows that they need to stay in their element. You know, mm-hmm. like they need to stay in the in the in the place where they're comfortable and where they and where they do well. Right. Well, a lot you, you of know? artists are like technically deficient in some way. Some mm-hmm. some artists can't do Play things these that artists do, but they you, just, you, they you, just they just make make what they can out of it. It becomes yeah, you, their style. You learn to play to your strengths, and that be that becomes what you know, like what defines you. Right. Mm-hmm. I think oh. what's like so troubling about this concert is I, I work with musicians who are like at the top of their field. Like Naomi who plays sax for Down the Rabbit Hole, she's, she's so the good. head of she's the head of a conservatoire department. She's the mm-hmm. head of the saxophone department. Wow. So and here's the thing, if she doesn't practice for five, six hours a day or three or four, whatever she does, she doesn't stay at that in that at that level. She so falls it's off. impossible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's <laughs> it it doesn't try you can't possibly achieve any kind of proficiency across a hundred instruments. It's just it's just not possible. Yeah, no, it it's it's it is physically impossible. This this guy um is an idiot. Like uh, this straight feels up like the kind of, this feels like the kind of thing where like you're a sub like the only kind of person I could imagine being able to play so many intru- instruments is A, the instruments are all played very similarly. Mm-hmm. B they're like a goddamn savant, a and real, C, true, true, like blooded savant. Yeah, like a real right. Actual. And and like three, the the third part of this is they have to be shit at everything else because they are wired so specifically. Right, 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 right. So yeah, so not this guy. Right, like they like they they min max themselves at birth. Um. So, hold on. They they min yeah, in the, in their character creation they min max right, themselves yeah, and they min- yeah they, they <laughs> took all points out of like everything else and composers just sunk though it all. Co- composers generally don't know how to physically play the instruments some of them probably pro- most likely but not all of them right y- y- you know right like, like a, um Ryan can speak to that right right is he did the bed kill him. I think Uh-oh. we lost. I think we lost. I, th- I we think lost we Ryan. might have lost Ryan. We lost Ryan to the, to the bed. Um, most can get by on the keyboard. Well, the keyboard is supposed to be like the, um, you know, the instrument oh. that you use to. What's up? Ryan just messaged me and said he lost connection. All right. Well, when I'll he comes be back in a minute. When he comes back, you know, um, keyboard and like pianos, keys are supposed to be the instrument where that's like that's like the bridging instrument, basically, right? Right, it's different... really nice because you mm-hmm. you press a key, you get a note. It's very straightforward, and you and you can like communicate to other musicians like that, and you can com- compose like that, like without necessarily being able to play the the parts on other instruments, basically. Right. Yeah. It it's very easy. So, but I mean, like, like I what I'm what I'm what I was trying to say is like I could have a canvas in front of me, and you give me a punch a bunch of oil paints, so you give me a paintbrush, I could bang something out that. Somebody, I, th- I, I think somebody will be able to enjoy. Right, you, you would know be what able I mean? to find someone who's like, I dig it. Yeah, yeah, I, th- I think so. But like, as a, especially as like a mediocre rock drummer, okay, like four four like rock drummer. Like, if I get on a fucking stage and pick up like a guitar, that is gonna like physically hurt people. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, that's gonna cause actual damage. To people, like right. that, like that's like, like, like that's bad. You cannot do. No one, no one in that in that audience will say, "Okay, like I liked that." Right, you right. Know? Like it's like, the, like I, I feel like I feel like bad music is the it's the er cringe. Yeah, it is the ultimate cringe. It is like the ideal of cringe. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't, I can't explain it. I just feel like incompetent music done yeah. very like confidently. Yeah, it it gives me the bad chills. It, it, it's it's fucked up. Yeah, it's fucked up. 
I think that I could think of some examples, um, but but I don't want to, you know, I don't want a spaghetti. Right, it, it bob. feels so mean. Oh, it oh, also feels mean. Bob, I don't yeah. want a spaghetti bob, but it also feels fucking mean. Yeah, I especially yeah. as a musician. Right, you know? and and you know, some sometimes you know, if, if someone's singing karaoke, the point is, the point isn't to be good. The point yeah. is to have fun. Have fun. It's like, yeah. oh, that's fine. Um, but I will say that I, I am built as such that it's hard for me to just enjoy karaoke in a bar <laughs> i i for one really dislike i i've come to really strongly dislike karaoke yeah because mm. i because again like i i kind of don't want to listen to people who can't sing try to sing like i just kind of kind of piss it like pisses me off it, it like mm -hmm. it, it, it it upsets me it, it it makes me not have a good time Right, I you, I, you I feel like, like it, you, you know you know how some people have misophonia and they get pissed off yeah. when they hear like mouth sounds. Yeah, I yeah. I feel like I can have that reaction sometimes to music. Well, he, well, I, I, well, somebody chats they hitting into like like touching on a theory I've always had. Like, so you're in the bar and the people are doing karaoke and it's like, fuck, man, I'm gonna have to get drunk to tolerate right. this, you know? And like, the drunker you get, the better they sound. So you keep like pump fucking like racking up a tab at the bar like i think is that the strategy is that is that what's going on there is that the, is, is that it? is that it oh my god it's kind of like how games make their game make their gameplay really frustrating unless you start dropping money it's similar to yeah like like um the dark pattern microtransactions yeah 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 um <laughs> oh speaking of which i got another genshin impact bounty coming up guys <laughs> Ooh, um, unrelated uh, they want to pay um, a lot for this one, so um, more on that. I've, I think more on that tomorrow. We'll discuss that. Well, I've heard that Genshin Impact is actually fun, right? Yeah, you, you know, like, man, the gameplay is the, actually it, good. It's, it's it's not the game is fine. Yeah, the game the game the game can be fun, and you know, I leg, legitimately, legitimately, it's like if you enjoy open world stuff and you like anime this right. it's it's going to be a jam for you i think i right. I, I don't it, know like it, it, i it have takes... i'm not they're not paying me right now i have no reason to say this i'm be, i'm being serious oh i know a lot of people who, who genuinely like the game it, it um, ticks specific boxes for specific people yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so like if you are into I this mean, and this and this you'll like it and again you, you you know you can avoid the gotcha i i i know people who play it that I mean, it, 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 it will be grindy, but you don't have to give them money to, to yeah. enjoy that game. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, the, the exploration, the, the, I actually, I, I like the combat. I like the combat in that game. Hmm. Like, legitimately. Um, oh, um, hey. Hello. It wasn't my internet. It was like Discord just crapped out. Discord oh. took, a, took a big poopy? Yeah. As is um, tradition. Mm. As is tradition. As is tradition. Um, did I meet any? Did I miss any discussion? Any you missed a lot of discussion. discussion. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I was. I oh. was saying how basically, um, you can't do what this guy's doing. I mean, I, I mean, right where you. I, I mean, you didn't really miss anything. No, not. And then we talked it, about it, Genshin Impact. It, so, isn't it kind of terrifying to realize, like, Ryan comes back. We've been streaming. We have. Let me check. One point eight thousand people listening. One point eight thousand. Oh, oh, one, well, I, okay, yeah, that makes sense. 1.8. I thought you were saying, like, I, my my brain heard, like, 18, <laughs> heard, like, 18,000. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, yeah. No, um, like, we're, we're sitting here talking in front of 1.8 thousand people. Ryan comes back and says, what did I miss? And we, we have the realization. Nothing. nothing. Yeah, nothing. Literally nothing. nothing. <laughs> oh, God. Literally freaking when nothing. Hmm? When you stare into the void, it stares back at you. It stares back, dude. All right. Well, well I mean, well, I, I feel like hmm? I feel like staring into the eyes of all the people in this audience is like staring into a fucking void because look at how packed this place is to hear Shri Chin Moy play these instruments. Well, they're all simps. They're all simps. Are these? They're, well, are they're, they're, they're simps. simps. They're simps for him for reasons completely unrelated to his actual proficiency with these instruments. Mm-hmm. You know, right, they're not like, here. They're not here for a pleasant musical experience. Must have spent a lot of money on musical instruments, though. 
Yeah, I, I was wondering that. Where'd he get all these? You know you what? Don't donated by simps. Hold on, chat is saying that they're chanting P. Peace. But it. P. Like... <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Ryan? Sounds like Ligeti's Requiem, which is the base Odyssey music. <laughs> oh, the um, the 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 fucking the, the obelisk music. Yeah. 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 Say <laughs> so it's one of the notes, right? Mm. You think he's gonna piss into that steel drum? That'd be epic. I wonder if that would sound good. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> musically pissing into like one of those troughs at a concert yeah for the festival all right let's get some time codes you guys got any suggested um, get to three time minutes. codes Th so you get to three minutes that's nice. when you'll get to got what i believe is it, it, it is it a sitar it looks like a I think sitar it might be a mm, is it what's that it's kind of hard to tell never heard sound. of that what is that it's like a it's like a sitar it's like a it's cello. a nightmare to tune it's like a chick is it Chinese? It's, it's is it... got the same Chinese Indian. Thing? Indian. This Indian. Oh yeah. Isn't the it, one Ryan? Isn't the sarangi? It. Isn't the sarangi the instrument with like a million sympathetic strings? Yeah, I used to work with a. Uh, well, I once I I did something called the Atlas Academy in Amsterdam, which was like a. You got to meet all these musicians from around the world, and I worked on a piece with a guy called Drew Bagosh, who was like one of the great. Masters of Sarangi, and I believe it is a Sarangi. It looks a little bit large, and so I'm not entirely sure from this angle. So how many but strings does this does it have? I think it has four strings, but it has like then like 35 sympathetic strings. They're just really yeah, close to it. They vibrate one. in the in like next to it, basically. Right. It, it kind of acts yeah. like natural reverb. Um, yeah. Which is which is which is cool as hell. Yeah. My hurdy gurdy has some sympathetic strings. Oh. All right, like that's an elementary school it, concert. It's, it's 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 uh you know he's got a tune going. It's it's you know, it's again it's it's like a five year old wrote it, but it is. But that straight up just sounds like Mary had a little lamb. Like I'm hearing yeah. Mary had a little lamb, dude. I'm hearing hot hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. Not as bad as I expected it to be, frankly. Definitely well, scratchy you... on the bow. Ugh. If you, you ever... Yeah, it's almost got like a scratch tone to it. If you ever like speak to Indian musicians when they talk about playing a raga or something, they always talk about how like it's the space between the notes that matter. The way you transition between the notes, they have to have like a vocal quality to them. They have to have this very specific articulation and specific... Um, grace between the notes that 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 is meant to come through, and this isn't. It's not really happening here. I think about yeah, like Indian lead instruments. They they do they do have a lot of resonance, right? Mm. And like that, you you're trying to let that speak basically, mm. right? I mean, I'm asking. <laughs> it's um well, I, th there are a few different theories around mm. it, um, but. One one of the theories that kind of came out of this region of the world, which I learned about from my hurdy gurdy video, mm. is the belief that like, while while there is space, there's also like the belief in the continuous sound, and when you have silence, it's a break in the beauty. Um, and so you have things like sympathetic strings, but then you also have continuous note instruments. Um, where like that that's um. So there is no break in the music. So that's why you have people doing circular breathing. That's the theory mm. behind yeah, it. Yeah, the keep drone the sound going. Droning, so you don't... Uh, mm. Yeah, sometimes you have drones. Um it's throat singing. But throat um if if you have people swap uh switch off to make so that you allow each person to breathe so there's no break in the sound, yeah. It's re re providing a uh like it, it's the idea of having pad sounds. In mm. like, in Western music, right? Pad sounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, uh, I don't know the term. It's like when you literally pad, like, if, like you got some guy, like you know, somebody is literally holding the cords. He's not. Okay. He's not trying to like you know, 
He's not trying to play anything complex. He's just holding chords. Right. On a, on a, like, okay. like on a synth, for example. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Like, like Oh my god, I am so excited for you to hear Shri Chinboy play the synth. What has he got a moog? Oh baby. He's got a moog? What's he got? Ooh. Also, I hear the theory behind Indian music is really complex too. Like really oh my God, like yeah. like not even but like a Western mind almost is powerless to fucking understand. Like, you kind of got to rethink your concept of music. That's what I've been told. Well, I mean, you know what happened when the Crusades happened, right? What happened? Like, people went to, to, to fight, and then they came back, and they were like, holy shit, guys, did you know there's more than five notes? <laughs> right, 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 right. Like, like right. <laughs> I, I swear to God people like th the middle east and india just like they're ryan please correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like their music theory was so much farther advanced than like the west's for a significant chunk of time i uh, i don't know i don't i don't have a very good feel for it if i'm honest because there's some you you learn like bits and pieces about all the sort of you know traditions of indian music and all these different things but then um some some cultures were more advanced in some areas than other cultures, and it's 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 hard to tack down whether like one was more advanced than the other, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, defining yeah. I guess, uh, advanced too, like I just just right, the complexity like, of just I I think a better understanding tone. of music theory. Better on well, I mean, uh, again, again, there's they, they, that's that there are different theories. That's that's what I'm saying. Maybe you know, yeah. Like I, but music I, theory is really just a way of articulating um, the characteristics of a specific piece of music. Yeah, that's fair. Um, historically, specific piece of music. Yeah, it's historically, um, musicians and composers didn't really think about music theory when they made music. People sort of retrospectively applied the analysis of their music to that music. Mm. Um, they were just they were just finding their own way and experimenting. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe maybe it's more fair to say that when these people went to the Middle East, they they picked up a taste for this kind of music and they brought these ideas back. But it's not just I, about scales, chat, because because I've heard that right. like their their time signatures are fucking bonkers in Indian music. I like my understanding is at the very least the music from that region was more complicated. Yeah. Yeah, playing uh, the playing the tabla, for example, is very very intricate. And I had a tabla the... player tr try to like, explain it to me once, and he and he was just kind of like, "Listen, I, I'm going to be honest with you, um, you're not going to understand. <laughs> like, I, I'm going to I'm going to be honest with you. Like, yeah, so you, again, as a mediocre rock drummer, I had no chance of of fucking like of as as a as a four four like meathead." You know, <laughs> I had no chance of understanding what the fuck this guy was talking about. Well, I'd say Indian classical music, the instruments are very kind of tactile. Yeah. They, mm, the, yeah. the drum, the drums are played with your fingertips. And yeah, the, yeah. like I said about the, the, the instrument, like Sarangi particularly, it's, it's about, it, it's these frets, it's, it, it doesn't, uh, I don't know, maybe it does have frets actually. But it's been a long time since I played with the guy. And, um, those look like frets. i they think they could be there. They could be Mark. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, they also look um, ran They look like random intervals too. I don't know. Um, I think, hmm. but uh, it's it's more the space between the notes, like the way you transition between them, and those very subtle differences. Even if you're playing, if you get two um, Indian musicians to play the same melody, they'll play it both in very different ways. Right, mm -hmm. and and I think it's like jazz I think in this. Ways. Mm -hmm. I, Go I think this Go goes to show that this man is do what this man is doing to this instrument is akin to a caveman bashing a rock against another rock <laughs> right because he 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 also chose like the most i would say like the, again the most com more complicated types of instruments more complicated types of music to try to ape he basically set himself up for failure spectacularly is what i'm saying mm -hmm. right yeah that's fred's composer russ You want to watch this whole thing? Fuck no. Guys, let's get some edibles. Let's meditate. This is going to give you the worst trip. 
Oh my god, could you imagine doing a hallucinogen while listening to this? Yeah, I wouldn't. My nerves would burn. <laughs> Mike, I am on edibles at the moment, and this sucks. Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> he's so he, he's so confidently bed where the boulders gate three squirrels yeah do you think he he just i i think he knows how much it sucks i just don't think he gives a fuck <laughs> so dude this dude is an is on another plane of existence I think he's bluffing a little bit. I think he a knows, little bit, like, yeah. He, I think he, I think he, he's got to be like just good enough so like a lay person can't tell. Well, right. even that saying, like, like, but if you're at a concert and someone's Dude. being crap, you don't always notice. You just get carried along with it, right? But Ryan, yeah. that that argument flies out the window when we hit like the one hour mark. I, I know. I'm just <laughs> trying to make sense. This friend, he, he yeah. sold it at a concert. Yeah. You know, I he sold more tickets to an event than I ever have. Yeah. Ryan is trying to rationalize Shri Chinmoy in the same way that a person who, seeing Cthulhu tries to rationalize his <laughs> physical form. I, I, okay. I mean, yeah. Move us on to the next instrument. Mike, I'm, go on. This is yeah, 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 please. I'm I'm still a fucking I I'm basically a lay person again. I'm I'm fucking I'm a 4/4 four, four drummer. Rock drummer. Like I am a lay person. This doesn't sound good to me. I mean it sounds like something, you know? Yeah, I feel like these flutes are if you can make a sound out of these kinds of flutes, they kind of are cruise control for sounding pleasant. Well, um, let me tell you what's happening here. Mm -hmm. It's because I don't think his microphone's very good. So you're losing a lot of, like, the detail. Mm. But also the bad, there's a lot of in, reason. In a good there. way or a bit? Like, is it doing him a favor here? Doing him a favor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But because also, if you listen to the way he improvises, like, improvisation's really... I guess he's improvising because, I mean... <laughs> Do you no think that he planned out any part of this, Ryan? I I'm just saying, you know, here's the thing. I'm a I'm a professional musician, Fred. Yeah. And my reputation relies on me making good judgment calls on things like this. So I'm not gonna actually commit to the fact he's improvising unless I have empir empirical proof. Cause it could zoom out and it could be like a huge piece of sheet movie music <laughs> playing in front of him. I don't think so. Yeah, but but Ryan, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Be, uh, what what if okay, he has really never maybe this is like his third or fourth time actually picking up this instrument wouldn't that wouldn't this be kind of impressive if that was the case i mean i don't know i don't know how you play the instrument i i i, I don't know i don't actually know what instrument it is but yeah, the problem is the stuff he's playing the stuff he's playing not the sound of the instrument but the actual yeah. notes he's playing yeah, not terrible mm -hmm. he's like going up and down the instrument do, do, in do, like do, a semi-predictable pattern he, and he, it's bad right, improvisation right right but, but but devil's advocate those notes are working together at least like he's not randomly you know fucking jumping around and just and just fucking hoping for the best right That's because I think this is right. a diatonic flute i don't think it can play chromatic low yeah, yeah, that, he, that was the point i was that, gonna make really okay yeah it's because this this flute plays one scale yeah 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 so so like it's it's harder to fuck this up basically right yeah, yeah. it's kind of like a kalimba uh-huh. Right, like a, a thumb piano. Oh, you went ahead of him. It's all smoke and mirrors. All right, you want to go to the next his instrument? Finger, his fingering is really muddy. Like, he, he, the notes are not crisp. They just kind of m meld into... They, they're mushy. Yeah, I'm hearing exactly what you're talking about. You think he's on drugs? No. I'm going to say no. How does he transition? This is interesting. Yeah, let's see him change. Oh, he just sits there and looks a bit bored. That's that's not a the, what the, the horn of Rohan, the yeah. Gondor. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna do the exact same fucking thing. Yeah, this guy had access to Quaaludes. That's a great point. <laughs> he blows the horn of Gondor and nobody fucking comes because he sucks. <laughs> this like, is, um, like, like yeah. eight, like 
aide hears and they say, you have no skills. But guys, we're being so negative, right? Why don't we just let people enjoy things? Like, you know what? Like, so his fans are happy. He's happy. Why are we being like haters? You know, this is fine. What? Well, who cares? Right? What's the problem here? Right? He's packed out this arena. Obviously, there's something to this. Right? My, I, Mike? Mm hmm I do not know what the tickets cost. Mm hmm But would the cost of the tickets being a certain amount mm -hmm. make you change your opinion? So when he says that he got the viewers he deserves. <laughs> um, <laughs> you found them. Of course, I'm, I'm being a dick. Of course it would. <laughs> well, it would, it would make it slightly more egregious. And yes, we are allowed to fucking sit here and, and criticize this. Everybody's allowed. You're allowed to criticize anything. I think you have to remember it's like in North Korea, mm -hmm. like people don't think that, I don't know, maybe they do think that Kim Jong-un has like a good haircut. Yeah, but yeah, he has yeah. a cult of personality. And I think this guy is, this is like what a cult of personality can do to people. Yeah, yeah. Because that's, that's... They just, they're just going to sit there and they're going to believe it's good. They're, it's suggested to them that he's enlightened, he's great, and he's going to play these instruments amazingly. I think that's the um, headline here. Right. You know, I, this makes me think, you know, as as creators, sometimes, you know, we have people come in and are like, wow, you, this stream sucks. Yeah. And then they leave and then they come back for the next stream. Yeah. Like they're always coming back. As long as we have people in our chat like that, sure, it's kind of annoying, but it is reassurance that we are not like Shri Chinmoy. Fred, there's one significant difference between what you just described and what's happening here. We're not physically in the room with him fucking while he's trying to play the instruments being like, you suck, this is bad, I'm not comfy, I'm uncomfy, fuck you, stop talking about this, change the topic, I'm bored, I don't want to hear this, I don't like this, fuck you, you're doing a bad job. <laughs> like, we're not doing that to his fucking face, bro. <laughs> while he's in the process of doing it, while he's in the actual process of doing it. That, that's fair. This stream again? Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> next bit! <laughs> Yo, next instrument, Chimoy! Oh next instrument! Next instrument. Next instrument, Chimoy! <laughs> Fred, stop using the chat to talk to chatters, all right? You just fuck them. I'm sorry. Right? I didn't I'm... want to interrupt Shree Chin more. No, I'm fucking just... You're mine. <laughs> you're, mi you're, you're mine. You're mine. You're not theirs. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Please don't get out the belt again. <laughs> this instrument's very like a shung. It's, well, it's not like a shung, but it's a similar. It's, it's a Chinese instrument made of like a clay pot. Okay. And I have one at home, and I can make music like it on that. What's it called again? A Shung X U N, and it it it's just it's like a simple. It's got a blowhole, and it's got you know six finger holes, and it's just. That's a that's a uh, that's that's a ceramic pot. That's a. This looks like a pot, yeah. That's not a gourd. Mm. That looks like a gourd. Like he's sucking on a gourd. No, this one's a gourd. But I was saying, oh. I've got an instrument like like the one he was just playing. It was the horn, but it had like holes in it and like a blow blowhole over the top or something. And you you don't have to like practice a lot to get a sound out of it, and I could probably play something like that on the shung from playing it in half mm. an hour, you know. Right, if you're if you're just Some... you know winging it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, he's taking a fat rip crack pipe. <laughs> this <laughs> this instrument looks like something that a cyberpunk author would write about. Like like this is how you do well. That's a space opium. That's a that's a that's a jizz instrument, Fred. It is. You're yeah. right. That's, a, that's, that's the, where I'm getting that. That's straight up what you're thinking. That's the fucking that. That's the the cantina right there. The Moss Eisley cantina. What is this? What, what was the yeah. what was that? The, what was the name of that Star Trek character that like I Max didn't Rebo. believe was real? Max. Was Gl it? Glup Shido. You talking about Glup Shido? Glup Shido. I'm, I'm thinking Glup of Shido. someone else. Oh, um, the Jizz Whalers. The instrument is called the Jizz Whaler. Which, again, I think, um, I'm still confused by that. Like, was jizz not a common, like, 
slang term for semen back then? Or like, did George Lucas know that it was and he thought it was funny or he didn't care? Or like, maybe he was just surrounded by yes men who like wouldn't tell him that it was a stupid idea. It's like galore. The Goongas. Like, like what, Fred? Uh, the Ryan? Like what? Oh, I said it's like it's like pussy galore. Like that's that that was a slang word back then, and they still got aware of it. Yeah, yeah, they didn't care. They were just they were like, let's do it. It'll maybe it'll be cool. You know, like they just went for mm. it. Although in Italian American culture, there are a lot of people running around with the name pussy, like the nickname pussy. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, and I don't think it's meant to reference vaginas, you know. But you, you, know. you think it was a, a concerted effort? Maybe, maybe, maybe it was all, yeah. <laughs> maybe there was a memo in a meeting about it that I didn't get. <laughs> he's... Sorry, it's the way he adjusted the mic. It's like, have you ever seen this is Spinal Tap where he's playing the guitar with the violin? Yeah, yeah. And no, he I... just retunes the violin halfway through. <laughs> it's just a bit like that. <laughs> <laughs> it goes back to the same place. It does. He, yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. Sounds like a really nice instrument in the hands of somebody who knows what they're doing. It would probably be really, really nice sound. You know? it sounds no, like I was, I was, I was thinking of Droopy McCool. Droopy, <laughs> Droopy McCool. <laughs> that is an actual Star Star Wars character. God, he's such an idiot, George Lucas, right? God. And yes, this does have a drum. Thanks, Fred. It, it, well, I you said I think it has a drum. So yes, it does. Isn't it kind of a cardinal sin of these sorts of instruments to um, to do vibrato with your diaphragm? Do you usually want to do it with like your fingers? I don't know. Ooh. Brass and guitar player. Ah, uh, it's a bit from the Atrocity Guide. Yeah. He's doing the thing. This is like the Shri Chinmoy riff. <laughs> I'm just going through the heads of all the people in the audience right now. Like, are they just like, yeah, this is good. I love this guy and everything he does. This rules. I'm so glad well, that, I'm here have, right now. That's, this... that's, that's the thing is they're not here for the music. They believe that he is in a deep meditative trance and he is com actively communing with the Supreme. And that, like, they are able to, like, ab absorb this or, like, enter a similar meditative state by experiencing this music. That's that. That's what's going on here. Yeah. Nobody, nobody in the audience is, like, really genuinely impressed by this because that's not what this is about. I, I, I think Seriously. they're impressed but not about his musical ability. Okay. Also, the reason he's taking a breath every two seconds is because instruments with multiple uh, reeds like this, they take so much breath. I feel I've like had, I've, I've had circular to... breathe with this. I feel yeah, like you, you are. Keep the drones going. Um, yeah. See, he's playing this completely incorrectly. What are you saying? I mean, I don't know how to play it myself. So right, can't be sure. <laughs> But, why don't you just why, like... why, don't, why don't you just talk out of your ass about it, Ryan? This is Twitch. So you supposed to, that's what you're supposed to do here. <laughs> so just make shit up. Con be confidently wrong. Just just talk out of your ass. It's okay. I do it every night. It's fine. Ryan, well, your integrity like... is losing us viewers. <laughs> uh, never mind. Carry on. <laughs> Apparently, there's a dribble of cum coming out of the end of the gourd. I think that's light. That's light. Yeah, it's not semen. Chat. Not everything white is cum. But everything. What a that's bold. Oh my god, he transported. What a what a bold statement. Not everything that's white is cum. Have you been here before, Ryan? Have you been to this Twitch channel? <laughs> Oh my god, I will- yeah, chat remembers. 
XQC just had a live streamed therapy session. What? Why? What? Then it's not a therapy session. I, I, I mean, like, yeah. what better way to prove that you're not actually serious about therapy than fucking streaming it to your shitty chat? Holy fuck. This feels like something you would do to prove to your bitch wife that you're going oh, to therapy and he, trying to improve yourself. He, he like, did this it is, with... This is, he did it with Dr. K, so the entire thing is a fucking is publicity stunt for content. Oh, okay. And it's not, it's not real. It's not even attempting to be real therapy. Okay. Okay. Very sleepy. Taking a little nap. Knocked the wind out of him. Literally. <laughs> oh, it's the pee song again. Pee. Pee. Now I lay me down to piss. Oh, even they're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why that got me. Yep, it's fucking shit all the way down. Now what's that? It's very similar to the first thing. It's blue. Oh man, his bowing is really crap. I'm giving you opinions, <laughs> Mike. Praise me. <laughs> oh, he sings now. Now you're getting it. They like negativity. Talk more about how shit it is. They respond well to hatred. Oh, so he's singing with himself now. And he's actually looking at the frets when he's always playing. <laughs> he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! What? A, why even? Oh my God! I remember Mary's description of. You remember the AI that goes penis serious, penis delirious, and then just trips over itself really bad. I remember that. Yeah, you remember that. Um, the way Mary described it was, it continues like it fucks up. But it continues on with complete confidence, stumbling over itself like a drunk man who refuses to go down. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Shri Chinmoy is doing the same thing with his music here. Like he just keeps going with complete confidence. Chaz says he's covering Skibbity Toilet, but really slow. Like like like, like down, really, really, really down tempo. Like like dirge tempo Skibbity Toilet. Like when you have those pool stretched tracks that are like. Justin Bieber, but a thousand times slower. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My That's what style is ridiculous. That's too fast, Fred. Yeah. Too fast for what I'm envisioning. Too fast, too furious. If we speed it up, we could theoretically find out. But I think this is bad enough. I don't. I don't think we need to. Yeah. I think this sucks See, enough who... ass. I feel occasionally bad because they're like, people have to learn how to play instruments and they're going to sound crap to start with. Yeah. So I feel bad putting him down, but at the same time, he's a fraudster. Yeah, but he's so not, fraud. his intention here is not improvement. His yeah, intention he here is no like interest. making bank and manipulating people and being a grifter. Right. So he, like, he has yeah. no interest in, in the instrument itself. Yeah, he's not serious about this. So it, fuck him. No, Ryan, you're crushing his dreams. Is he also not dead, by the way? No, he's dead. Yeah. Okay, 2007. I, I'm about to be dead. What is? We'll go to the next instrument here. Mike, I know it's hard to believe, but this gets this gets worse as we go. Oh boy, man, you're getting oh, me excited boy. now. Yeah, right. Is that a clarinet? Yeah, I believe yeah. so. That's horrible. Okay. <laughs> I like how Mike. Uh, I'm, excuse me. I like how Ryan can't contain his disgust any longer. It sounds like yeah, the, gl it. the gloves are off. It oh, it's the Chinmoy riff again. Oh, it's that when he plays one note, really badly. Never say no. 
Yeah, that's English. Never say no. Guys, I think I get it now. I I get it. I just had the I just had the I get it moment. Like you know, fucking Danny DeVito. I get it. I just got it. I'm gonna give up all my worldly possessions to to follow this guy and become his fucking his groupie. I get it. I'm now. happy for you. Your chakra is now gaping. <laughs> Prolapsed chakra. He's trying to stretch. Uh, honestly, th th this is just how like, like I get where he's coming from because this is just how like I stream. Like you know you get you just fucking got you just got to fill the time. You got to fill the dead air. Just you know say do do a couple of times. Like like this. <laughs> I I know the playbook. Do you think that behind that perfectly placid face he is thinking, <laughs> got him. Maybe, or maybe he's like. Not that self-aware. Like maybe he just, mm. maybe he huffs his own fucking shit. You know what I mean? I, the pattern with these sorts of grifters is that if they keep doing their grift long enough, they start buying into it. Like themselves. he's now at this point definitely high on his own jenkum. Right. This even yeah. happened to um what the 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 original Ponzi scheme. The Ponzi, like John Ponzi, or whatever. What, what was it? it? No, 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 no. Who, who is it? Um, John Ponzi. I think it was Af. His name it was is... the other really famous one. I'm trying to remember. I'm sure chat is John Ponzi. Brain. John Bon Ponzi. John Bon Ponzi. <laughs> John Ponzi scheme. Yeah, Ryan, Madoff. If, Ryan, if you it were... was Madoff. Yeah, Bernie, Bernie, Bernie Madoff. Yeah, but that's recent, though. That was that's not the original. Or was that? No, that, what, what Bernie Madoff, that was, that was like less than 10 years ago he ripped all those people off. Who, who was the person who put together the um, the stamps scam? Where like the idea is Bernie, he goes that's abroad. Not, no, that's not he, Bernie Madoff. Yeah, he, he goes abroad, he buys the stamps, he comes back, um, and then he like redeems them for more than he paid Redeem? for them. Redeem? He rede redeems them. Mike. That, that was Ponzi? It's that not, was Ponzi. No, it's okay. not a Ponzi scheme unless it's from the Ponzi region of the U.S. Otherwise, it's just sparkling fraud. Sparkling fraud. <laughs> sparkling fraud. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, like, like Charles Ponzi earnestly believed in his, like, he kept it going long enough and he got so into it that he actually started to believe that he could make money off of it, right? Like that this wouldn't collapse. Yeah, but uh, I mean, how? Hmm. Okay, it's it's weird because he, he knew what he was doing, though. Right, you like, know, the, like this like, in the beginning he did, but by the end he seemed to be completely earnest. I I see it this, like I I see that happening more easily with spiritualism people because you're like, oh, it, it could it could be real. Right. I don't know. It, starts, it is it real. It starts as a grift. I mean, I've been talking it about it every day, and it's, 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 yeah, it starts as a grift. Yeah. No, not to get political, but you can kind of track something similar with Alex Jones, where in the beginning, you can tell that he's kind of like, he, he knows what he's doing, but you get up to today, and it's like, it's like he doesn't even recognize anything about what he's saying. Like, he believes everything. Yeah. Yeah, he just went out. He just he just went off the deep end. All right, no more no more politics, chat. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that was as far as I wanted to go. That was as far as I wanted. This sounds like Nez tavern music. What tavern music? It's like something you'd hear on a really old video game with uh, like really really rich music. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Like Nez. You can do it both. Wait a minute. The character Ness. Yeah. Is he named Ness yes. because of the mother? Yes. Fucker. Yeah. How did you? You didn't know that? No, I. I never. Oh, well, on. technically, well, well, Ness. Well, that that Earthbound wasn't on the Ness. It was on the SNES. But it's, SNES. so it's actually an anagram. 
Okay. Like, because the S is oh, at the right. end. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Snus. Say no. Chat, you like this? <laughs> in my mouth. Penis. He said penis, bro. I swear he said penis. He's trying to unlock his cockra. <laughs> This is really shoddy. Wait, he's going to... like... Yeah. It's, it's, it's just really bad. I didn't actually expect it to be this bad. And he's not embarrassed at all. Guys, he's going to say penis soon. Listen. All right. It was almost... He heard it was almost penis. Mm -hmm. It was like speenst. Spe speenst. He's just making a, is this even a language? Is he just fucking making up words now? He's making up his own words. He's channeling the supreme. It might be sort of like Hindi or something. You think so? I, I think I it would know. be funny. I, I like to think he's making words up. He's got a delay effect on it. That's cheating. <laughs> Isn't that reverb? Maybe, yeah. So it's he's not moving his fingers, right? So... So this is a, a, a fucking flute, right? Like this is a uh, w this is a flute. Yes. Like, so I feel I like this guy might have actually learned to play the flute. Yeah, so? I, I feel like I remember when I watched this back, I kind of like mentally took note of like his ability with certain kinds of in instruments. Mm -hmm. I think that with flutes, like I think he's most proficient with flutes, even though you can tell that he is extremely uncertain with the notes that he's improvising because you can tell because of how how he plays each note he very tentatively moves his fingers and so you get that that muddy quality but i think that he is most comfortable on wind instruments i feel like he um, yeah yeah oh, out of all the instruments you want to play random notes on like the flute's probably the easiest along with like keyboard instruments and string instruments like things like Saxes, clarinets, brass instruments, you have to do something with your lips and play the, the, the fingering. Mm. How many valves are on an instrument like this? Quite a few. Like four? Technically, technically none, if I'm going to be a bitch, but there are <laughs> holes in it. <laughs> what, what, how many? I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with 36. Right. Well, I mean, like, because it seems to me like, like, I thought your hand had to move around. Like, he's just, he feels like he's just pressing the same three holes, like, over and over. It's the Chinmoy riff. It, where it's like, I don't know, is it like, pick a chord and then just, like, I guess arpeggiate it, like, endlessly? <laughs> In different <laughs> intervals. The fucking reverb on his on his fucking cough, dude. Uh, there are seventeen holes on a flute. Maybe more. <laughs> Imagine I'm re I'm referencing something. Imagine. <laughs> Maybe more. <laughs> <laughs> the cough makes it sound like vaporwave. Or like Mols, like not Mols song. It's like... Oh, like his wave. improvisation is so shit. So can I just... Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the actual the actual notes he's playing yeah. are, are, are horrible. In, if you listen to like real jazz musicians, yeah. 
<laughs> Try to make a serious point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just your reaction to seeing the saxophone was like no. of such deep. This pain. is going to be so much worse. Saxophone <laughs> is such a beautiful instrument. It's so. It's like the in, like the uh, Indian traditional instruments. They're so tactile. Oh no, Ryan! Like I, I can attest to Ryan's love of the saxophone. Uh, the, I specifically. You... No, go ahead. No, no, no. You go ahead, Fred. Oh, it's just the deep lore. Like I told, I told Ryan, you know, don't like, please don't use saxophone in, um, like in the compositions because it, it's so in the mid range. It's going to compete with my voice. And he's like, no, 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 no. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. And I'm like, Ryan. He's like, I'll make it work. I'll make it work. And I'll be damned. He did it. Mm -hmm. Crazy son of a bitch did it. Yeah, you did it. You fucking did it. You Sounds sold me. You sold me on it. No, this well, there's different. Weird. Well, there's different kinds of saxophones, right? Like, did you go with like a like a right. like a like a I don't know, like a baritone or something? And Naomi plays very soft as well, mm -hmm. which helps. It's the, it's, it's the parts. Alto, actually. We you only, only use alto. alto. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I mean, not intentionally, I don't think. Um, but yeah, it's just it just happened. Ryan, you you, um, you play the instruments, right? Like you record them yourself. I bits and bobs. I I program a lot of them. It just it just saves time. So you think like the sax like the saxophone is a VST or like did you actually? No, it's it's Naomi the saxophone. Oh, playing. it's it's a okay. Yeah. A, few, Specifically... a few of them, yeah. A few things like we have some voice that is real voice. We have saxophone. Um, Do you guys ever need drums? Actually, yeah. Do you need them played actually, like yeah. really really bad? Sometimes, <laughs> if if I do a video on Shri Chinmoy, let me know. Let me know if you want some some piss drums okay absolutely i'm gonna riz them. I, I will, I'm, only, I'm networking right now chat leave shut up what happened i will for... only accept you playing if while you are playing the drums you are saying piss oh <laughs> uh, i love it um uh, yeah so, so i want to i want to make a point about yeah improvisation because mm -hmm. i love jazz and i love all kinds of jazz and i was talking to fred about i'm a big fan of paul dunwall the He's like free jazz improviser, really wild improviser. Saxophone like, player. He's a sax player. He he's mainly a sax player, yeah. And I I was like, I'm gonna listen back to him and like work out the difference between this and like what Chim Moy plays. And I was like, oh my god, it's just not comparable. <laughs> and it's because like jazz players don't just play random shit. They like really think about what they're gonna play and they're really fucking good at it. Oh yeah, they're, there was like, insanely it, it, it's good all at, like... it's only random to the untrained ear. It's only random to like a, a layperson, you know. I, I think it I think sometimes you mean Chin Moy. Yeah, well <laughs> it it I, I think it's not random if you're paying attention. Does that make sense? No, I mean absolutely, like, it, but like with it it show it's it it Frozen to such contrast, how terrible this guy is. Mm. You know, it mm. really, it just, if you listen to jazz, like a jazz player, like anybody for two seconds and then listen to this guy, you're like, oh my God, this is, this is not right. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Like there's an intent to, to that, you know, when there, when's like, say he's, say you got a saxophone player doing a jazz solo, there's, there's an intent to it. Massive there's, intense. There's like, a, you know, like good, a recognizable, good a recognizable intent. Yeah. Good jazz improvisationists impro improv uh, whatever um <laughs> yeah they're they are so good like the level of skill of these people is intimidating right yeah, like yeah I, I i will never be as good at anything as some people are at jazz improv yeah and it's even like the cool players you listen to like miles davis or i mentioned uh chet baker but like you mm -hmm. listen to them like Every single like Miles Davis's solos, like every single note will have a specific like articulation and tone to it. Um, it's played in such a specific way. It's it's the most remarkable thing, um, and it just it just throws into sharp relief like Chim Chim. I'm not a very negative person, particularly about music, but God, this is this is the fucking pits. <laughs> this is some of the worst. Like this is one of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Be because you know what it is. He's just playing that same fucking thing on this instrument, and it's not working. It's, it's working even like Like, he's like, I could just take that, do that exact same fucking thing and translate it to everything. And it's like, no, you can't, penis. Right? It's like... 
you listen to Ben Webster play, um, and you can hear like the the breathiness of his tone. You can like almost it, it's got such unique and magical sound, and this guy just sounds like he's killing a crow. <laughs> it's it's disrespectful. I know what the problem is. He needs to move the microphone slightly, and then <laughs> and then it'll sound awesome. There you go. All right. Okay. You see, yo, in chat. Ryan, you, hold on, Fred, one second, one second. Hold yeah. that thought, bud. Ryan, you've you seen um, Whiplash, right? You had to have yeah, seen Whiplash. The, yeah. you remember, remember the fucking bit where the, where the kid sits up and he tries to adjust the height of the drum stool? And, 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 and fucking, uh, what's his name, J.K. Sims <laughs> is like, yeah, it's the height of the fucking seat. Yeah, that's fucking it. Oh, yeah, that must be it. Remember that bit? <laughs> That's what I was yeah. just I, I was just reminded <laughs> of with the microphone thing. Uh, I, I, I love that part because because I've been through that, like where I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do like I'm trying to learn a part or I'm trying to put down. Yeah, I'm trying to put down a drum track or something. And like I stand up and I'm like, well, you know what? This isn't going great. It's got to be the seat height. And I get up and adjust the seat height, and uh, and then I find out it, it 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 wasn't the seat height. Like I I enjoyed that bit <laughs> so because I lived that. <laughs> Yeah. Or well, it's like, was, oh, what I if like... I take the fucking hi hat and move it like and move it like two inches to the left? No, that's not changing anything. Sorry, what were you saying? I, I was looking at the, well, actually, you know, what's interesting is Whiplash has got like some truth to it and some not truth to it. In terms of what? Uh, Orchestras? And, like... Well, people were saying, you know, not my tempo, but like you have to be that good at playing in time to be a professional musician. It's like one of the things that will sell people on you being a good musician because if you're slightly out of tempo, it doesn't sound right. Oh, and, yeah. like you will spend the majority of your time learning to play in time. Yeah, but Whiplash it, accurately depicted that. I thought, no. Yeah, exactly. That's one of the accurate parts. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not as like you wouldn't get away with like screaming at kids like that, but people did like scream at like students. And I remember there was I I I don't think we had anybody really bad at my conservatory well my conservatoire but, oh, um, oh yes like i remember there was a story about somebody at the guild hall like the brass teacher would chase people and make him run like laps around the building yeah. and then he'd be like now go play the concert because it's the only way he believed you could simulate like the stress of performing live was to make people like run rings around the building and then play that's bizarre yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it I might have worked, but feel like it make make it harder to play. I mean, you're play, you're hyperventilating, and you're. you're tired, well, he wants them now. to practice like that. He wants them to practice hyperventilating and worn out and stressed out. He wants them to practice like that. So when they came to play in the concert, when they were mm. stressed out and hyperventilating, they could actually play. Yeah, well, that's kind of insane, right? It's a little, it's a little insane. Yeah, well, that that pe people are because. I think I think one of the things that accurately portrayed as well is the music. You know, the music industry is really tough. Even yeah, there's also a today. huge standard. Like, um, yeah, very very yeah. hypercritical. There's there's not a lot of room for uh, for failure. Not a lot of room. Not a lot of not a lot of second chances to go around. One of my favorite That's... scenes in that film is uh, there's a bit where J.K. Simmons is like playing the piano in a jazz festival later on. Yeah, I remember and that. It's like in a relatively small venue. But he's playing something so sensitively and so beautifully. And like it's it just shows the contrast between the music someone like that can produce and their personality. Yeah. It's, it's one of the most accurate things, you know, because you'll meet people who make beautiful music and they're absolutely horrible people. <laughs> because <laughs> because it's like an obsessive industry, you know. I think it mm -hmm. it, uh, it breeds people who are um shitty. It, not to say shitty, but it's like a certain kind of per person survives and shitty people, some shitty people thrive in that environment. Right. That mm -hmm. happens in chess as well. Mm -hmm. um, I was listening to Behind the Bastards, which is a great podcast, um, talking about um, about uh, Bobby Fischer. And the host said something that I loved. There is not a single Grandmaster chess player with normal political opinions. Like there, chess breaks people's brains. There is something about it, and I I think like music can do the exact same thing. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Like, like music going deep enough into music, just it breaks something. It fries a wire. 
Maybe. I think there's a choice yeah. before you vote when you make music is to there's like a light and dark path, you know. You're right, yeah. That um, meme, right? Which way? Some 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 people some people the kindest people you ever meet and other people are really um hair trinities. Well um, you know what's wrapped up in you, you know what's wrapped up in it too is ego. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean like I've been in a lot of bands and I think something that I, I've seen like pretty consistently is like, I mean, yeah, people, people get fucking high on themselves. Like it's, it's kind of, yeah, it's some people, uh, get really pretentious and they just literally think they're better than you and, 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 and fucking like, uh, and that, and that wasn't even in like, you know, orchestra setting that wasn't even in like, um, professional settings that was just like oh i found some assholes on craigslist who like needed a drummer and it's like you know again main character syndrome the narcissism is like endemic in in fucking especially people who play lead instruments i'm not i'm not i'm not saying i'm not fucking ze- and, and vocalists <laughs> i'm not saying that that drummers are exempt from it because i met i've met some fuck some real like co- real fucking cockhead drummers yeah but like um, ego is a hell of a drug, is what I'm trying to say. Well, the worst I've ever been treated in my life. I used to be page turner, but so I used to turn pages for the pianist at um, uh-huh. no Birmingham shit. Contemporary Music Group. Yeah, and um, they play like really complex experimental music. So um, they did Ligeti's Piano Concerto with Tom Pasta, and he's the sweetest human being I've ever met. Tom Pasta. Um, yeah, is Tom um, Pasta Tom like spaghetti? Like spaghetti, Bob? <laughs> Um, he's, I think he's the pianist on the theory of everything. So the piano part is played by Tom Poster in that. Okay. Um, Tom, but Tom there was Pasta some... is the spaghetti bob of the rigatoni world. Yeah. <laughs> trying to make a serious point here. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let so me... you work for the page turner. I, I, and you... I, uh, you're, you're saying you want me to let him cook? Let pasta? him cook. Let his pasta cook, bro. So you were, you were being, you were a, t- a page turner for, for this guy. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, Here's the thing about turning pages when, like, somebody's playing a solo part in the orchestra. Um, so I was turning for BCMG's Birmingham Contemporary Music Group. Um, this guy was playing, not going to name his name, but he was playing like a piece of new complexity. So if you Google new complexity, you'll see what the scores look like. Um, and at one point, um, so one of the things as well is you can't hear what he's playing because the instrument is angled away from you. You're sat behind him with the lid of the instrument blocking the sound from you, so you only hear the orchestra. Yeah. So you can't hear what he's playing. And his pages are cut. So um, horizontally across the page, you can turn it as it goes down because yeah. he has to read the music so quickly. Oh, I understand. And yeah. He was screaming at me if I was a moment late. Like, sc- imagine somebody like screaming in your face. Yeah. And like, like being a big, sweaty, horrible, like powerful pianist with like massive you know, horrible attitude, like massive hands hammering at the instrument, like threatening to punch you in the face or something like that. That was what it was like for hours on end. That, Jesus. Um, they're they're going to click uh, clip the shit out of you because you said, imagine having a big, sweaty, horrible penis. I know. I realized, against your I, I, I realized that halfway yeah, through. Yeah, you're, you're, getting, <laughs> you're getting clipped, son. That's how well, it is. Well, now I am. Yeah. No, it was, it was, <laughs> ap- it was happening anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. But no, that doesn't sound like a good time. Um, that does not sound like a good time. Uh, you know what else isn't a good time? Shri Chin Boy playing the saxophone. I feel a bit better about it now. <laughs> you got it out of your system. Someone in chat suggested playing this at double speed. Hold on. Turn into Benny Hill. This, this is what like. If you put me in front of a, a keyboard, this is what I sound like. Oh, you like the exact, are not ready. Like the exact fucking thing that he like. Like I, I have. I'll just, I'll just sit there. And again, I have zero idea how to how to play that instrument. I will just like, you know, I'll put all my fingers next to each other and I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll kind of play the keys next to each other. I'll just go up and down the scale because I'm. I'm 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 musically an infant on that instrument, and this man. I like the white keys. Yeah, they're he, pretty. He, he's doing that. Like he's doing that. This is what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. 
<laughs> wouldn't, you, wouldn't you never try to sing while playing this instrument? Like, wouldn't you never do that ever? Isn't there it's no hard? But you can. Is it? Yeah, but wouldn't you? You're fucking holding it in place with your jaw. It's not great, so, but you can. Well, I mean, like the instrument's I, moving up and down while you're singing. Like, I had a colleague who was like, is from Ireland, Republic of Ireland, and he played um, fiddle. Sort of, no, he was a composer, but he oh. played like solo violin and voice pieces that were influenced by, you know, Irish traditional music. Mm -hmm. I had a friend whose mum used to come to the concerts. She'd be like, "Ah, oh, the terrible, the terrible singing violin man." He can actually <laughs> could stand his playing. But I mean, he made like, it. He made it work. On for, like, was it shit? I, I it was. It was all right. I think it was. It was slightly um, impenetrable for some people. But it was. Okay. He was. He. He was. You know. He was a good musician. Okay. <laughs> He's not singing, he's just yelling. He's just yammering loudly. So his hand is still in the first position. That that's that's what I was trying yeah. to that's what I was trying to say before. Like on all these instruments, he does not move up and down the fretboard. Okay, when he was playing like the sitar thing, he was moving up, he was moving up and down the fretboard. But like I don't know, like, like the, I, I know that the, the, the wind instruments and the brass instruments don't have fretboards, but, like, his hand never moved. And he's doing the same thing with this. Right? Like, I think you can play all the notes of the flute without moving your you hands. You don't have to, because I don't know. Okay. But with this instrument, you, I mean, with the violin, you have to. Yeah. He's, well, you don't have to, but yeah, he's just not. It's, a, it's the first thing you're going to play. Well, like if you're position. fucking improvising it, you probably want to if you're improvising. Right? You don't move your hands on wind instruments. Yeah, I didn't know. I'm, I just, yeah. Oh! Oh, he's going for something. He's got, he's way, way, he's on. Let him cook. He's on to something. It's moving for me. Yeah, the Supreme is speaking through him. Supreme. He went for shit. a little, he, he went for a little, uh, a little, a little like Dragon Force there. He did a that? solo. Yeah, he went for he a little. tried to do a solo. Went for a little uh, Finger Olympics type shit. That's still the most exciting thing that's happened the whole time. <laughs> this is fucking dog shit. Guys. Except when he, I, except when he moved the microphone. That guys, I don't cool. know how much more of this I can handle. I, we're at, we're at like two hours of this. Dude, I might be at my fucking limit. Dude, we'll we'll go through them a little faster then. But I beg of you, we need to continue. Here well, first we of all, what the fuck is that? Is that the Moog? I think so. It's, wait a minute. That's like a fucking Casio with like samples in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. That's it. That's yep. like that's like the Casio with like the default samples where it's like a guy going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> you know what I'm Here talking about? Out. Yeah. Damn cook. Let's see how this goes. All right. You know, I I want to hear a little bit more of this. I'm gonna. <laughs> It's like, it's like six different instruments. Wait. Oh my God. Yeah, there was steel drum. There was, I definitely heard steel drum. More like a marimba, right? Holy shit, like a Rhodes type of thing. It's got voice in it. It's got like a... It yeah, yeah, there's, there, there's, there's a voice sample. There's a, a fucking voice sample. I thought that was him. Piano. Was it one of the uh, dude? I I swear to God, there was like a ride sim a ride symbol in there. There might have been. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> I love like, the, the like steel they, drum. There was a fucking. There was like nowhere. a. Oh my god. There was like a Remember? drum sample in here too. Uh, 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 uh. It's like the Gregorian uh, like chant, a uh, uh, fuck <laughs> fucking synth. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't you program this? Like, don't you set the 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 fuck? Holy shit! This this is this is like the male Yoko Ono. Ooh. No, Yoko Ono is actually good. Sarcasm? No, no. I think she's she's. I I used to play some pieces by Yoko Ono back in the day. She she was married. Her first husband was Ichianagi, the composer who I almost studied with when I went to Japan, but he was like really old, and I I I couldn't email him. <laughs> mm -hmm. The, well, okay, so there. Okay, so so you're saying she's got a large catalog of music, and only the only ones that I heard are the ones that make her look really bad. I mean, I I I, I think um, I actually don't know very much about her music, but I like her like Fluxus and stuff like that. I quite like Fluxus because I'm that kind of guy. What is it called? Um, Fluxus. It's like the little text instructional pieces. Um, when we were at university, we used to do them sometimes, and they were always like the highlight of the year because you used to do dumb stuff and have a lot of fun doing it isn't there a yoko ono song that has an unironic toilet flushing sound well one of the tracks on one of her albums is literally just a, a it's a it's a toilet flushing is this is the track do you know what i'm talking about ryan yeah but it's done with intention which makes it better than this because this guy oh, i don't God. know what he's doing it's just toilet sounds and fucking <laughs> the toilet doesn't even have a skibbity in it. Just a regular toilet. Disgusting. Would you rather it had one would you rather had a skibbity in it? I guess not. Yeah, I guess I guess not. <laughs> I guess. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, yeah. This is like when you're in fucking Guitar Center or like, you know, Sam Ash or whatever, <laughs> and there's a fucking child. Somebody brought their child and they're just pounding on the f on the fucking Casio like an asshole. And you're like, right. where is the parenting? Where is the parenting? Stop right. him! <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the occasional steel drum fucking kills me every time. It's so good. The fucking voice as well. What, perfect. What, what gets me is that this had oh, to be set up like oh. this. This is deliberate. They he deliberately chose these sounds. Or somebody mm -hmm. did for him. Like this the, the Supreme told him which sounds. The fucking Supreme. Oh, you got to hear the voice for a moment longer. <laughs> okay. and Hammer works in a music store? This is why I have a sign up in there that says unattended children will be given kazoos. <laughs> like to take home, right? Like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm like, it's like sensory overload. It's like I'm being stun locked. But it's so monotonous. It's just the same rhythm all the time. It's like he's typing an email. I would love a mechanical keyboard that had like a sound effect on every key. <laughs> yeah. It's like I have I have a fart on the G key. Do I think there's a, just be typing? I think there's a fart right here, or it's the like, or it's the music that makes you poop, guys. The brown note. Yeah, no, I. You hear it? This was this was something I was thinking. Like, what, what if this concert is actually like, what if Shri Chinmoy is just horrifically constipated, has not shat in years, and like these concerts <laughs> are his journey trying to find the brown note. He's he's looking for it by playing every possible combination of notes. He's looking for mm -hmm. the like the magic the magic note that will make him poop.
His chakras are open, but his anus closed. Hey. Guys, this is making me want to be dead. Right, hold on, what else he got here? What's this? I hope you like octaves. Notice how he can't, like, his his hands are playing the same thing. He can't, like, split. Yeah. He can't split his hands. Look. Yeah. You, you think that he thinks that sounds good, or you think that's totally out of necessity for it? Um, I don't think he's thinking about it. Yeah, he's no, not, he's not I, even thinking. It's just, that's automatic. Like, that's just what his fingers do, so he goes with it. No, this this motherfucker is, is not on this plane. Like, no thought was given to what this actually sounds like. You know? But it's just it's just like nothing. That's the point. It's like he hasn't given any effort over. So there's some composers who use like um, there's a composer called Bob Ashley who did an opera. He had like Tourette's and he used um, he he's there's like a piece by him an opera by him called Automatic Writing, which okay. used his like involuntary speech to make the text for the opera. Interesting. Music together. Wow. So it actually made something like interesting and unusual. But like this, he's just playing like the same kind of like slightly free rhythm and just like churning out notes and there's no shape or form to it that's just like your opinion man i think this is great <laughs> but see that's like the thing about music is it's like there are wrong opinions like that's what i was trying to say before like at the end of the day if i make a shitty painting you know you kind of can't say definitively it's it's bad you know because somebody could disagree with you but like with this like it's definitive definitively it, it's definitively bad you know you can like this is music's something not like that that's what i'm trying to say like this is something you show this is a test to see if someone is an alien in a yeah. human skin like <laughs> yeah. if you put a bunch of music next to each other like a bunch of pieces of music next to each other and you have this thrown in there and if they choose this as being good you zap them yeah, you got a, you got a, is, you got a replicant. You you got your gray. Yeah, this is horrible. But him playing the synthesizer with like the fucking steel drumming, that's ten on ten. That, yeah, that I that I think I don't think that this video gets better than that. Like that was outstanding. Uh, that was a that was a fucking Tim and Eric sketch. Like that was a reality. Was, like that was it was yes. But like, that I really, I don't even you, believe that happened. On ironically, I encourage you to continue. Like not with this, not not with this instrument necessarily, okay, but we can skip through. What's going on here? Cameraman he's had a painting. little fucky wucky. Oh, that's feces, bro. He's throwing his shit at the wall like an ape. Oh, he found the brown note. He oh, I'm so found glad for him. it. Oh God bless him. He found it. The search is over. This is Vinnie Vine Sauce's pudding drop, right here, chat. <laughs> Remember pudding drop. I'm pretty sure that this whole concert is a gray Leno bit. Do you know I helped Vinny film Pudding Drop chat? Did you know that? I was in the room for, for, for Pudding Drop. Why don't the, what's going on here? Oh no, we don't have to, oh no, we can't hear it anymore. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, anyway. Um, I, I would recommend here. I'll, I'll pick out some uh, some good time codes. There's one in particular I wanted you to see. Go to about fifty five minutes. Fifty five minutes. Okay. This instrument sounds nice. Like it's just got a nice feeling to it. It does. Do you yeah. know what it is? No. <laughs> no. It, it reminds me it's, of it's, the Hurdy Grande. Do you remember that, Ryan? Uh, the yeah. the Drescher Ensemble the shake machine i showed it on stream with you mike at one point right i remember that thing yeah that that, that concert that whole presentation. yeah that was cool as hell that i'm seeing it live was awesome it was so good it was funny the music was excellent uh this is the silent hill to... ost uh what was the time code you said fred uh 55 minutes approximately Dark. Man, 
cue the bells when he sings. <laughs> Any Mike Oldfield fans out here? Any what? <laughs> Mike Oldfield fans? No, nobody. No. <laughs> He's like a fucking cat. Yeah, what if he just played the Futurama theme song right now? Like, what if he just busted it out? Oh, I'm a fan. He doesn't. It doesn't seem like he's playing music, or, or it seems like he's checking for like steam leaks or something. Like, he, <laughs> like he's checking. He's checking on plumbing <laughs> right now. Like he thinks they're literal pipes. Like he, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. He's just going up and down. Yeah, that's what. Well, you, I mean, that's how you play that, notes. That's how you play music, Ryan. Yeah, what but, the fuck? but but what he's that is how if you put a fucking child in front of a musical instrument, they're first they're gonna bash on it, and then they're gonna do that. He's playing like Why a are you five year old. Me off, Mike. What, what? Do I do? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so angry with me? Is, I'm not. No, this, like. Like, I'm not playing the bells. <laughs> when you don't know how to, uh, when you don't know how to play an instrument, that's what you do. You just fucking go back and forth on your fingers, and that's what he's been doing with every single one of these fucking instruments. Except this time, he's doing with the mallet. Hmm. No, like, no, absolutely. I mean, I, I was thinking that he's not playing any instruments that are very, very difficult to play. By the violin, it's really borderline because it's a very difficult instrument to play. Like, he's not playing the well. Maybe he will play the accordion because the accordion is like quite tricky you have to play the bellows and the keyboard at the same time well i think what it's i, I like think you what you're trying two actions I, I think what you're trying to say is like a lot of the things that he's been playing don't don't requ require chords like well he's not trying to play chords i guess he's trying to play like melodies like he's trying to play like i don't fuck i don't fucking know what i'm talking well, about he's just playing melodies on his own it's not even like a band trying yeah. to cover up how bad he is like playing a like a beat or like a you know that like might have helped group might have helped him maybe maybe he maybe a little backup could have been what, what he needed you know, maybe, maybe they just didn't do it they just sounds didn't like want to. an interesting like musical <laughs> challenge like like take take audio samples from this loop them and try to make it sound like something halfway decent by by adding that's more did, by adding like, more tracks for the to the soundtrack it. for the atrocity guide but it wasn't it, right like, that's what you audible. did yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's what i did i fixed the music to his fucking playing pink guy comes out of retirement to make like take samples from this concert and then wrap the word pussy over it <laughs> pushy pussy uh we got cha cha um, chatters one, are gonna take up the challenge one oh that that would be impressive i uh, okay there's one more one more thing i want to show you from this and then um Maybe we can let Ryan sleep and get on to Unreal Estate. Oh, I wanted Ryan, Ryan. I wanted Ryan to come for the. the, the you real you want? Yeah, you you willing to join Ryan? I, I know it's late. No, there. I, it's two thirty in the morning. I've got a meeting <laughs> at ten. Can I show you? Okay, can okay. I show you one house that's in the UK? Yes, absolutely. All right, all right. It's the only one we have that's not in the US. I think. We usually don't have UK listings, but I thought it might be a special treat since you were hanging out with us. Oh, uh, what was the time code you wanted for you had, Fred? Um, one hour and seventeen minutes. All right, approximately. Uh oh. Oh, he's tearing it up, dude. Uh oh, dude! I think the, I I think the guardian saw you. Uh oh, it's got its laser trained on you. You ready to do? You ready to do the fucking sh the shield deflect? <laughs> do you want to bet he doesn't take his foot off the pedal throughout the whole thing? You know what? I think he just gets intense. It, it's like clenching his jaw. The pedal is, is for sustain, right? You're talking, yeah. What you're talking yeah. about? But it also makes it sound like you're playing good stuff when you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cheat pedal. Yeah. Yo, he's playing the Stolen Work brand. There's some kind of joke in there. I never heard of that before. No, me neither. It's That's the German. Pi the, the piano you use for plagiarizing things. Stolen Work. Uh, I, I don't know what 
much stolen is. It's kind of bread, like Christmassy bread. Oh. Stolen work is bread? Yeah. No, well, stolen is bread. I mean, I didn't have to spell Oh, that. in German. Bread work. Boop, boop, boop. It's, it's, it's the Chinmoy. He's playing the Chinmoy riff. He's going like, back you to know the, old, you have, the old standby. Um, yeah, right. You, you know you know how you have. Ba -da 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 -da. It's like it, that's this is his version. The cameraman just died. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? He just the fucking lit. died. Mike, you should play this guy randomly during BRBs. <laughs> okay, actually, okay. Hear me out. Really expensive sound alert of him playing the um, that synth, that moog for a minute. Like it, like that, I'm, I'm th that's got to be like a hundred bucks. It, it's like fifty, like I don't, yeah, like a hundred bucks worth of bits. Guys, he sounded good for like one second. Can I show you? <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm serious. He sounded. No, I know. There are moments. He sounded okay. good. Yeah, because, I swear to I, God. What? Freddy, he's punching the black notes. Hold on, Freddy Kitters in chat said, "If there's the lick, then this is the suck." <laughs> it's like you're you're saying it's like chimpanzees with writing Shakespeare, basically. No, I think because the keyboard obviously you have the white keys and the yeah. the black keys. Yeah, yeah. So if you play either one of those on their own, you might make something that sounds half good. Hold on. <laughs> Fuck, that might be comment of the night. No, I was wrong. He didn't sound good. <laughs> Wait, I think it's after this bit. What a fucking penis. <laughs> he looks like a circumcised cock, too. Like, just look at his fucking head. He's got me under his spell? Maybe. Breath of the Wild. Yeah, Nintendo hired this man for Breath of the Wild. Is there a crowd here? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's hundreds of people watching. You want to go back to the beginning of the it's video and like show them? Like, let's remind people, people how big this crowd is. That was like 3,000 people. <laughs> Look, it just goes all. The yeah, that's thousands. That's thousands of people. There's listening to this woman sing. There's more people sitting here watching this than I, I probably is in this chat room right now. Probably double, at least. Holy fucking shit. Did you have another time code that you wanted me to go to, dude? No, that that was pretty much the, the bulk of the piano the last thing. instrument. It looks like it. No, th there was one more. What the I fuck is like that? Hold on. It's like a, a harmonium, isn't it? Like mm -hmm. a I've never seen this thing before. It, oh, it's a little bit like an accordion, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. I'm sad he doesn't do any percussion. Like, I want to see him, like, I want to see him on a, on a fucking, on a drum kit. I have, I have a little factoid. Hmm? I have a little factoid that, yeah, he does have an upright bass. Um, I have a little factoid that I think you'd appreciate, Mike. Mm -hmm. um, the, the German word for drum is Schlagzeug, which literally translates to hit thing that's awesome hit thing what, what, why is he outside what was he the... go outside yeah what, was he got before the piano he like was in a white oh maybe he Did left he the building he leaves the building at some point yeah like his members only oh, jacket. Just, just, uh, okay. Fred, wasn't there a German word? It was like, it was for like boner pills and it was like, make him penis working or something like that. Didn't you uh, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You, you were thinking of their word for um, uh, birth control pills, which is anti baby pillin. That's not, yeah. And that's not a joke. That is not a joke. Um, th there's another word for it, uh, but anti baby pillin, it, pillin that's, is that's, absolutely that, that, that's real. a word. That's real. Yes. Yeah, that yeah. is the one I was thinking of, yeah.
Sonic's Frankfurt favorite. Frankfurt looks very clean. What's that? <laughs> We're saying Frankfurt looks very clean. It does. Very efficient. I need to figure out how to say one way or another that baby isn't going to make it in German. <laughs> That's pronounced chili doggin. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Chili, it's it's pronounced the chili. Time at the end. Chili There's dog, gotta go fasten. Oh yeah, no, I get. He does. He's got a gun. What a fucking dick. <laughs> Oh, he's getting a real good sound out of that tam tam. Oh, he's going, he's going easy on it. It's like it's like sex, you know. You gotta go, you gotta you gotta start like slow and easy, and just he's making love to this thing right now. Is what I'm saying. No, nah, he's he's fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> he's desecrating it. Yeah. He... This he's is... hate. He's hate fucking it. He is, he is hitting that gong like he's trying to find the clit. <laughs> he, he is. He is. But he's like he's feathering it to get like you know the the low the low reverberations out of it. You know. Mm. See that? See see what he's doing? See that? He's getting. A, he knows what he's doing. This guy. Yeah, right. Lessons. He's like maybe. maybe yeah. Maybe. Maybe if, maybe if I do it gently. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll get a reaction then. No. No. Well, fuck it. What if I just go real hard? the fuck is that maybe oh. if i make little maybe if i punch <laughs> it what the oh that's the big time time oh he's jerk yo he's jacking off he's just jacking off guys <laughs> what if i poked your clit with my dick <laughs> he noticed like the smudge yeah well guys um I mean, that's, I think that's the end of our Shri Chinmoy journey. Um, yeah. You know, you guys have been wanting to show me that for a while. Fred's been talking about wanting to watch this on stream for like months. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, 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 and Mike. Yeah. Mike, this is far from the only concert that's been uploaded to YouTube. Wow. There are so many more of these. Well, I just wanted to say before we um, move on here, um, fuck the both of you for bringing this horrible thing into my life. <laughs> um, this truly, you can find trust you guys. truly, truly, well and truly fucking sucked and made my life worse. So, guys, thank you so much for uh, showing this to me. It's fucking rules. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad I can be the Jägermeister in your life in the sense that you figure you'll try it again because maybe it won't be so bad this time. <laughs> I feel like I like Jägermeister, but I haven't drank it since I was like 14. Oh, try it now. Try it now. <laughs> um, no. I, I, I associate, I, I deeply associate Jägermeister with Only Use Me Blade now. And I just, ooh. Uh, what is Only What? Is that a Spaghetti Bob, dude? It is a spaghetti bob. Don't worry about it. Uh, that that is actually a rabbit hole you don't want to go down. Yo, he's bob. He's bobbing hard. Everybody, no, get I, down! He's gonna bob. No, th this is an anti-bob. This is me telling you, don't. He's gonna don't. bob. All right. Well, listen. I'm gonna do um a quick update because you ready? You guys ready to look at some houses? Yeah. I'm ready to look at one house. Yeah, you could just one house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Poor Ryan, thank we you, kept Mike. you up so long. Ra Ryan, thank you for being such a trooper and staying up so late. No, I'm very, I'm happy. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with really us, buddy. It's really bright outside I, tonight. What's up? It's really bright outside tonight. We've got like a super moon, so. Super yeah. moon. Oh, that's cool. Walking out in a full moon is very enjoyable. So this is from, uh, are you familiar with a place called uh, Stockport, Ryan? Oh, and also mods, uh, yeah. if you want to add the Discord and let them know we're doing this in case anybody was like, yeah, I'll come back when that stops, you know? <laughs> um, <laughs> st Stockport. Uh, I'm yeah. I'm not fam really oh, familiar no. with stock Stockport. I can already tell this is an underground fixture. I can see it through the window. Something is... In the... Yeah. Yeah, it's in the north northwest. In like Liverpool-y? Liverpool... -y? Cumbria is it from is it, from is it Cumbria? Uh, I'm not I'm not from the south. Lucky me. Um, <laughs> maybe I, I. 
So the problem is, I have lived in Scotland and I have lived in the south, and mm. I, I like drove through this part of the country, but I just oh. never, never played a, never, I can't really place it. So, uh, it looks like we got some grass on the roof. I guess that's for f um, photosynthesis purposes. Why is there grass on the roof? Is this Minecraft? I think it's just neglect. Maybe. <laughs> So yeah, so I get I guess it's like a semi subterranean home or something. I'm I'm not not sure I really understand what what I'm looking at, frankly. I was like my first thought when I saw the building was this this looks like where Wallace takes his dates when he brings them back home to get freaky. Who's Wallace? Like Wallace from and Wallace, Wallace and Gromit. Wallace and Gromit. He doesn't get freaky. We don't no, think he Wallace doesn't. gets no, freaky. He's, he, he's no right, um, right, Ryan. He's like a Mormon's fantasy. He has <laughs> negative sex appeal. He's like a sexless well, I'll, human. It's, I'll go and find it's... this. I'll go and find this. I, I'm, I'm gonna send you something. This Mike. is this Give is Wallace's moment. fuck pad, dude. And he probably smells of cheese as well. Oh, Where yeah. he gets freaky. He gets freaky. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I um, I was talking to a cheesemonger the other day, oh. and there's a correlation between the better the cheese, the ruder the cheesemonger. And how, how do you, he, how, why, was, why do you think that is? By the way, we don't use that word here, so that's very funny that you're using that word. Like, people are laughing hard. Now, I'm controlling myself because I don't want to be rude, but chat's rolling. Cheesemonger. Yeah, we, 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 we don't use the word monger. In this country. Like, huh? Okay. I'm sorry. We don't um, use the word monger, but when we hear it, we're like, yes, monger, yeah! Of course, we use, like, um, cock monger, you know, we put, we put mm. like, lewd things in front of it. So there's a, there's My, an inverse relationship between the quality of the cheese and the politeness, or the perceived no, politeness yes, of the cheesemonger. Yes. So the ruder the cheesemonger, the better the cheese, and this guy was the rudest man I've ever met. And, uh, yeah. um, and I mentioned the stinking bishop, and he was like, stinking bishop, puh. I, he's French as well. He's like, I uh. spit on your chink, stink, stinking bishop. <laughs> I spit on it. Wallace and Gromit, get it on their film. Everybody wants stinking bishop. I spit on it. Disgusting. He called you Gromit? No, he, he, <laughs> he said Wallace and Gromit had it on their movie. And he that then everybody was talking about stinking bishop and he thinks it's shit. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know if I've even heard of stinking bishop. Stink, stinking bishop. It's a I found smelly... it. I found okay. it. I found, I, I found it. Thing. Here we go. Riot. Like... <laughs> I'm a little bit drunk right now, but I'm laughing my ass off because Wallace is literally the most sexless being ever brought into creation. Look at him. On a fuck scale of 0 to 10, he is easily a negative 30. He is nothing. He is a man in a sweater who eats cheese. He's like a Mormon <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> And then, so I, I saw this, and I decided to have some fun, so I made another version. Yeah, but, uh, but like, I mean, that that's see? just that's just in the, uh, in the eye of the beholder, don't you think? Do you, rem do you remember this, Ryan? Oh, yes. so that, that's him? That's that's Ryan? <laughs> oh, is, you're, that's Ryan. Very, oh, you're... That's like my, my fake pianist, pe pe fake pianist. I'm doing it again. That's this my... <laughs> Fred, you're a fucking asshole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is when uh, You're so... like an asshole. What an asshole. <laughs> what a dick. Oh my god. I love you, Ryan. <laughs> I mean it. Holy shit. This is hostile work environment. Uh, this, this picture of me was taken when I was like pretending to be a serious composer. <laughs> like as a joke. And, so yeah, I'm like and, looking as a joke. And, he says, and now and now you make it down the rabbit hole music. Yeah. I still yeah, want to know so about Stinking Bishop. Stinking Bishop, it's a kind of cheese. It's a kind of cheese. It's, it um, it's, it's actually starts out okay when you buy it, but after a few days, it starts smelling like actual dog shit. Oh, and, I don't like cheeses uh, that smell weird. Like, I don't like It's that. washed in cider made from the Stinking Bishop. I want to say pear. Yeah, Stinking Bishop pear. So maybe it's not cider, it's like pear. Mm. I don't know. But, Did I? Um, Ryan, ahead. you ever have craft singles? Yeah, I had some the other day because the dog likes them. <laughs> the dog <laughs> likes them. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate craft singles. What were you gonna say, Fred? Um, I, I was gonna say, did I did I tell you that I actually had shit tea? 
like real shit tea. I think you told me you were going. It was the duck shit. I, I, no, no, oh. no, no. Like duck shit. Duck shit tea has nothing to do with duck shit. I made. I, yeah, I tried yeah, yeah. tea for made of actual shit. He, what are you talking about, bro? Okay, so I went to a tea festival, and I get there. You know, I go one of the first places I go. They have a tea that is made from the feces of caterpillars that have eaten tea leaves. You know, I I think subconsciously I may have heard of this before. Really? Like, I think this could have influenced monk, monk shit. I, th I, I didn't know about this before we made the monk shit tea, though. No, because I made... No, the monk shit yeah. tea came from my brain. Yeah. Well, I think I was thinking of civet coffee. Think... But, like... Right. The fucking caterpillars eat the... <sighs> It, and, and it sounds familiar to me. Like, it sounds like something I've, like, I, I, you're telling me this. I'm getting, like, deja vu. Like, I've heard this before. Okay, I, I did tell you, apparently. Well, Not that, that well, that'll, that'll fucking do it. Yeah. So how was I, it? <laughs> um, it didn't have as much flavor as I was expecting. It felt a little, it tasted a little bit thin. Didn't taste like poop? No, it didn't. Like, that's the thing, is if you served it to me, I'd be like, huh, this is kind of weird but like it's not that weird like I, I wouldn't have batted an eye someone in chat goes every good idea has already been thought of <laughs> <laughs> yeah it bug shit it, 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 bug shit bug tea. shit tea. so they take uh, the feces and they like what they 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 steep it in water like they steep it in hot water just take the shit and steep it i think they might process the the caterpillar shit just a little bit and then uh, christ and then it is I'll put it this way, mm -hmm. it's not worth the effort. Did it put a little pep in your step, or did no, it put a little... it, like, that's the thing is, it was, like, for, for how complicated it sounds like yeah. the process is for making it, Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, that's Like, stupid. I didn't I didn't buy any. That sounds really like, stupid. I, I, I tasted it for the novelty of it, but I'm like, eh, yeah. okay. It was, it was decent at best. If, if someone's, like, it, it was... Like, compared to the other teas there, it wasn't as good, right? Like, it, it still was tea. I mean, you guys got a fucking not... caterpillar farm. Like, it better be worth it, you know? Like, right. Like, make... like <laughs> I'm, I, I am, I'm, I didn't buy any. I did not buy any because I want to spend my money on the other teas that were good, like that were exceptional. Ryan, I wanted to say this to you before I forget because I, I'm very annoyed that outside of the U.S. People refer to because like, I fucking hate craft singles. I'm sorry to take it back to this, but I just it, it, it's like nagging because every time I, I I speak to somebody like who's not American, I feel like I want to apologize for craft singles and point out it's not fair that everybody calls that American cheese. Right, because America is so many good different cheeses. Because America hat because American because American cheese is a thing, and it's not that. Like real, right. like, like legitimate, you know, like actual think, American cheese. Uh, What's up, Ryan? I've I've been I've been negative enough today without passing judgment on American cheese, so I just I'll just remain silent. But, but, but see, what, <laughs> the, but the point I'm trying to make to you is what you think when I say American cheese is not actual American cheese. You're thinking of like some fucking dog shit. I, that's I've made never it. had any to be fair. What? You've never had it. I've never had any to be fair. You know. So, no. no. Because you, but, but you, because, oh my God. Also, can I point this out to you? In international cheese festivals, American cheeses have won multiple times. Multiple times. Did you know that? What? Go look up like International Fucking Cheese, Cheese oh, Mongers Association. Wherever the fuck. International Cheese Off. What American what, is, is, is the it. fucking what? Who who's judging the competition? The fucking grease monster from Fern Gully? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? No, Ryan, they have you know fucking like about? like like five star fucking cheesemongers from France and shit. <laughs> no. I'm telling you, what, what, a cheese from Vermont won 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 the award once. A cheese from oh, like you're Wisconsin. Oh, you're talking about like 
real like you're not yes! talking about craft singles no! you're talking about I'm like, talking about real okay. fucking cheese okay. man no not fucking, okay fuck craft okay. no not craft singles okay i thought you were saying like craft singles one no we the, make like, real che cheese we, we make real cheese here and it's good and it's actually yes, good no, we, when when we when we, we absolutely do when we make real cheese it fucking slaps that's all i'm saying yeah and i you hate know? that europeans think that they, they, like they don't even europeans don't even know it exists because of fucking craft singles Dude, one of the things I'm going to miss when I move, cheddar, like sharp cheddar. Real, yeah, like, like yeah. Like because and it's, it's not even in America; it's in England. Th there's a particular yeah. brand yeah, we, of sharp cheddar. Right. We, just that, right. that, we just do it right. We just do it right. There is a there is a particular brand of sharp cheddar that I love. Which brand? Uh, Tillamook. I've had that. Yeah. It's I, the, Tillamook, Tillamook Creamery is actually Tillamook. a pretty shitty company because they. Um, like they buy out other cheese producers and just shut them down uh, to get rid of competition. Well, so, this like, is America after all. But, yeah, yeah. It, it is like, but that that that's like that's like getting on like it's like that that's like getting angry for a dog for shitting on a lawn like on a lawn, right? Like dogs shit on lawns, right? Like you don't get mad for the dog at the dog for it. <sighs> all right, I'm sorry. I wanted to look at this real estate listing. So you got this fucking house. It's like half sunk into the ground for some reason. Yeah, we got why? this um we're gonna find out i guess but you got tvs too high how about tvs too low TV, yeah what the fuck it's tv too low mm, it's like a half a foot it's too, it's, that's too low i think it's, i don't know 15 it, it, it's like it's the tv is placed for someone that hunches over while watching tv at guys am i times. fucking tripping out like, like am i tripping out or is this like a really small like chair right here like is this like a child-sized lazy boy or am i like fucked up no you've uh, lost perspective it's a... i'm it's fucked not up that small it's i feel i might small. be i might be fucked up okay it is on the small end but yeah. it is not peculiarly small yeah yeah all right so there's your kitchen it's I, okay nice nice kitchen Nice kitchen. Mm -hmm. Nice big um. What like, is this I room? It guess like that's a bowling alley. I, 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 I was thinking. <laughs> of, I, was, I was thinking a dance studio. A little bit. It's the wood. Yeah, yeah. The wood grain. What uh, the wood is fucking. The, what do, do they host like LAN parties in here? Is it a living room? I, it's, it's a bit weird. D d d again, this is a this is a fucking Euclidean fucking nightmare. Non Euclidean. Like this is a, a fucking MC Escher <laughs> bullshit. Oh, you have that one that one oh, listing that you showed me during the charity stream, right? Oh, Red. yes, 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 yes. We'll look at that too at some point. Um, it, it's not a listing. That's the thing is like it's not listings. It's an oh, account okay. that finds weird shit on Zillow. It's it's an account oh. on Instagram called Please Hate This Thing. <laughs> I, I, Sounds like it's right I up this chat's alley. Exactly. I have a video, Mike. Mm -hmm. Um, I actually sent it to Fred because I thought you might want to see it mm -hmm. of like the most cursed house tour i've ever seen in my life we'll have to check that it's out it's like a minute long i'm gonna put it in the in the chat we'll now. have to check Thank that you, out Ryan. it's horrible so i guess these are like some weird fucking kooky kooky shelves over back there i i feel so bad ryan sometimes i miss stuff that you share because like i i wake up and i check my phone and, and i look at your message and then i don't look at it i don't actually watch it Fred, that happens then, to me too because I'm like I'm gonna watch up. I'm gonna watch it later and then I completely forget about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It anyway, just happens. This naturals. I do that too, Fred. Is this a doctor's office? It looks is like it? it was a commercial building at one time. Yeah. yeah. It's got like that automatically closing door on the right makes me think. That. It does. Yeah. You see, it's got like a little thing, the fire door. So right, it might, like it might have been a commercial property. Right. It's either a doctor's clinic or this is like a secret lab where they're breeding E. coli. It's a pea soup carpet. Yeah, that is like that is made to cover up vomit. Stains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the exact color for covering up vomit stains. Um, all right, just some funky fucking shit going on. Hey, wait, the... wait, wait, where's the toilet? Oh, there's a, is that a B day? I mean, dude, M this is I told you this is M C Escher type shit. So you take a shit, this... and then you have to go up a small flight of stairs to wash your hands. Okay, can I? I I have I have a strong opinion about this. Uh huh. Toilets should be as accessible as possible because 
sometimes when you're rushing to the toilet, it's an emergency, right? Like yeah. any extra bit of finesse that you need to get to a toilet is detrimental. I need to theoretically be able to cross my legs and waddle across the floor to the toilet, like, so that I don't, like, shit myself. Yeah, yeah, right? like, yeah, yeah. You're going like, to shit and, yourself in here. You're going to shit yourself. Right, There's like, stairs. Right, right, like, shit's can, coming can you out. Imagine, shit's, coming, shit's coming out. Yeah, it, like, it, imagine, imagine that you just, like, had... had the worst food poisoning from Taco Bell and you are running to this toilet you slip and like you fall down these stairs you now have like a broken ankle and like as you are falling down the stairs the shit just comes flying <laughs> yeah. out of your ass well you wouldn't be Taco Bell in this country it'd be like Toby Carvery or something <laughs> uh Applebee's maybe you got no we what's... don't have Applebee's what was the one we saw in GeoGuessr that was weird, chat? What was that of that fucking one that you guys told me it was it was a chain in the UK? That looked it was and it was gross. Guys, thanks by the way, Pleco, thanks for the gift subs. Guys, thank you for all the subs and resubs and stuff. I'm just I'm not calling Nando's. them out because I have guests. But guys, thank you. Nando's, yeah, Nando's is... Cheeky Nando's. Yeah, cheeky Nando's. It's like cheeky greasy shit. Nando's. Yeah. Nando's. But yeah, guys, thank you. I, I do appreciate it. It's just I'm not calling them out when I have people here because um, it's like it's just it's just like annoying for everybody because I'm interrupting them and shit. But this this I don't I'm we're trying to figure out what's going on with the ceiling here. Is that was that supposed I mean, was that, is that stairs? Like, is no. there stairs no, above this? That's the roof, I think. I think it's the roof, but it doesn't, it, it's like they've recessed lights into it. Yeah, yeah. Which is fucking odd, right? It's a very fucking yeah, odd, really very weird. fuck. This, I mean, that's why we're looking at it because it's a fucking weird. That's house. from the toilet view. This is yeah. the toilet cam. To yeah, what the yeah, yeah, shit? yeah, yeah. The sink is hovering off the ground. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yep. What? It's like, hey, it's we heard. It's recessed into the wall. So. It, I guess yeah. it's it's like, hey, we know that vacuuming is already a pain. We created a difficult to reach area that serves no function. That's just for you. Fucking annoying. Oh, you this know is... the worst thing. No, 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 no. Thing. This is like something that Andrew Tate would install in his house to make the housework more difficult for his wife. <laughs> yeah. Were he to you have You know the one. worst thing, though? Carpet in the bathroom. Well, here's yeah. the thing. I've, I've noticed the that the carpet is not present under the toilet. So the reason you don't put carpets in bathrooms is so you don't get shit and piss on soaked into them. But right. that's not going to happen here because hopefully your shit and piss is going to stay localized to the area with the with the wood floor. Right. Right. Ideally. Although the showers is is, is still a problem. Right. The showers the shower is actually the maybe the bigger problem. Right, right. like the carpet's going to get soaked. Yeah, it's gonna the moisture. Oh, there's gonna get, you're gonna have mold issues in here, mm -hmm. right? Is that what you're saying? Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, here's some more stairs for no reason. A big stupid those these weird. They love these fucking weird uh, shelves. Hey, um, so Who's come that? on into my basement, guys. Just um, what the pre shit? Press C to crouch. You gotta cr you gotta no, crouch. That's, that's can't be the entrance. You gotta what fucking fuck? crouch, wa crouch area. walk like Gordon Freeman to get into this fucking place. No, this no, this is like the entrance into the back rooms. What the fuck is this? No, Fred. This is what ha this has to have been what fucking happened. Okay, this part you see my mouse, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this didn't exist. This was a walkway. And then this was some kind of addition. But like, I don't know. I guess they fucking forgot that people needed to walk under here. I guess. And now it's like a duende hole. <laughs> I, I'm, dude, this place is fucking baffling. Look at this, this shit. Is... That's the roof. The ceiling, yeah. sorry. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the top floor. It's like in the middle of being renovated, though. You can see they're putting yeah. walls in. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's a big property. Six hundred and seventy-five thousand pounds. That's uh. Well, I, we're gonna look. At, I guess we can look at the square footage and stuff in a minute. But, oh, um, we do it by bedrooms in the UK. There's two bathrooms. So a regular, um, not nothing too crazy going on there. Uh, but the, here's here's the fun, right? The fucking outside, guys, buckle up. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm buckled. So here's, I believe this is the front of the house. 
We in the beginning okay, we saw the back is... the back of the house. This right. is a peculiarly large driveway for a British house, Guys, isn't it? Look at the aerial shot. This is two houses fucking like human centipeded together. This is a fucking really abortion weird. of a home. What this doesn't fuck? normally happen in the UK because the planning laws are quite strict. This, and is, I it, don't understand. You think this is illegal? I don't know if it's illegal. I think it must have been because it's got the paved driveway. It must have been a business of some kind, like a dentist or something like that, because dentists take over a lot of homes. Okay. But that happens here too. It, like it, it, with the fire doors as well. But you'd have that area at the front so lots of people could park. Uh -huh. Right, right, See, right. Because most um... most most English ho British homes are like the other houses next to it with like lots of space and green space. And, so you guys have you know, lawns out there? I thought you guys didn't really do lawns out there. No, we do lawns. You do yeah. lawns? Okay. Um, yeah, Mike Mike's opinion of the UK just went down a couple notches. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was one of the cool things about the UK, but yeah. yeah so Mike, Mike and Mike and I share a hatred of lawns. The, these two what houses lawns? were were fused. Yeah. What? Lawns? Why, why do you hate lawns? Waste of space. Waste of space, waste of money, waste of water, waste of effort, waste of... It's just big... But big... we don't have water, like, we don't have big water issues in the UK like they do in the US. I guess we have some, but not as, like, bad. And I... they're really good for biodiversity. Hey, you have to mow them and take care of them, and it's annoying. Like, I don't want to take care saying. of that shit. You know? Like, fucking... I, fe I feel like... Growing up, I had to mow the lawn, and it was always a miserable experience. Miserable. But, like... Always. Like, comparatively, right? Like, my parents say, hey, go and mow the lawn. I'm like, okay, and it just kind of blows. If my parents were like, hey, could you go and, like, tend to the garden? I'd be like, oh, well, I mean, I don't really want to right now, but it's pleasant, quiet. It's like, again, it's, it's not even about water issues, Ryan. It's about, like the water bill going up like you have to pay for they're not paying for the water and then like i don't know i we guess don't, we, just, we don't you don't normally have to use a hose pipe in this country it just rains like it rains yeah. a lot in the uk i don't know i just fucking i i don't want to take care of that shit like rip it out and put some fucking just put some rocks put some sand i don't know put gravel what's wrong with you i don't i don't want to i don't want i'm lazy i guess it's, la it's laziness well, I guess, like, the, the other problem is that lawns are expensive enough that if you can afford a lawn, you can afford to put something more beautiful in that space. Yeah, or I, I would put, like, a house extension. I would put more house, and I would be like, house fucking... House extension? Yeah. Yeah, I would put, I would put like, you know, you I would put, like, a hot get... tub. I would put a hot tub over there. You you wouldn't get planning permission to get extend the house. Yeah, the you're, yeah, I know. I, yeah. yeah, you're right, you're right. But, like... Anyway, so, I yeah, fucking... this is... But, you know, I, is like, I also it, suspect... It's like the... Fred, in the in the UK, mm. they probably don't have like the lawn culture that we have here. You know no, how people get fucking don't. nuts about their lawns here. Mm -hmm. They might do that. I don't know. I'm assuming. No, like people, pe I, I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking about. People just get <laughs> mental. It becomes like a like a like like a competition between neighbors, and they got these. Like, oh, I got put putting mulch in it, put fertilizer in it, and fuck get this, then mowing it, and I got the John Deere, and I got this, and fucking put putting sprinklers in there. It's like a pissing contest so between all the fucking seen, neighbors. It's you've seen King of the Hill, right, right, Ryan? Yeah, yeah, a bit of King of the Hill. I haven't watched the... it for a long time, actually. Okay, well. If you watch King of the Hill and you see, like, the wild shit that Hank does to, like, keep his lawn looking nice, that is only a very mild exaggeration of lawn culture <laughs> right. in America. Like, very mild. Like, it, it, there's an argument to be made that it is not an exaggeration. These people are nuts, dude. You don't even know. Uh, but anyway, I'm sorry to get into the weeds that are in my... Growing in the, in the lawn. No, okay, so Mike, this house looks like it picked up a binding of Isaac item. Y yeah, like 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 a fucking uh, like a vestigial twin or whatever. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, like... <laughs> yes. yeah. Um also, can you can you tell me, am I fucking crazy or is this this image um like fucking it's Nintendo si angle. Nintendo 64 graphics? Like look at the bushes and shit. No, I see it. No, like, like, I, it's like, like um, I think it's like Apple Maps with the fake perspective they had. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, I didn't know that they did that. But it, you know, it, it reminds me of Toy Story 2 
for the Nintendo 64 slash PlayStation. I Looked like that? Was. I don't know. It's like this the backyard level. Anyone else feel that? Anyone else? The bigger house is assimilating the smaller house. It's like a, a like 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 a like some forbidden alchemy took place. There's those 675, weird. Six hundred seventy-five thousand, and it's just a bit. It's I don't like the way the way the buildings are connected. No, that's it. It's a it's just, it's a, a, a a weird a very bizarre extension to an already existing building, and it yeah, doesn't look like cool. you're getting a lot of property either. You're not really getting again. You you buy this, you don't have that green space. If you if you're looking for that, you're not getting it here. You are. It looks like this. They do a little bit of gardening in this in this bottom right area, mm. but that's mm. about it. Yeah. Um, got a little like. Well, they put another house in the garden. That's the thing. Put, put another house. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these weird. Like, where's the door to this bedroom? You don't get one. Yeah. The interior design's horrible. It's dog. It's shit. like it doesn't look that old. That's the thing. Like the lights look new. Hold on. I'm right. gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, it has that modern beige wall. Six hundred and seventy. Oh well, this was six okay. Bedrooms. It five is a bathroom. six bedroom, five bathroom house. Uh, sold by auction starting sixteenth. Okay, so th this this sold. That's um, a minimum. That's a minimum. Is bro. it a minimum, or is that sold. what it sold for? That's the guide price. So oh, it so, okay. hasn't sold for that, but that's like it might have gone slightly below that. Houses are going for like. A lot below the guy prices recently. Uh, it has been sold subject to completion. Uh, it's on offer. Spacious, self-built, detached property that offers options for a large family, um, or those who wish to wish to run a business from home, such as chiropractors. Oh, you got chiropractors out there? Ooh. Uh, yeah. Therapists, other <laughs> medical uses. Uh, the main yeah, house. Yeah, so I think that's what it was. It was like a GP or a. Or a dentist or something. To suggest, but a few options. 4,200 square feet with an additional attic storage of, uh, like, about 1,000 feet. Uh, turned into further accommodation. One part having been a snooker room. Ah. Uh, the annex Ryan's to the into rear snooker. is 1,000 uh, feet. Ryan Ryan likes watching snooker. Yeah, Snook, I do. Snooker is just billiards, isn't snooker it? as well. Is snooker uh, not just billiards? Is Billiards yeah. is like, uh, no, oh my... well, snooker's like its own game. I guess like you could argue about a lot of things at billiards. But oh my, so... my God, Ryan, tell him about like the the scam snooker videos on YouTube that you found. Oh, that <laughs> it just like, like... <laughs> they used to. They, there's these videos on YouTube where they steal like thumbnails from other snooker channels, and okay. you click on it, and it's just like these like. Two guys in Pakistan playing like the worst snooker you've ever seen in your life together. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, it's labeled like S Snooker UK Championships, and it's just like two dudes. That's fucking that, that rules. <laughs> it's great. I'm not even mad. I just, I really like him. I I've I've, right. I've I've started watching the videos like religiously. <laughs> <laughs> this is like this is this is like your guilty pleasure now that you've you've stumbled yeah. onto this. <laughs> It's so specific, but I love it. Bootleg I love snooker, snooker YouTube videos. anyway. It's always funny. Like, I, I tweet out every funny fun there I get. Like, the one with, like... There's one of, like, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Who? You, you're... Oh, he's botting. Just, like... Oh, am I, am I botting still? You oh, bo you're good now. You, it, it fixed. Good. Okay. There's, there's one of, like, Ronnie O'Sullivan and, like, giving the middle finger. It's all been photoshopped. I mean, there's just a speech bubble with... Like it says, your mum fat on it or something, <laughs> and it's like Ronnie O'Sullivan's most disrespectful moments, and it's just like the same clips you've seen of him like arguing with the referee for the thirtieth time. Oh, I, that's I a bad the miss. They have refs in snooker. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, you, you, how how do you enforce the rules? No, you just fucking hit the other guy with the stick really hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, Mike. It's that, that that's. American pool. Oh my bad. Uh, the house was built to standard. Uh, right, the business from the yeah, there was a business there. The property comes with self-contained, fabulous, attractive two-bedroom annex that could easily pass for a luxury hotel slash lodge in the mountains. That's what? a stretch. I was a very a stretch. very weird looking fucking building, man. Um. Okay, so You're reaching. Hold on a minute, because I want to see this YouTube video that, uh... 
Oh, this is really cursed. Just brace yourself. All right. Okay. So I think there's some context to this. This is a property only sale for auction. So auction sales are really weird because they normally mean they can't get a mortgage on them. Right. This has, it's got a short, short hold tenancy on it. So I think the people in it, there's like people living in it who are renting it and you can't kick them out. So you're going to buy it and they're going to have to stay in there, right? Which is, you know, fine and good and everything. But they filmed like a video of the property themselves to promote it and this is like the most cursed video of any property you'll ever see all right let's let's Just take a look so so, wait, so the people still live there they can't ask them to leave even temporarily to shoot this because they would have to remove no. all their stuff yeah it's got all their stuff in it and it's like you'll just see what it's like inside so they had they had to ask them to film it themselves mm -hmm. What is up with the audio? What is the mute? Yeah, what the fuck? Hold on, because I am making this even more complicated with the Nintendo music playing. I feel like I could see fleas jumping off of the carpet. What is the music? Oh. Oh, is that a hole in the wall, in the ceiling? Didn't hang on that for long. What the fuck? What the fuck? Was that whoa, 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 whoa. was that guitar pedals? What was that? What is that? What is all this shit? What is that? I feel that? like they might be drug related. I feel like I see a weighing scale at some point, which is like for measuring like drug deals. <laughs> oh my god, have I, have I told you I'm afraid to bring my uh, my scale on the plane because like my my kitchen scale. The one he I'm uses to weigh his nuts. To... To the, yeah, well, no, this one is too fine for that. Um, it gets down to a hundredth of a gram. I use it for my tea. And if I want to take tea with me to share with someone, I'm scared to bring that that scale because I'm worried the... Uh, uh, the N N TSA. No, um, TSA. TSA. I almost said NSA. The TSA is going to be like, <laughs> uh, this is for weed. Or like, this is this is for cocaine. Oh, it's kind of dumb because it, there's, there's no cocaine in your bag. Like, it's, but I don't know. You should be able to, dude. I, um, I, I have a stupid, I have a stupid, like, scenario that I play through in my head where, like, they see the tea in my bag and they pull it out and they stop me and they're like, uh, sir, what is all of this? And then I have to meticulously go through and explain every single tea. Yeah, maybe and, like, that's brew not them worth a it. Cup. That might not be worth it. I, right. It is a completely unrealistic scenario, but someone still. sent me an OnlyFans DM. Tell a moderator with the name, please. Yeah, they'll think it's weed or something. And just the, the fear of it is enough to stop you from doing it, because that would be just be so fucking annoying. Just brace yourself. The bathroom is very bad. Is there shit in here? What is that? There might be. What? I think it's to hold this shower together. There's feces in there. There's feces. What is the camera doing? The camera work, dude. Doobie, 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 doobie. I feel like the music is fitting. Shit mites. There were shit mites in the toilet. Somehow it is fitting. You're right. Like, this, oh, this is a scene. Oh, this is a great representation of the, of the fucking property. You only have a minute and 18 seconds to show me the property I might be interested in buying. Yeah, show me a fucking concrete wall with a bunch of cracks in it. Mm -hmm. This is like a particularly artsy scene from Utopia. It is, it, it, it's a student film. This is a student film. Those like crutches? Like crutches, yeah. Yeah, you saw those too. This is fucking unhinged. I feel like I just disassociated. <laughs> what is the what evil the laugh? <laughs> you heard it the first this time, so, right? This is so fucked. So the door's weird. nice. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Might oh, try so to depressing. sell a house POV. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I well, that that that's that's our qualifications. You know, that's okay. Well, well, our qualifications for for being your hosts for on real estate are that I had a real estate license for about a year, and Fred is gay.
And that's yeah. and that's our our qualifications. Thank you. You're welcome. Dicks. <laughs> Dicks. Oh fuck. Oh yeah, it's all you need, baby. Holy shit. I used to live in houses like this. They weren't like this disgusting, but like they were built like this. Like this type of student. house. This type of yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like a terrace house like this where the houses are a big row. But also like we had a bathroom and it had a serious like slug problem. Slug? What? Yeah, it just had loads of slugs <laughs> in it all the time. Sorry, that word just activated Mike. Slugs getting in the bathroom. This is the music that plays while I sleep paralysis theme and watches me. Um, when I was in the UK, um, is that a jump lead connected to the shower door? Many, Fuck. many, many years ago, I stayed in a uh, what's it called? A YMCA. I stayed in a YMCA, a hostel in the YMCA in London, and there was a, yeah. a communal bathroom that I shared with the other yeah. people in the hostel. And I went to take a shower in there, and there was a tiny, like, nematode, like, shimmying oh. along the tile on the, on the, like, I'd never seen anything like this before. It was a very tiny little, like, fucking black slug that was just slinking across the fucking bottom of the floor. And I was like, that thing was looking for feet to burrow into and, like, lay eggs, like, 100%. Uh. I don't even know what the fuck it was. I, I, I noped out, noped the fuck out. Went to a fucking souvenir shop or whatever, and I bought a pair of like fucking like three dollar sandals that I wore in the shower. Wise. Unfortunately, the 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 flip flops were of such construction that the shitty cheap plastic fucking ripped into my flesh. Like um. while I was walking around and seeing like all the touristy stuff, like I went to the Tower of London and stuff, and uh, I I incurred injuries from the. From the uh, from the sandals. So the next day, I went out and I, I I I went out with socks on, and then I put socks on my feet and I put the sandals over the socks, and then I went down to like I don't know the the, the eye or something. I was standing online for like some touristy shit, and I heard this woman behind me, and she was like, "Look at this man wearing socks with flip flops," and I turned around. And I was like, "You have no idea what I've been through. I've been through so much." <laughs> Right, like, <laughs> it, you didn't pay for those flip-flops with money. You paid for them in blood. Yeah, I, I fucking just... You don't know me, don't judge me. Okay, you think I like this? You think I, you think I want this? I don't want this. <laughs> just the image of you going around London having, like, multiple mental breakdowns is... <laughs> My heart. Is on it's brand. the London experience. It's <laughs> you know, the London experience. I was, uh, when, you know, when in Rome, right? When in London, uh, do as the locals do and have a complete fucking mental breakdown, right? Uh, no, I actually, I actually didn't say anything to the woman. I was like, but I, but I fucking, but I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to. Um, and, and because, and like, because you choked it down, you now remember wanting to say it forever. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I have to pee so bad. I'm going to pee. I'll okay. be right back. Um, okay. Someone's saying that Birmingham is a fucking shithole. I, I, that's why I used, was a student. I studied in Birmingham. So, uh, uh, yep. Uh, uh, we're going to keep people entertained. I was in, in I was in London, so I don't, I don't know nothing about uh, Birmingham. Well, but. I, I don't know. Uh, I want to go to sleep. Um, <laughs> so you, you. Have you along there, Mike, and me and Fred will talk. I'm going to be back yeah. in a min uno minuto. You're literally like less than a minute. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Neat. Yeah. And the dog was quiet the whole time, which is great. Wow. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I want to, um, I need to get that DVD player so we can actually watch a peep show. Yeah. I keep talking, I keep saying I'm going to order it, and now I'm like, I'm going to be moving so soon. I'm like, do I order it so I have it now and then have to ship it? Tell us about your twinkification. Um, well, I, yeah, right. I guess there are a lot of people who weren't here before. Um, hi, me, Frederick Knudsen, is now uh, going to be joining a VTubing uh, agency. 
Hoo ha! I was invited. You always were a twink, said, yes. bro, to be fair. Yeah. I've just kind of like accepted my lot. <laughs> right? Like Luke Skywalker had to like accept his powers to become a Jedi, and like I have to accept my twinkishness to to fulfill my destiny of, of sucking dick. And on that note, hey, I'm sweet. <laughs> I, I, if you think about it, I am the Luke Skywalker of penis. Wow, what a thing to come back to. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. Luke Cockwalker. <sighs> I'm not even going to ask what that fucking could have possibly have meant. I don't even want to know what the fuck. I don't. I don't want to know. See. Uh, if, but with a gesture of my hand, I can lift you up and down. Just your dick, though. So, I am back. Um, thanks for keeping them entertained, guys. Uh, Ryan, did you... We wanted to go to bed, you said? Yes, I will go to yeah, bed. Yeah, it's bedtime. Wanna... We have kept him up. Bedge. Ryan, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. No, no worries. Thank you for having me on. I... Yeah, this was great. Was okay, fun, everyone, man. everyone, everyone. Uh, go and listen to Ryan's band, Prisoner's Cinema. They oh. uh, they make some really excellent music. I didn't know you you were I in a band, recommend. Ryan. I sent you a link. You fucking no! I sent you a link before. We just talked. It. We just talked about this. Did we not just talk about? <laughs> we just talked about how fucking we blind shit sometimes and like. You're five hours behind me. I sent it at eight p.m. So it would have been 3 p.m. your time. I, I, you can't even fathom the, 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 the sleep schedule that I'm on. And I can't even fathom the sleep schedule that I'm on. Um, no, you're, you're of course forgiving. No, there's no forgiving to do. You're, I, I don't blame you for missing it. What is the... Uh, yeah, what... what uh, so... I think it's spam. Yeah, what instrument do you play in the band? That's a good question. I, I do everything for everybody. <laughs> That's what I do. So um, you're the, it's, it's a one thing. it's a one man band. Is that what you're saying? No, there are three of us. There's me, um, Luke, and May. May does the vocals. I I kind of do the songwriting, and then Luke is more on the production side of things. Um, but yeah, he's he's kind of a more technical guy than me. But he's also a good songwriter, and so is May. So yeah, we do a bit of everything. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, check some, them out. They have some fascinating pieces. Go and check out the expressionless face. I'll send you a link, Mike, on yep. our chat. Send, yeah, put 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 a link in here. I'm I'm shilling my composer because he does excellent work. Yeah. Ryan is excellent. Um, Don't accidentally send them the tour of the house. <laughs> that's one of their like, songs. That's... You can uh, you can find like the main channel through the. That you threw through that link, right? Did a thing. I, I like the idea that this is actually like your video and the song that went along. Like, what if you can call it like the the track that went along with this is actually your band? Oh no! This. I have so many DMs, Ryan. I I can't even find you in here. Like, I well, there's I could fucking search your name, Ryan. Hold on. Or it's pro pro oh, composer. Oh, oh, I keep fucking doing that. Cause last yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, you did send me that. My bad. I'm Ryan, sorry. I'm sorry. Ryan Probert. Probert. I'm so oh. I'm so shot, man. You sent me that for like four months ago. I swear, I don't even remember. Like I don't even. I must not have even <laughs> seen this dude. I'm sorry. I was really proud of it. I was trying to like show everybody, like like <laughs> even my aunt. I showed it to. <laughs> what kind of music is it? I don't know. Fred, Fred. Uh, it Red? is. It. Whew, how do you define it? It's weird core. Um, weird core. Weird core. Weird core. He yeah, says. add weird core on to the end. That, that's core. how you do music genres nowadays, right? Add core. Um, it cum is. Come core. Cum core. Uh, gotta have come core. Alrighty, I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you for having me on, Mike. It's yeah, lovely, lovely thanks for being here. It was good. It was awesome friend. to hang out with you. I hope we can do some more more stuff like this at some point. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah, agree. No, th this was great, right? Like Ryan, thanks for coming on. 
No, no worries. I really, I really enjoyed myself. Thank you, everybody in the chat. Have a lovely evening. Night, night. Bye. See you, Ryan. No, Ryan's great. You like that guy? Yeah, no, he's he's really great. I've I've worked with him for oh god four and a half five years now looking something? forward to hearing what he did with this fucking eve online video it sounds beastly oh my god his they he outdid himself for this video dude oh some of some of oh it's just so good can't freaking wait do me a favor look at in my chat and look at roach mogul and look at look at what they posted in my chat just just look at that chatoid clap gay sex kiss a homie i'm gay <laughs> you like you like he created oh what what is, what it's, is it called it's it's, um, it's like a story in words right right i'm i'm trying <laughs> what, what, what's it called um a pictogram of sorts. No, it's, it's not a, yeah right like these are hieroglyphics yeah um i'm trying i'm trying to think it's a oh what are those things that you make at elementary school where it like depicts a scene like a, a, a nativity a, a, di a diaphragm what? It's called a diaphragm. No. no. A diagram? No. Diorama. 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 I would, I would have think that I would have thought that you would remember that word because it sounds so much like diarrhea. Diorama is the diaphragm is the thing you put in your vagina, right? Dilator? No, you're thinking of di uh no, that's that's a dilator. You're you're uh, <laughs> Fuck, I, I forget how you play this game. What's a diaphragm, guys? It's, it's, oh, I'm telling you, it's, it's, that, that's a thing you put in your vagina. I'm not wrong. I know I'm not. I know I'm not fucking wrong. Well, diaphragm, like, there are lots of different kinds of diaphragms. It's not it, a it dildo. Is... It's like it's some kind of medical thing. Like it's, it's a type of birth. It, it blocks cum from going in your in your uterus, in your ovaries. That's what it's. That's it's a little thing you slam in there. Yes, guys. Yes, yes. It, stop fucking. You, 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 maybe there's something you don't know, and, you, and you're ignorant. Chat's like, you, you, you stupid. Fucking. Maybe you just don't know about something. Had you considered the possibility that there's something you don't fucking know about? Had you considered Mike. that for a moment that there's a, a thing that you don't know already, or that never happens to you? Mike. Mike. Look. Mike. I yeah. understand it's frustrating when chat assumes it knows things that it doesn't, mm -hmm. but the alternative is them learning and becoming more dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's true. Be. That's true. All right. So I got the. Um... Hold on. Wait, was this one? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, I, I got, I got another one for you here. Hold on. Uh, yeah, no, I, I need to contain you guys like your SCPs. For six hundred and eighty-seven thousand dollars, you can own oh, all God. this. Okay, you can. Uh, you know, this is where you house somebody who just left their husband, and um, you, you know, play solitaire with them in the cold and the damp. Right. This is this is this is where they shoot all those mobile game advertisements, guys. This is, it where, is. This is where they shoot. Oh yeah, yeah. Where where like yeah, where where the woman is kicked out by her husband and like she has to fend for herself and you can break the window. Yeah, she got kicked out because her feet were too stinky, but now you can help her get her fucking life back together by playing solitaire with her in this paradise, this fucking home, this Palace can all be yours for the low, low price of six hundred and seventy-eight thousand fucking dollars. Okay, maybe it's a little bit of a fixer-upper. Oh, oh, okay. But you know what? That's where that's how that, that that's what makes it a home. Right. Here's my thought process. Mm -hmm. If this was like two hundred thousand dollars, I'd be like, oh, they're. Like maybe it's the location, or they're just at, they're too hopeful for the property. But when I see a number like over six hundred fifty thousand dollars, I start asking myself, what am I missing? Right, like a number like that doesn't happen without some weirdness going on. The weirdness is they're fucking idiots. Is the weirdness? 
Like they think like like I'm telling you, like the real estate agent was like, y y "You're not getting that." And they're like, "Oh my god, I don't care. You work? Do you work for me or do I work for you? What's going on here? You're gonna put in for six hundred seventy-eight thousand dollars, or I'm going to another real estate agent." And the guy like, was like, read your... "And you know, the guy's just like, you know, fine. It's not like it costs anything to keep it listed, right?" Well, I actually think mm -hmm. there is a small fee for like multiple listing services, but like, it doesn't matter. It, it vir not virtually sure. doesn't cost them anything. So they're just like, okay, you know what? All right, so. Um, maybe, maybe there will be a rich person who sees that number and they don't give a shit. Kind of like that bit from um, from Arrested Development. Oh, it's just a banana. What could it cost? $30? Yeah, yeah, right, right. Like they don't, yeah, they don't understand, the, like the Money, they don't understand yeah. the concept of value, because they're just too so obscenely rich. Like most, like most Twitch streamers, honestly, we were talking about that during <laughs> one of those Baldur's Gate streams. Yeah. But anyway, um, price cut twenty. They came they and they recently came down twenty seven thousand dollars because, unbelievably, they were having a hard time selling this. Wow. How generous of them. Okay, check this out. Golden, Colorado. 80401. Single family residence built in 1984. Uh, 6,900 square feet. Uh, fantastic uh, potential in great golden neighborhood on the oh side of Table God. Mountain. Uh, potential. So is Golden, Col yeah, the potential. You're, you're you're rebuilding this house. Who are we kidding? Fu fucking... I mean, th th there's there's lots of potential in a meth head. That doesn't mean that I want to date them. I mean, like, dude, it's like this. Are are they, are they trying to? I mean, why not? Is that why? Is that why you keep? Is that why you keep turning down my advances because I smoke a little bit of meth to unwind? A little, a little bit, a little bit. I I see you balance a rock on each of your fingernails and then say, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Uh, this is a, okay, we were getting some Colorado, uh, intel here. This is a certified Colorado moment. Housing prices are out of control here. I live in, I live near Boulder. Median house price is 1 million in Boulder. This is semi-normal in Colorado. Right. So what, what I, so Golden, Colorado is a, is, is a high demand area. It's like, this is a very nice upscale, whatever the fuck. It's like a rich right. place. Right. So if you are trying to sell, okay, obviously this place had a fucking fire or something. If you are trying to sell a piece of property like this, knock the fucking house down. How much does it cost to demo a house? How much could it cost to demo a fucking house, guys? How yeah, could it exploded. Seriously. Yeah, what the hell? Meth lab. Meth lab, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meth lab explosion. On, on ironically though, this uh, that on, might actually be on it. fucking ironically. This could have been a meth lab explosion, right? Like the the gas builds up, rises to the ceiling, and then a small flame or a spark from um from a doorknob ignites Walter. it. Walter. Walter, I'm not selling your house today, Walter. Walter. I'm not I'm not buying your house for six hundred eighty seven thousand dollars, Walter. Walter, I am having sex with you right now. Take out your asshole. Sit on my dick, Walter. Throw Walter, a tarp I don't, over. What? I don't care how much you're you're dilating your chakra. <laughs> Golden is where the big breweries are. Yeah, yeah, they say it really fast at the end of the chorus commercial. Golden. Listen, guys, if it were me, I would knock the fucking building down. And 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 put this listed as a vacant fucking piece of land, because now when I see this, it's like, oh, so I'm gonna spend seven hundred thousand dollars, and I'm gonna have to knock down a building. No, you have to fucking no. Nobody wants to do that. Not if you if they you really want to sell this, knock this down yourself, Dick. Right. I I feel like. It, it might make it, it might make the fucking even value go up because now the person who's buying it doesn't have to pay to knock the fucking thing down. I'll, it's I'll, probably I'll, having, I'll, to be, having to be discounted because of this husk. Sorry. Right, right. Like the it is so damaged, right? Like yeah. it's so damaged that there's no way you're going to be able to do anything with it anyway. Yeah, you're not but fixing this. I I gotta say I'm having a hard time seeing the potential past the exploded meth lab. 
Uh, you know, envision the building is not there anymore, and then that's your fucking potential. Right, but, but like the building is so distracting, right? Like the problem is that's that there why, is a, an obstacle. That That's why these people are dumb. Right, you're going like, to need, like, you got to be a fucking visionary. You, you, no, nobody is envisioning shit. You, you have to, again, you just have grass, endless possibilities. You know, now you got fucking, uh, you know, again, it's called staging. Um, that house was sold for $250,000 last year. This was According sold. According to what? Um, I don't know. This, this says for sale, the, Z the Zestimate. And it says it's for sale. Um, Source Crack Pipe? Yeah, Source no, that's, meth that's lab? one guy. Source Meth Lab, yeah. You have to pay money to demolish the building. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Michael, I think you have to turn the background music back on. You guys really should be able to hear the background music. I can hear it. Yeah, it... Mods, is this... It's is it audible? Quiet. Yeah, but it's quiet, well, it, it's that's because it's background music. They sit right. there and they're like, "Wait, I can't hear the music. You gotta you gotta pump it to the point where it's competing with your voice." No, it's background music. If I don't have to yell over it, is look it at really the, music? Fred, look at this description. Be a contractor or bring your contractor. Needs a complete rebuild. If you are able to add a second floor above. There could be a total of more than 4,200 livable square feet on the same foundation footprint. What? But that's not fair. What are you... Let's what? put more building on top of these burned toothpicks. What? Let's, let's, let's burn... Let's build more on top of this. Oh my god. Th these are those people at Home Depot who are like... Imagine what you could build with these two by fours. Like they're fucking upselling them on planks of wood. And then Ben Shapiro goes and buys one for no reason. And it just it makes a big deal out of it. Um, oh, did that happen? Because Home Depot, like, what was it some sort of performative yeah. political yeah. statement? Yeah, yeah, it was cringe that, as fuck. That sounds um, right. So much text for 20% of a house. <laughs> It sold for 350k in 2022. I, wow, that's dude, a big fucking difference from what Holy shit, yeah. from what they were asking for there. Um Listing updated 9 hours ago? What? This was updated 9 Guys, if this was updated 9 hours ago, this would say this would say sold. Yeah, no, I I think I think Chat is just crack piping. Yeah, you're, you're getting you're, one guide. Ch chat is crack pipe, crack piping, hard. They just dropped the price. Nine I, out, know, nine hours ago, guys. I like. I I, I like the idea. Oh uh, yeah, nine hours ago. I, I I like the idea that there are people who wake up at like three in the afternoon. And uh, and they sit up, they rub their eyes, they 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 taste their morning breath, and they go, you know what I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna tell a lie in Mike's chat. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I know, dude. I think about that all the all the fucking time. I think about that all the time. But but, <laughs> but I, trust me, I spend way too much time thinking about that. But hold on, because look at this. All right, so we're going back to twenty. Uh, Price and tax history. We're going back to 2022. Sorry, 2020. Where? Oh, that's okay. Listed for sale in 2022, uh, October 2022. 840 thousand. Then they dropped it in November. They removed it in December. They put it back up this year, this mm -hmm. month, this month. And then they dropped it today. Guys, where the fuck are you seeing it sold for $350,000 last year? What the, what the fuck more, are you maybe? guys? It, it says show more there with the price. Oh, my God. Sold. There we go. Oh. Yeah, so, so they weren't. They, 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 it, wasn't the, it, they, it wasn't the scenario you just described. They sold it, and then they immediately tried to flip it. They're going to try to make you apologize to them. Do not apologize to them. You did nothing wrong, Fred. Okay. All I did was express skepticism. Yeah, you did nothing wrong. All right, so, but th th this is fucking wild, okay? 
Somebody bought. Hey, Joel. Thanks for the raid. Oh, thanks so much for the raid, Joel. Thanks, bud. Oh, man. How are you doing? Joel? Joel. Hi, surprise. I'm here, too. Other Joel, chat. Other Joel. Other Joel. Dude, thank yeah, you so Joel. much. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a meat spin, spin, spin right round. I, I like the idea that thank Joel you, raids and is like, Oh, I'm going to go and raid Jabroni Mike. And then they see I'm here. How do you know that? How do you like, know? Oh, how, wait, do you never know mind. how do you know he didn't raid because you were here? I don't, I don't know. I, I'm I'm a, I'm creating a scenario in my head. I just I like the idea of Joel raiding, seeing I'm here, and then being like, "Wait a minute, can I take my raid back?" <laughs> no, no. He he <laughs> he raided because you're here. <laughs> oh, Joel, I like both of you. Joel, thank but you so much, man. Shit. Thank you so much, <laughs> but uh, mods, can you shout out the porcelain maid, please? Joel, do you know who I am? There's a different Joel. Different Joel, guys. Different Joel. Joel, porcelain maid. I, I, I got the chance to do a stream with Joel, and I played a game that I didn't even really enjoy, but it was still just such a blast getting to meet him anyways. Yeah, he's... he's. Uh, I met him, in, I met him on... Well I, I met him on the Bounce SMP server. Yeah. yeah. I, um... Have I... My experience with Joel, right? Like, I first became aware of Joel because Joel kept playing games that I love. Oh, like, over and over. Like, it was nothing but banger after banger, right? Like, playing Potionomics. I'm like, oh, hey, it's my brain rot. And then it's like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna... Fuck, I can't remember what else you were playing. I just specifically remember. You played Outer Wilds? You beat Inscription today? Like, literally just going through all of my favorite games. Um... You miss Bounce SMP, Joel? Yeah, I I feel like there's gonna be a season two at some point where we're all, yeah, we're all right. gonna have to we're gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have yeah, to take right. the Spirit Halloween sign off of my my uh <laughs> my, my best pro shop. <laughs> Joel, um, can, what did you think of Inscription? They're making a brand new server. Brand new server. Ooh. Oh. I fuck. That means we're gonna have, have to fucking build the pyramid again. Mike, Mike, we we might have to get in get into that again and like yeah, build really, a new really get into it dude it was insane hell yeah i'm so glad you loved it i could talk about that game's theming for hours go gonna go with the lore okay no joel we should we should sit down and like have a chat about it at some point because i i can share like i didn't get into the arg around it but the plot of the game is very clear yeah dm you okay i will 100 percent um, okay, so, uh, thank you, Joel. Um, Fred, the listing. Yes. Uh, listed for sale, 250000 Hmm. Okay, sold for two hundred. For, sold for $340,000. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In By June, the way, so, yeah. Joel, we're looking at a, what we're pretty sure is an exploded meth lab. J June, June 27th. <laughs> For three hundred and forty thousand dollars, and then these people, okay, put it right back on the market. Okay, like how many months later? Four months later, for eight hundred and forty thousand dollars. Can you explain to me how the value <laughs> of the price? Wait, 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 when when they bought it, was it still intact? Did the meth lab explosion make it more valuable? Did <laughs> you think you think that they bought it? And they like ran a meth lab in it for four months, and then we're like, ah, fuck it. Well, I mean, if you can prove that a place is like lucrative, okay, I'm the... sure that it was lucrative for them for four months until it fucking exploded. <laughs> until they, until their meth lab blew up. Maybe when you go for a tour, you find out that like a lot of the infrastructure for it is still intact. It's like you <laughs> too, and this this is being marketed towards like meth entrepreneurs. The fire right. was in January of 2022, meaning that the fire happened before the, it, this even went on the market. Do you think that the people who bought this were just like people who watched the show House Flippers and Maybe. didn't like take a close look at it? No, I'm this, so fucking I'm so smacks... fucking confused by this. I... No, okay, okay. I'm I'm building a scenario in my head okay. where you get people who just like have a bunch of money and make money by flipping houses. 
except their version of flipping houses is they buy it and then immediately like put it back up on the market without doing anything to it yeah just because they're betting that the housing market is going to go up right like it's like the houses are going to become more expensive the land will become more expensive i mean what i i, I this something really fucked up went on here like this was almost like predatory or something like these people were in a position where they were they were forced to sell it this could have even been a fucking foreclosure Right? Could this have been a, yeah. foreclo a foreclosure that's fucking 250000 You think maybe it was foreclosed on and the bank is selling it not necessarily based on the value, but on what they're trying to yeah. recoup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Right. I, I see what you're saying. Like, the, Actually, will that affect property values if the bank is like, eh, we're trying to make this much money back, so we'll, well, they, we'll the, set the, 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 the people higher. fucking died in the fire, and then they were like, fuck, well, they had 250000 left outstanding on their mortgage. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Or something. I don't fuck. I I don't. I shit's confusing. Shit can be confusing. Like, oh, for me. Okay. Okay. So here's the thing. You tell me that this that like this property will sell for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Fine. I'll believe you. You tell me that this property is worth seven hundred thousand dollars. Fine. I'll believe you. But why, after the fucking meth lab explodes, does it increase the value by three times? the real estate market is just that it's 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 that fickle it's that complicated what what happened did elon musk jizz on the property next door and a rocket grow out of the grass what happened i'm gonna t i'm gonna tell you in one minute because i have another listing here that might be actually il illuminating on this topic hold on where is it okay okay wait was that wait, no, I, no, I saw, I saw one i'm okay, not ready for it we're not ready for okay, it okay 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 because i we'll think get, i know we'll I get think to it. i know what that we'll was. get to it okay just ch chat chat can't see what i just did I hit the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, right. I saw something, and I think. Check this out. This is uh, $1.2 million. Oh, my God. I, 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 I got spoiled, but, like, I, I, really? What the shit? Yep. $1.2 million. Okay, so it's not the price that made me balk. It was, like, looking at the outside, and then knowing what is about to come up but well you know what it is it's a double it's a double wide trailer right right fucking way she yeah. goes you have no idea how accurate that is by the way nader tater okay watch pretty swanky inside right this is julian's trailer definitely hold on nice very not fucking nice kitchen man yeah this is this isn't trailer trash. This is trailer treasure. Trailer treasure, bro. Trailer treasure. Look at that fucking fireplace. That's look at that. Nice man. It's fucking nice. I, I'll, dude, I I would kill to live in, a, in in this. Are you kidding me? This is beautiful. How many of you guys would love to live in this thing? Dude, this house is like one of those bugs that disguises itself as a dead leaf. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. Not for one point two million. You're gonna change your mind by the end of by the end of us looking at this listing. Trust me. I I think the exterior is a way to deter thieves. You think? You think I it's wonder. you think it's I a massive a massive like underground complex? No, I don't think it's an 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 underground complex. I think that. I think that it's just a normal house, but they keep it looking shitty on the outside because theft is a really big problem and if it looks like if it looks dumpy on the outside then nobody's gonna break in it's good theory good theory good theory it's a good theory the the left bed oh my no go back go back to the bedroom so you know how hotels will have the cuck chair that's the cuck bed that's the cuck bed <laughs> right like your wife's getting railed on that nice bed on the right and like you're watching lying on your side in the cuck bed well at least you at least you get a bed right yeah right it's it's like the the luxury cuck life it can't be too good because <laughs> you're still getting cucked but <laughs> right i mean if it's if you're if you're if you're having too good of a time are you even getting cucked right like, you want the frame to be flimsy enough so that you can feel the rocking. Pretty 
old looking tank there. Wait, whoa, hold up. More buildings on the property. Yeah, what? Greenhouses. Oh. They're not greenhouse. What what are they called? No, they're greenhouses. Okay, okay. I didn't know if those the a gen a generator so you don't lose lose power. Why are they taking photos of the Oh, I guess just showing the location, but these don't even show the location well. Yeah, I haven't figured out what this is yet. This this reminds me. Um these sort of photos that show Oh. Oh, I see. This is literally fucking like trailer park boys. Like this is literally fucking Sunnyvale. Like this is this is literally fucking <laughs> Yeah, all right. <laughs> this is literally, literally fucking the Trailer Park Boys, dude. Look at this. I, when I first saw this, I was like, because I didn't understand what was happening either. And then I was like, I was like, oh, I guess that's tomatoes. And I was like, wait, what? No. It's the ganja fucking way she goes. I appreciate, you know, you can tell that this person has... A love for what they do because mm -hmm. of the beauty shot that they got in between like the rows like that yep well they want you to come in like, here listen you stand to make back that 1.2 million dollars fairly quickly if you can get a fucking successful grow operation going now oh yeah that that that's what that's what this is about and you have a fucking nice house to live in while you grow this pot do you think they're selling the tents as well? Yeah, I do. Yeah. That's that's part of the deal. Yeah. Maybe maybe the description will tell us. Yep. That is so fucking funny. Isn't that awesome? Complete setup for marijuana grow operation. Oh yeah, uh, they're selling you in addition, all of the all of the shit you need so to sell. So he's talking about the house built on <clears throat> by the way 18 acres in addition there are 45 oh. green mm -hmm. there are 45 greenhouses a generator a utility building two wooded sheds three shipping containers utility building two lean tos remember i rev i didn't know what the fuck a lean to was and four barns what the shit you're fucking stardew valley with weed yeah seriously Integrity Farms. There, there are knockoffs of Sardu Valley that let you grow weed. I, I bet. You I, that bet there's I bet. I bet there's mod mods. Yeah, Stardew there's Valley. probably mods. Yeah. Hey, grow weed mods of mushrooms. <laughs> you could buy albi albino penis. Grow albino penis envy in Sardu Valley chat. I know that there's a mod for Sardu Valley that lets you grind up the people in the town and then turn them into seeds and grow them into plants. That fucking rules. It is terrifying sounds great <clears throat> low ball price for all that in these times <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i like I, I gave that description an activated lumpy touch <laughs> <laughs> yeah right <laughs> just fucking activated him now why would somebody sell something like this i mean if it's a successful grow operation dude i think this is legit i think somebody died or like they're too old to maintain it now, or like they had getting they, out of the business. They, they're they're they probably made so much fucking money they don't have to do it anymore, and they're like time to retire. Like yeah. literally, and like this is. And a I'm fucking I'm, I'm great... going to make an argument. I'm mm -hmm. going to make an argument. One point two five million. Yeah, that's a low ball. Uh, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. They they're yeah, trying they're like, trying to get out. The, yeah, this person's just like yeah, I'm like I'm not even looking to make back what I spent on this place. Like I'm, I'm just ready to get out. Yeah, this person is loaded after their grow operation. Downside, Oklahoma. By chatters are saying we, this isn't even legal to do this in Oklahoma. But if it wasn't, this listing wouldn't exist. I mean, like, look at this. The returns or the mar, the profit margin on weed is shit. Um, skill issue. I don't know. In the in these mm -hmm. in this, in these times, you really think that skill issue maybe. Maybe you gotta fix your deck. It's an overinflated market. Maybe, yeah, maybe they're having a hard time like selling it to somebody because everybody's doing it. There's a, it's, it's, it's too saturated or something. Oklahoma right. has medical marijuana, by the way. Uh, chatters are saying it's illegal in Oklahoma. Who are you selling it to? It sounds like you don't know what you're talking about. Is what it sounds like. Can you not? Can you not export it? 
Well, they I don't, may I don't know not want you there. like, yeah, I mean, you could grow it in a certain place, but then not sell it there. Maybe you're allowed to grow it there, but not sell it. Or something. It's easy to get medical. It, it sounds like, it sounds like you'll, you'll, you have options for trying to sell it. Right. But, um, yeah, kind of fucking, um, kind of fucking crazy. If anybody's got an extra 1.2 million, I mean, I don't know, maybe... You, you, obviously, you have to figure out... You'd have to do the math and figure out it'd be worth it. Obviously, you're going to have to spend a lot more than 1.2 million to get to get a farm growing. Like, I don't think he's going to give you plants and seeds. Maybe a couple of starters. Or, or, or some shit, you know? Um, yeah, I thought this was a, nif a nifty one. I thought this was perfect for on real estate. Pretty cool. Oh, no, absolutely. I feel like there are a lot of different... Um, there are a lot of stories that come out of this. Like, this like, this sort of listing, I think, is my favorite kind of listing that we look at during on real estate. It's the listing that sparks stories. Like, I get looking at this. 1.25 million. It comes with, like, four barns. And there's, like, fucking weed in the photos. The house is, like, dumpy on the outside and beautiful on the inside. What is this? Jesse. It sets your mind... Jesse, we have to grow. Right? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I wonder. It's... It feels... No, I know how this feels. This feels like a scene from a tabletop RPG session. <laughs> right like a good gm would describe this place right like this is something that would show up because it incites questions and it gets the player characters interested uh yeah, nerd? yeah, may yeah. maybe call, call, call me a nerd but don't you dare fucking call me wrong <laughs> <laughs> all right so chat chat is trying to say that it, it's you cannot own this much medically that this is illegal i just don't understand how guys if this was illegal that they, they they wouldn't they wouldn't market it this way this this real estate listing wouldn't exist if this was as illegal as you think it is oklahoma pd technician here medical is legal but there are a lot of laws that ban export and non-growers possessing a certain amount this guy you'd be allowed to do this here is the point Okay, right. you would be allowed it's, to... It is legal. Come on. This, come this, on. Use this your brains, listing, guys. This listing would not be on Zillow if it were not in some capacity legal. That's... Obviously. Someone... Like, look, I, I get the system is busted, but it's not that busted. Dude, look, look at all the extra buildings that you have. You're buying a little fucking town when you buy this. You can put up fucking Oily Jim and his two shitty cousins. This, oh my god, this is Oily Jim's abode. Yeah, he is, Are you kidding me? I just got whooshed. Dude, you have a small penis. Again. Even smaller. Again. I've been whooshed like five times. It, it's especially insulting when it happens while I'm on stream. You, it, it's disrespectful. Yeah. You think like, Oily that wasn't, Jim? That wasn't necessary. Oily Jim can't afford this shit. No. This is, I, oil, 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 oily, oily Jim thinks he's too smart to work. Okay, he can't. Okay. He can't fucking buy this. He's he's broke. Okay, no, alternate timeline. Okay, he's living in the shed, in, in the Christmas hell house, mm -hmm. right? Because that's where he was living. It was yeah. he was in the pool shed. That's right. Um, the Christmas hell house because it's impossible to navigate and those trees are drying out and they never take them out. They light on fire. House burns down. Then, like, through a weird twist of fate. The insurance company gives him the insurance money. <laughs> That's so stupid. And he uses that money to buy this. Oily Jim is a character from one of our previous on real estate streams. Um, some guy who was living in like a rich person's pool house for some reason. Right. Like we we, we decided that he was a, a special agent because he is naturally so oily that he can easily slide through air ducts. We don't know yes. why he was oily. It's just I think oily Jim was just, just naturally. A, it was oily. just a funny sounding combination of words. Yeah. Somebody in chat says a clitoris with tanuki sized nuts. They're describing you after being whooshed. Ah, uh, 
Well, I'm, yeah, I feel like once once you reach a certain ball size, right, anything yeah. is going to be a pleb. Yeah, so you become you get you get auto plepped. Right. It, it's kind of like yeah. you you have zero and Mega you pleb. like divide it by two. It's still zero. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, there's the uh, weed growing operation. I think it's fucking awesome, man. I don't know. I don't know I, this guy you know what? Like the, it's, he had it's, it figured out. It's a lot of work. Are, are you going to be a farmer? You're a farmer. This... I mean, this is for the, for the right person, though. This is a fucking dream come true. Yeah. No, th this, is, this is absolutely like the, like the neighbor's kid's dream, right? Yeah. And then he gets it, and he's happy, right? Like for a particular kind of person, it will Fred, make him very happy. I want. I don't want you to look at the screen for a second, okay? Okay, okay. I'm closing my eyes. I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing nice. Yeah, don't, don't, don't look for a second. All right. Okay, my eyes are closed. I, I wanna. Um, yeah, don't, don't look. Don't, don't, don't look. Okay, so the one that you reacted to before when I was going through these was it this? Yes. Okay. We'll do this one next then. Okay. All right. Because what I wanted, because some of these houses have like themes, and I want to like see if you could figure out what it is before. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I. Like, I, I want to play. I, I want to play little games with, games with you well, here. Well, I know what this house is. I've seen the Tom Scott video. Yeah, I don't know who Tom Scott is, but the person who submitted this t was mentioning there's a Tom Scott video about it, and I was like, oh, cool. I don't know who the fuck that is, but okay. Oh, it's awesome. Um, 100. Like. This it is not a spaghetti bob. Look up Tom Scott rotating house. How long is it? It's like five minutes. All right, maybe we watch it. Maybe maybe we maybe we actually just watch it. It is that. not long, but it explains the mechanics of this house. Yeah, because I'm wondering why the fuck you want a house that rotates is what I'm wondering. They, he explains it. The owner explains it. Okay. He also okay, explains okay, okay. why he's selling it. Okay, okay, okay. Tom Scott rotating house. Let's go. There it is. All right, hold up. Yeah, Tom Scott's great. Tom Scott, Tom, Tom Scott, Bo Tom Scott, Tom Scott, come. He does. I, I don't know. Maybe he get. Maybe he gets come. Who knows? I bet. I, I bet if he wanted it, he could get it. Because this dude is delightful. I used to know a guy who his last name was Come. I'm not. I'm not fucking kidding. And his middle name was Scott. So whenever you you addressed him, you could say. First name's got come. Real story. True story. True. True I mean, and real. I mean, being able to create things out of names is lovely. Like like how my Twitter handle is uh, for my YouTube. Because now I, I have a separate handle for streaming. But uh, my YouTube handle is Fred in the Nude. Love that. Love that. Love that because his name's Fred Nudson. Yeah, Newton. But every t it's 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 clever. But every time I see it, I imagine you naked. Oh, good! It's serving its purpose. And uh, the fucking the, the the clitoris with the tanuki nuts. All right, I'm gonna play this. There are okay. quite a few rotating buildings in the world. Houses for people who want their view to follow the sun. Maybe they're built as an architect's dream house. Maybe as an engineering challenge, or sometimes to give the best angles for solar power. Over the years, I have asked to film in a few of those houses, but I've always been turned down. They're private homes. But this one near San Diego, California is now on sale. The real estate agent got in touch and asked if I wanted to have a look around. To be clear, this is not an advert. They're not paying me, but I just wasn't going to turn this down because there are two things I want to find out. Why? First of all, and why? how on earth does the plumbing work? And second, if this is someone's dream house, and it is, Guys, I'm not gonna fuck with the with the crop because I'm I I'm not going to. Not worth it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Why are they selling it? My wife and I decided we're gonna build a house. My wife. Just so happened this lot went on the market that same day. We happened to see the sign. We bought it. I'm trying to figure out what to build. I said, you know, why not a roundhouse? Because that's fucking stupid. That way, more rooms will have more view. And my wife said, fine. Mm -hmm. Then I thought some rooms still have to look at the mountain. So I said, well, the insane ramblings of like a terminally rich person. Like, oh, Dude, well, it, you know, oh, what if, what if, it, what if it spun around? And it's like, oh, let's get you back to bed, grandpa. No, not when you got this much money.
But well, I, I that, that's the thing is, to my... he's not, like, he, he's well off, but he's not, like, I, I don't think he's super wealthy, right? Like, mm -hmm. he's doing well, but he's not, like, he didn't, he didn't hire a team. He, he explains, he explains it. That's Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Surprise, she said, fine. And I thought, crap, I got to figure out how to do that. <laughs> so <laughs> I started to figure out how to actually build something that would rotate so every room would have every view. Yes, of course, I asked if I could flip the switch and control the rotation. <laughs> of, course I, of course I did. What do you think, I'm some kind of fucking asshole? Yeah. <laughs> No, I went to the rotating house and I didn't ask him to puck with the buttons. Get the fuck out of here. Good. That's it. It's very strange to push a button and then. I mean, this, oh, it's, it rotates so slow you don't feel it. I was imagining right. this thing whipping the fuck around. People are vomiting everywhere. Fucking shit, think... fly, shit is flying out of the toilet bowl. You thought it was a fucking tilt a whirl? He's got a spin! And yeah, everybody, you got to put on a fucking seatbelt whenever they spin the house around. Yeah, Ooh, there was a fucking Mike. carnival ride. <laughs> yes! Mike, I think it's been long enough since Joel played it. I mean, it's a roller coaster tycoon stream. Oh, uh, I don't know if I care that much about that. That's fair. Have the world yeah. start to rotate around you. That's, That's right. lovely. Maybe. My wife and I started construction in 2000. It took a good two years to get to the point where we had a structure. We did hire some people and, and had them working here. And I found that they would go home at four o'clock and I would be here till seven fixing what they had done. Want something right? Got to do it yourself. Yeah. That or he's, you know, like, he's just, he might be, did, a, he's, he might be I... a dick. He might just be a dick. Did I tell you about my experience ordering out? Because I, like, had to relearn this lesson. What happened? I, um, so first I decided to order a burger, right? Um, and, and this place, I didn't know at the time, but they, they used DoorDash to get their burgers places. And... You got a Mr. Beast burger? No, I did not. How did it feel um, on your cock? Give me fuck, the... Fuck that. Rate the burger on, based on cock feel, from one to ten. Um, okay. So I started out wrong, right? The top felt really nice because there was like mayo, but underneath it was like, I, I got a fried chicken and like the, the breading on it really started scraping. So like Ooh. one side was fine. The other side was like getting scraped up. So I like, um, so like I, I was faced with the decision. Like, do I, do I like keep going? Or do I try to rectify this? E-rectify this, if you will. I'm so sorry I derailed your story with this with my stupid shit. What 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 happened when you when you ordered the burger? No, no, it's fine. Um so I, I order so I ordered this burger and I get a message like, oh, it's been delivered. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. It's like half an hour early. Um, so I, I, I check outside my door. Nothing. No burger. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe they just misdelivered it. Like, no, that's an easy thing to do. So I go and I check my messages. Um, and the photograph, because they're required to take a photograph of, like, the the food on, like, at your door. Yeah. The photograph was a mega close-up of my bag of food. And just barely in the corner of the screen, you could see the upholstery of the passenger side seat of this person's car this motherfucker just absconded with my burger <laughs> <It's a> fucking... <laughs> what does it have to do with this guy telling that is a you oh, say you should have went and picked so, it up so then so then um i absconded so uh the, the next time i ordered out food um i i got it like, I'm like, okay, if I'm going to order out food and, and get it delivered, I'm going to get a local place. I'm going to do local pizza. Um, so I order, and this was like two days later or something, right? I, I, ordered, the, I, I, I ordered out a lot that week. Tw they twice was a lot. They ransomed week. his so, burger? It was a ransom picture. They wanted, they, wanted a, you to, they wanted you to pay up. Pay right, up, but the burger with, gets it. With what? I, sex. 
All right, so you ordered Fair pizza. I'm so sorry. I, I order pizza, and I'm like, okay, well, it's a local place. They do their own delivery. They know the area. Okay, so it'll it'll be fine. Um, and I'm do and I'm doing a stream with Whiskey Dingo at the time, right? Like, so I asked them to do a knock and like leave at the door because I'm probably going to be in VR at the time, like on his stream. The knock never comes. They misdelivered my pizza. And it was in this moment where this loops back around. I realized in this moment, if you want something done right, just fucking do it yourself. And I, I am never, ever ordering delivery again because fuck that. Yeah, you had a bad week. You had a you had an incredible run of bad luck with that. That's it's fucking. That sucks, man. Yeah, uh, I used to be a delivery driver. Can I ask you a question? How do you tip when these people? How do I order? tip? Um, I, I I typically nowadays tip twenty percent. You tip like shit. You ever tip less than twenty percent? No, I don't think so. You ever tip less than twenty percent? No. 20%. Because th you're hearing me, th I'm hearing this story and it's, and it's kind of like, I'm thinking, these are things I would do to somebody who tips like shit. No, I tip 20 per, like, no, I, that, that's, that's the thing. I actually considered that, right? Like, are they angry? I didn't tip enough. Yeah. I tipped 20%. Is that not enough? Mike is victim blaming. Yep. Maybe I was the fucking victim when I got tipped like shit. 20% is mid. <laughs> what? Nah, I just ignore them. Um So yeah, this guy what? No, you 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 get 20% in and she's like mid and walks away. Fuck you. This guy built a circular house that spins apparently. You want to keep watching this? I want to I want to kind of yeah, let's find go. out what's fucking happening. Cuz they're used to building square and this was round. The fella at San Diego County would go over our plans and he says, I just want to tell you, you're building something that's way stronger than it needs to be. No way you can rotate that much mass and, and have it work. So I said, do you care if it rotates? He says, hell, I don't care if it rotates. And I said, well, then can we just agree to disagree and you let me go <laughs> ahead and build the damn thing? He's so he, based. He, he is based, but I feel like he's, he's also like... Uh, he's he, and he said, "All right." He's a, he's full of, he's full of his own fucking shit. A little bit. He's off his own ass. This guy's off his own ass. All right. In doing all the calculations, I can maybe he's maybe he's allowed to be off his own ass. A little bit, right? He built a rotating house. Yeah, he might be and allowed is, to be off his own. He, ass. he built a rotating house, and he is selling the rotating house. He, he's lived in the rotating house, and he has liked the rotating house. He's allowed to be proud of his rotating house. A five horsepower motor. Yeah, right. So I put in a five horsepower motor. Aerial view of the basement roof and the first floor before concrete. Have you so in other words, there's a base to the house that does not spin. Have you ever driven right. your car in fifth gear at 25 miles an hour? It goes like that and that's how the house what? was moving. hold on mike did you think that like an army of ants lifted it up and started rotating it whenever he wanted it wanted to move it i hadn't thought of about it of course it's going to have a base i hadn't thought about it at all penis i hadn't i've never fucking ever heard of a rotating house until five minutes ago P yeah pikmin i haven't i mike. haven't i haven't thought about any of it yo i <laughs> mike's just imagining little pikmin rotating this house for him Down to a it floats in a pool of piss. Yeah, maybe it floats in a pool of piss, and every time you try to rotate, you press the button, it sends a signal to a guy who's got, like, an oar down there, and he fucking paddles the fucking through the mode of piss to spin the house around. You press the button, and you start hearing drums down there. Boom. Yeah, the... motor the... <laughs> It goes rhythm. through a 25 to 1 reduction transmission, a 71 to 1 torque hub, that drives the two 16 inch in diameter wheels. All right, calm down, nerd. We can turn the house. That this is sped up. In 45 minutes. Oh, yeah. You can go to bed to the sunset and wake up to the sunrise in the same bed. What if you like, had guests over, they didn't know the house spun, and you put them in a room and they like, fell asleep looking at one view and then woke up to, to a different one? And they come out and ask, and you're like, no, what, what do you mean? No, that's 
where you went to bed. And you just keep doing it, right. d- doing that to them until they lose their fucking mind. Right. Th- th- that is actually gaslighting. Right? Yeah, I-, right. I love the idea of yeah. like turning the motor on very, <laughs> yeah. very low and having them over for the evening. And they're like, has the house moved? And you're like, huh? What? Um, I don't know. Did you, did you, did you take something? You have, you, you high? I guess over during dinner, we'll turn the house so that everybody at the dinner table gets to see the sunset. In a lot of rotating buildings. It- I mean, how cool is this really? I mean, like, who cares? Like, does that need, does that need to, does that need to? It's only. I know it is, it is neat part of the floor that rotates. The things that require plumbing, like the kitchen and bathroom, don't move at all. But here, the sinks and toilets and electrical sockets all rotate as part of a house. And all the explanations I can find seem to hand wave the details. They just say that there's a central, non-rotating core that handles the pipe. My theory was that all this, all the, the, the used water, like, and all the shit and piss goes into like, a kind of a, like a, like a tank that you gotta empty out. No, for electricity. Like it's in the house, it rotates with the house. So see, there are off the shelf components that can deal with rotation. There's a thing called. How do they get the fresh water? No, check it out. No, they, they're rain, about to rain, explain. Rain this. reservoirs. No, they, they, they are about to explain. Which is a very standard it. piece of equipment, just like a merry go round. A merry go round goes around and around and around and doesn't have to go backwards. Same thing here. It happens to be a fancy one. 16 brushes. God, that's sleek looking, isn't it? That go around right. a copper piece about that big. And they ride on the copper, and that is your connection. For telephone and internet, there's also an off-the-shelf component, a mercury slip ring, a sealed connector with a small pool of mercury, conductive liquid metal, in the center. Both sides can rotate, they just stay connected to the liquid. But that's not the difficult part. I can understand having one connection going through the middle for water or wastewater or gas. They can just sit on a central pipe and swivel. But how can you have all three going through the same central hub? The topology doesn't work. They can't all occupy the exact center. But if they're offset, then as the house rotates, surely the lengths of the pipes and cables has to change. Or if they're slack, surely they'll get twisted. It turns out... I I won't... (laughs) I was hoping the animation would show the pipes exploding and piss going everywhere. Howell has a very clever solution to that. Mike, don't you know what it means? You can have sun or shade or whatever room you want. Obviously, you don't want to mix the gas, the gray water, the sewer, the drinking water. The dark water, Fred. So mm-hmm. I designed the slip ring. Oh, God, they're showing his patent. <laughs> they're showing his fucking patent, this guy. For those services. This Big guy. piece of steel. Not impressed by this guy. I'm not. You know what? You know I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just come out and say, fuck this guy. Okay? He thinks he's fucking really? hot shit. He fucking goes and invents invents things that don't need to get invented, and then he fucking condescends everybody who doesn't understand it. Fuck this guy. About that big around. I... This is fixed. We... This guy's fucking high on his own farts, bro. He's sitting here fu- high on, huffing his own fucking farts, no, being like, oh, I... I'm so fucking smart. When people don't understand what I'm trying to do, I belittle them. Suck my dick. I think I, I think that he's just enthusiastic. He's excited that someone wanted to hear about his weird rotating house. He fucking probably tells this story dozens of times a day. He's probably sitting online at the bank fucking telling this shit to the guy behind him. And the guy's like, I don't care. Leave me alone. I mean, you're not fucking wrong. Going he, through, does... he, he probably never shuts the fuck up up about this i that is a definite possibility he strikes me as the kind of man who has too many too many board games in his closet to conceivably play you know what i mean like mike's insecurities are showing Ah, what the fuck are you talking about excuse me my insecurities the fuck what I just, I, I think, I, I, I think if you knew him personally, he fucking sucks. I, I, he reminds me of people that I don't like. I remind, he reminds me of people that I've known that I don't like. All right. There's something, there's something about him that's like rubbing me wrong. I don't know. Your non-rotating house having insecurity, you jelly. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Mike wants a house that's exploded by a meth lab. Somebody instead. called me low intelligence. Why? Because I don't understand what he's talking about. You don't understand what he's fucking talking about either. They have a diagram. What did you say, Fred, about a meth lab? What? Oh, I, I said like you like you want a house that can rotate. 
I want a house that's been blown up by a meth lab. We, we are, are not, not the same. same. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what, this guy can fucking sit on my cock and rotate. How about that? Grooved it. It's about a three inch by three inch groove all the way around. Top groove is sewer. The next groove is gray water. The next groove so is drinking water. The bottom groove is gas. And there are holes drilled through this from the sewer, from the gray water, and so forth. They're all separate holes that come out the bottom. Then there's a guys. I'm joking about hating the guy. I'm, I'm just, I, I, if, if that, I feel like this is one of those moments where I have to fucking clarify. <laughs> it comes uh, down the outside. Although there is one, no, there is one nugget of truth in it is that there, there is something about him that reminds me of somebody I dislike. This piece rotates with the house. Found. You have a sewer line that comes down and connects to the outer piece. And then you have gray water, then you have drinking water, then you have gas. There are seals in between each of the- See, fuck, he, he murder. he puts seals in there. He murders beautiful, cute animals. <laughs> These He's a bad man, chat. Grooves, they're all alarmed. There's a seal, a sensor ring, and a seal. A seal, a sensor ring, and a seal. So forth, for all of them. You would have to have two seals and two sensors fail before you had any mixture of fluids. The seals are good for 75 years. Navy so seals. I, I don't think we're going to have a problem. <laughs> yes, you, you want I have to commission. Fluids. You want to mix fluids with me, Fred? Mix fluids, yeah. Chemistry, right? For a meth lab. Jesse. Some graphics to explain this. It's really clever, and I did not understand it until Al explained it to me. It's like four intersecting funnels. The total maintenance once a year is to lube the bearings. We have a young Sounds like a lot of effort. man who has done it several times. It's done in an hour. Which brings me to the... He has a young man come and lube him up. Guys, look at this fucking bathroom. That's oh what is my is, god. Is that guys, is that is that a fucking other big question I have. Is that a big beautiful After is that is that a hot tub? Designing and constructing this place oh, after yeah. twenty years of living here. Why sell it? That's a I've had tub. Here we go. Eighteen heart procedures. My wife is in perfect health. The odds of me outliving her are zero. Um, she was born, born and raised in Coronado. Uh, we're moving back to Coronado uh, because this is a complex house, even though I think it's simple. All right, now I feel bad. For her to try and teach somebody else how to run everything and do everything would be difficult. 18, what a try hard. <laughs> <laughs> if something happened to me. So we're just kind of jumping ahead and Coronado's a pretty nice place to go. Bet you feel like shit. Not really, because again, I'm, again, I, I exaggerate things for comedic effect, guys. Will this place sell quickly? I don't know. I'm not a real estate agent, but I certainly hope that there'll be people who want to live somewhere with this view. That's how you know he's mega loaded, because he's fucking, because he could afford 18 heart surgeries? In a home mm -hmm. that's this different. I would just spin the fuck out of it until it, like, just flew the fuck off and, like, rolled down the hill. What? Be because you imagine this in, like, GTA 5? Yeah. Mike, your rage state and your comedy state are too similar. I, I, yeah, I know it's a fucking problem. <laughs> I, it's, it's a fucking problem. It, it legit, it's a legitimate, legitimate fucking problem. No, Mike wants Mike wants to go full groove, red faction gorilla on this. Top groove. What is that? What is the red faction gorilla? Uh, have you played red faction gorilla? No. It is a very doofy game um, where you can just break buildings like absolute crazy. Um, like, and I, like I could tear, imagine like tear down with the type physics. Shit? Yeah, a little bit. Mm. Um, it, it's very, it's a very satisfying game. Mike would like, Mike would like that game. Mike would like that game. You would like that game. To the sunset and wake up to the so it uh, it rotates. Um, yep. I would just take a little peek at some of the pics here. I mean. Again, I'm not that like like property damage. You think I, I, I get Mike to play play it if we if I compare it to property damage? You, you saw that, huh? Yeah. Did you like that game? Yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, good stream, good stream. Uh, this this fucking house is really fucking cool. I feel like I would not 
rotate it very often at all, though. Like, I feel like the rotating it is like, like I'm not, I don't know. I don't need a house to rotate. That seems like it's, 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 it's it, it, legitimately like a feature of the house that means nothing to me. So, how does the fucking house, okay. So there's a first floor that doesn't rotate as discussed. Mm. No privacy. I'm sure there's blinds. I'm sure there's fucking shades you could pull down. I, I, li I like yeah, having a lot of, I like the windows actually. I like having natural light come in. Um, I mean, I guess that's, you know, it's like, oh, well, if you don't have sunlight, you rotate it and you get, you know, but it's like, I don't know, fucking here. <laughs> What? Sorry, I just saw someone in chat. If you need privacy, just spin it around. What? <laughs> what if it could flip upside down instead? You could have like some Symphony of the Night shit going on? That could be fun. Why does the... Okay, so where are the stairs that get you up to the second floor? And how do they not get ripped from the foundation every time the house spins? Uh, do you have to go outside? I think you have to go outside to go down to the first floor. You have to go outside to get down to the first floor. I'm willing to bet. It's kind of chuggy. Grandma. Grandma. It's got a, a, a walkway. Uh, there's some patio space, which also spins, I guess? That spins too, like that whole top piece spins. All of yeah. it spins. Yep, that patio spins. Okay, there's also a permanent patio. Mm -hmm. There's 74 fucking pictures. Oh, those those are solar panels. Mm-hmm. Because it's Cali, right? It's a big, big fucking crucifix over here. Mm. There's the yeah, kitchen. They, 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 they have that crucifix up on the hill just in case Jesus comes back again. If you don't like... He this, didn't learn the first time. If you don't think this kitchen is gorgeous, you're, uh, you're fucking around. Oh, yeah, no. And, like, I, I don't fucking care. If you say that this kitchen is, is ugly or, or is bad um i i don't i believe don't know you. what to tell no, you i don't even believe you this is yeah this is really nice right that that's something that like a rage bait streamer would say right yeah. like man what kind of douchebag <laughs> like has this kitchen <laughs> getting, getting a little close to home here uh <laughs> this looks fucking oh that's yeah that's a really nice view obviously that's the point um it's very I, I kind of like how could be to any match the want. roundness to match the roundness of the building, a lot of the surfaces are curved. Not all of them, obviously. He, this is a he, little more square. He, but yeah, like, he, he he really didn't go into the interior design philosophy, but yeah. Yeah, like it he thought about it, right? Like this is a man yeah. who cared about his living space. Yeah, 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 for sure. This is really nice. Um oh. I'm I glad, Rocket. I'm, I'm glad that I could expose you to my friend, Rocket Raider. Oh, man. Thank you. Uh, thank you for, for watching. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I guess, like, people tell me that they discover you through me. and Rocket, it, yeah, it, listen. It warms my heart. Rocket, thank you so much for, uh, for watching. If I'm the only streamer you watch, let me recommend another one. This guy, Fred, also oh. streams. Oh. I'm about to have a debut of a new model. I That's right. A VTube. I just joined a VTubing agency. We're, um, we're uh, debuting Saturday. Check them check out. Check them out. Twitch.tv slash mm -hmm. Frederick Knudsen. Give him, give him a shout out, Mods. Um, for Rocket. I um, usually would be a little bit more coy, but with the, with the debut coming up. I appreciate um, it. Yeah, we got it. Fred, Fred needs the love right now, guys. So what What the fuck is this? Uh, a closet? Uh, that's well, a good little nick, question. Nick, nick, little knick-knack shelf type of a thing, right? right? Yeah. Uh, uh, which agency? I, I can say. It's, uh, it's a new one, actually, being headed up by Meriwether Media called Astraline. It uh, didn't exist prior to... It didn't, yeah, it didn't exist. It, like, it didn't, it wasn't today. publicly known before yesterday. Yesterday, excuse me. Um, here's the real living room. That that other living room was bullshit. Was like fake. This is the real living room. Yes. Will I still be owl? I will still be owl themed. Don't worry. <laughs> um, Sorry, I'm like I'll stop fielding questions. Ask me. You know what? Ask me on my stream if you have questions. Give me a follow and ask me on my stream so that I can hang out with my friend because I want to chill. To the kids' room. 
another kid's room. Same kid's room. I really yeah. want to see that fucking patio they got out there because that looks really nice. Imagine streaming from here. I mean, actually, that mm, too much natural light? No, that's not a thing, right? No. No such thing. This bathroom is making my pee pee kind of hard. I got to be real. God, like. I'm like, I'm really like, I, really liking this bathroom. I know you feel like the rotating house thing is a gimmick, but yeah, even I if do. it didn't rotate, this is a beautiful house. Yeah, it, it, it no, it is, it is. I a hundred percent, absolutely. I, I, I got fucking stuck on the rotating thing. Like Merryweather yeah. Comics, yeah, that guy. Yeah, yes, that guy. that's that guy. He, he's launching, he's launching a new VTubing agency. Are you fucking talking to me. chatters? Are you, are you Dude, cheating on me I again? I don't want to, I don't want to interrupt you. Look, you're cheating look, on me. He's cheating on me again. Look, sometimes, sometimes I see you playing playing video games, and I don't want to interrupt you, so I have to find other dick. Okay. Oh, what happened? I didn't hear what you saying because I was talking with Chatter. Oh wow. Just kidding. All right. Anyway. Wow, no. that does hurt. <laughs> oh, okay. I see the error of my ways now. No, this this ba no, this house is beautiful, and this fucking bathroom is beautiful, and it even has like a built-in dildo. You know? Oh yeah, it does. Right. And you could like, just like sit right on oh, that and spin. It's and right spin. in front of the window, right? When the like house when the it. house spins, this dildo spins in your ass, right? That's that's part of the gimmick. It spins right. oh. when the house spins. Okay, okay. Right. Hear me out. A a, a swinger yeah. buys this house. Yeah. And he he invites a woman over, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he says, "Baby, this house takes forty five minutes to do a full rotation. If you can last that long with me, I'll give you another night." I think she would leave. <laughs> I think she should. I think she should. She should leave. I think she should leave. Listen, we got people in chat saying they'd stay. Listen. Yeah, because they're picturing that guy who built the house. They, they're all horny for him. Maybe it's the other way around, right? Like, it, it's a woman inviting a dude over. You last 45 minutes. You last one full rotation. That would be cooler like, because, yeah. Yeah. Um... Does it take 45 minutes to rotate, though? Did he say that? That's what it said, yeah. It did say I that? I that's it did what say it that? said. Yeah, 45 minutes. I feel like... No, so you're kind of like chasing the, the sun a little bit. I, I, fe I feel like I would want it to rotate faster. Like, I would I would want that. I, I know it has yeah. to be imperceptibly slow so shit doesn't start getting knocked over and stuff, but I feel like the shit flying around is part of the fun. <laughs> like, like, I want it to I go... Think... I want it to go fucking nuts. Like, I want... I want that. I want yeah, I want the tilt the world. <laughs> I think Mike just wants to go to a carnival. Dude, being in this tub, I don't know, I love tubs like that. Oh I want, yeah. Oh look and you sit there and you fucking look at the view and you fucking smoke a cock or whatever and you watch the fucking view as the house spins around. Smoke a cock? What am I oh, what? Yeah. I d I don't know, man. Why'd I say that? I <laughs> you got you you have you want to blow a dude at a carnival. We're like building out on your desires. Oh, one of the lights out. Well, <laughs> like, one of the lights is out. I think. <laughs> oh my God! Mike <laughs> wants clown cock. Uh, you sit. You sit here. You watch the house spin. You get the jets, the bubbles. Fucking sit on one of the jets. The bubbles go in your ass. You know you need a TV in here too. That'll really tie it together. Huge, beautiful shower. Oh, uh, that's air hockey. That's well, air there, hockey. There's a baby. lot of fucking rooms in this house, man. Yeah. Wow. So I, I feel like they probably um, use although, less than, than than half of them. Although, although I have one nitpick about about this space. Go back to the to the air hockey. Yeah. TV too high. Yeah. TV, TV too, too far. Yeah. 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 But there's a fucking problem here. A skewed perspective to an extent, maybe, but also I think that this is a uh, 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 there's so there's a, a kitchenette, like another little kitchen in here. There's another kitchen. There is, yeah. Maybe this is a, a like a separate one. like a separate apartment. Like maybe if you come stay uh, as a guest, you stay in, like this guest area. Well, I mean, 
if you have a house like this, this is the basement. You are entertained. This, this, you are this inter- part doesn't oh, spin. Oh, it's the basement. Yeah. Well, either way, like if you, if Patio. you have this house, you are entertaining guests, right? Like it would be nice to. Why are those pillows Fred? on their end? Fred, there's yes. a car in this room. There's a truck in this room. What the fuck? It is. Is this the garage, dude? Dude, is this it? is the fucking it's garage. The garage. Look at his cars. Look, what is what is that? Yo, okay, no, you were completely right. This dude is loaded. What is that? Does anybody? Wait a minute. We got any? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. That's a Ferrari. That's a Ferrari. I think. I think. Did I? Did I not drive? We got any car boys? Car? Car, car, we got any car nerds in the chat? What is that? It's a core. People are saying it's a Corvette. A okay, new Corvette. I, I thought. Fuck me. No, I. I, I could have... He's got this in like, he's selling the, the Corvette. No, no, com- th- the Corvette comes with the house. No, I think I think I drove this car. This is a Ferrari. This is a super fast. Don't, don't put these pictures. Don't don't put pictures of the cars. Is, is in the this fucking, not... Take them is outside. This not, okay, is, is it just similar looking? Wait, when did you drive am a, I, am when I, did you drive a mis- Corvette? Okay, it's a Corvette. Fine. When did no, you drive a Corvette? I didn't drive a Corvette. I didn't drive a Corvette. I drove a Ferrari. When did you drive I a drove Ferrari? A, I drove a Ferrari 8... 12 super fast when did you do that when i was helping regular car reviews film oh i also got to drive a uh a lexus lfa oh was it cool yeah they were really cool um it, it was really nice getting the chance to drive it like i'm not it didn't make me into a car guy but i understand why yeah you're never you're, you're never going to be a car cars. guy you're never going to be you're not a car guy i i don't think so no like, you're not a car it, guy. it just doesn't appeal to me um but I don't know. You know how I feel about this. It's like my philosophy is: Does it move? I'm good. Does it move? Mm-hmm. Is it is it a death trap? No, I'm good. You know what I mean? I I don't mind a comfortable ride, right? But yeah, but I feel I'm, like, like there's, again, I drive there's, for function. There's an upper limit function. to like how comfy a car can be because that's ultimately still a car. Does that make sense? Right. Like I don't understand yeah. people spending like, you know, over over like six figure sums on vehicles you know what i mean because it's like i don't know i don't know I, I, I don't understand it if you're going to race sure this is an elevator i guess that that brings you is it to, 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 it's gotta be they didn't say no. anything about a fucking elevator in that maybe in it, that video those are what is that hmm. Little flags. Oh, he's got a little golf course out here. Yeah, a little, 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 little pu- a little putt, like like putt practice. Beautiful gazebo, beautiful fucking gazebo, beautiful. We we have That's we cute. have talked. I I think that we have talked That's, about this look, on every Unreal Estate. We love gazebos. We're both gaz- big 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 homos for gazebos. We're like gazebos. This is really cute. This is really cute. We're gazebo sluts. That fucking mm-hmm. thing. I love that thing. This really thing cute. right here. Love this fucking thing. Love this thing. Whatever this is. Oh my god. Love it. Yeah, that is very cute. Adorable. This is a re- that's a really nice patio. Yeah, it is. I and I don't that part doesn't spin, obviously. You can't. That wouldn't right. make any sense. And it's showing you the day, the night, the shots. So this house was was sold for five point one million dollars. Sold like Look. a week ago. Oh wow, you're right. Look it's at that. sold at at the estimate as well. At, at the estimate. Uh, for, oh, oh, for for like one hundred dollars oh. for like for like twelve hundred dollars less. I um, wonder if the Tom Scott video helped. Had to have. I definitely. Of oh, course. Do you, you think somebody bought this house without having seen that video? It, it had to have at least had an impact. Like, if the person who bought this house didn't see the video, then they were informed by someone who saw the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or informed yeah. by someone uh, who was informed by someone who saw the video. Oh, the patio did spin, somebody saying. Guys, thanks again for no. the bits and, the, and the, um, the subs and resubs, guys. I'm just, I'm not calling them out because I have a guest. But I do really appreciate it, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for supporting my um, friend. Do, do, that I, makes I, me happy. I want you to look away from the screen, Fred. Okay, okay, I'm looking away. I want you to look away again. Um, um, Eyes are closed. 
Should we go wackier or should we go? You know, there's one we you know, absolutely that, that was, gotta get to. That You're was not such looking, a right? beautiful house. No, I'm not looking. I I am going to make a request. Mm -hmm. That was such a beautiful house. Give me something rancid. You want something rancid? Give me something rancid. Right? Like well, I can't be in too good of a mood. Define rancid. What kind of rancid? Um I look at it and I start thinking about like any cuts that I got, wondering if they're going to get infected. Okay, give me a second. I got I got okay, I got okay. something just what the doctor ordered. Okay, okay. Hold on, just give me a minute to, to pick it out. Right. We gotta bring the mood down. We can't it's kind of like, you know, how in Mad Max Fury Road, they're like, do not become addicted to water because you're <laughs> yeah, resented yeah. to absence. It's like, do not become addicted to right. like, to happiness, to joy. You like it, it will leave you and you will resent its absence. You know, um, the, the truth is none of the listings I have left are like that gross. I can okay. give you, I can give you something that like stupid and and weird. That'll make that, you, that'll that make you feel gross. Work. You want stupid I, and weird? I will. I will gladly settle for that. Hold on, give me one second. All right, let's do a stupid. A, yeah, stupid and weird. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm ready. We'll just. We'll just let. Okay. We'll just let. The, we'll just let this ride. We'll just let this. Okay. I'm. I'll just. I'll just, just go. First th impressions. First impressions. First impressions, I feel like, I feel like I can smell this image. Like, what does it smell like? Like, it smells like unfinished wood and dog stank. I don't know. Like, if anyone who lives in a house that looks like this has a particular scent to it. Yeah, it smells a little bit like old person. <laughs> Images you can smell. Yeah. I'm going to go through the photos um, just just slowly and at a medium pace. And you just tell me if there's anything you want to you wanna see. You know? Okay, okay. Anything you, wanna, anything you want me to go back to, okay? Okay. Why are they living next to a fucking, like, either penitentiary or, like, a shipping container? Some kind of warehouse? Yeah. Okay. A little bit of clutter, right? Yeah, it's it's, it's it feels a little cluttered. A little kind not, of a man cave that. type vibe. What the fuck is the location of that TV? Uh, Nobody uses that TV. Does the TV still have the plastic on it? Yes, actually, looks like it. Anyway, this room like, is located immediately adjacent to the fucking garage. I guess. I guess. What? Why is there a sliding glass door out to the garage? <laughs> Fuck, fuck, who the fuck not? Maybe the garage wasn't always there? Oh, that light is rancid. It's green. Oh, it like, it makes the place look moldy. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I see, I see, I see. That's like an outdoor sort of overhang. That's why there's a sliding glass door out to it. Mm -hmm. It's like a patio type thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. this isn't the worst. No, it's, it's, I, it's like I said, it's not that gross, but it is weird. It, just wait, wait. Yeah, this there's, is a there's, little, like, there's, yeah, just wait. The structure of it and the way that they have, what in the fuck are you, Mike, st stop, what are you doing? Anyway, um. What the shit, <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> stop, so what the fuck was that? What was what? I feel, I feel like I just experienced, <laughs> like, you, you know, you know, in Outer Wilds, like, when you die, it, it sends your, the, the, you get, you get, <laughs> The 22 minutes yeah, flash the, by the, your the eyes. Images that's, yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. you just fucking did to me. All except the things like someone, you looked at, right? Except someone else lived that life, and I'm, like, learning what they did with mannequins. What the fuck? Yeah, so, uh, and you're just looking at this listing. You're like, yeah, okay, and it, whoa, hold up. What? When did this turn into a Neil Breen film? Okay. What? Uh, you have to assume that these are permanent fixtures of this home. Like, these people, they don't, they didn't 
obviously put these here for the benefit of this fucking real estate agent taking pictures. You would think that the fucking competent real estate agent would have said, hey, get your fucking cum-stained sex dolls out the fucking building while I'm taking pictures if you want to sell this. You know? Like, or, or at least move them out of frame. You, you know, like, can we, like, do you want to sell this or not? I don't understand. Do you want, you want people looking at this listing and being like, oh, yeah, let's go check that house out? Or do you want them looking at it and saying, like, um, this, I don't want to live in a horror movie. No, thanks. Right. These, these move at night, right? They got to move at night. They got to. They definitely do. The question is, do they move onto your penis? Hmm. Buffalo Bill think... vibes. Mm. Put yeah. the lotion in the fucking basket. Put the lotion in the fucking basket, Fred. You got I'd two fuck fu me. two two fucking I'd fuck you too, buddy. Two fucking uh. mannequins standing in the corner, all coy. And by the way, can we talk about the poses that they're in and shit? Like these aren't just regular like you know department store mannequins. No, like you know, they're These like... These have individualized faces. Yeah. Also... Yeah, they're, 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 I think they're meant to look like people, like specific people. You know, like these are you fucking... So? These are fucking real creepy, dude. Yeah, I do think so. These are also, fucking really fucking creepy. Also, those two mannequins on the left there, they definitely have names that rhyme and you cannot convince me otherwise like stacy and tracy D these people are walking through this house talking to these mannequins they have personalities these people are like you know like look at the, look at what they're wearing too what's that about what's that about were these people involved in fashion do they look like they were involved in fashion i'm so fucking confused by this why else would they have mannequins dude their fucking like, hair these... is done Bro, look at their well, the, fucking hairstyles. They got their, their dress, herded, bro. Their their dresses look custom, right? Like, the, I'll bet that this was a fashion design. Maybe, 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 maybe. Like, it had to. There was a sewing machine in the other room. Hmm. They're making them. Uh, you Where'd you see the sewing machine? I mean, like, I fucking hope so, because that's the only way you can justify these mannequins without th without them having sex with them. And without this person being a fucking serial killer. Okay? Behind the bed? That's a sewing machine, guys? Oh, that is it? No, I think that's a heater. There's oh, stuffing that, that's why dead it's on women boards. inside? No, the reason it's on boards is because it's a heater. I, I, I've i seen heaters like that with... These, these mannequins are, like, contain human remains. Like, they're, these are shells. A lot of people missing in this town. Oh. Anyway, okay, let's check out this spoil listing. Spoilers for the Forgotten City. This is like the Forgotten City. Oh, wait. Am, <laughs> is that... You know what I'm talking about. No. No? But all oh, I know is you fuck. saying spoilers for this thing. It's this. It's a lot like this thing. Yeah. yeah that's I, what I was laughing at. Just... Is anyone in chat planning on playing this game that came out a long time? Ah, it's too late for spoilers. The only game that I will maintain spoiler-free talk of is Outer Wilds. Um, th There's a Good bit... Call in um in the forgotten or is it the lost city is the forgotten city it is the forgotten city um there there's a bit in it so the the whole idea is that um there are a bunch of statues um all around and they're whispering to you um and then it, it, it's a city that is full of statues and there's a rule that states like the sins of the many will or like what like all will pay for the sins of one or something to that like something better written than that but there are a bunch of golden statues around that are whispering to you as the player as the main character you go into this sort of this area off on the side and it turns out someone has been peeling the gold off of these statues and underneath are people still alive Like, the, their outer flesh has been transmuted into gold. And so, this person is stripping the gold off of their bodies and leaving them, like, without skin and with ripped up flesh. But they can still move and they're alive. The game is very good, by the way. I, w I would recommend The Forgotten City.
definitely. What is it, a puzzle game? Um, it's a, like, logical deduction detective game, sort of. First person? It, like, it, you walk around? It feels... And... You, it, it feels in the similar in a similar vein as Outer Wilds and Return of the Obra Dinn. Oh, um, I, well. I, I would say if you were to order them, number one would be Outer Wilds, number two would be Obra Dinn, number three would be Forgotten City, definitely. Um, it's, it's based off a very, of Skyrim a mod. It is. The dude Weird. was a lawyer who, um, there's a great little documentary about it. He was a lawyer who made um, a Skyrim mod, and then he's like, I'm going to make this into a standalone game. Well, now I have no reason to play it because you spoiled the whole fucking thing for me. Oh, no, no, dude, that is not even the, like, a tiny bit of that game. Like, that is just one little thing on the side. And I did not even spoil, like, what is actually going on. Trust me, I, I did not ruin the game for you. It is just a particularly grisly thing. God, that face is, mmm, uncanny. You think they're full of semen for real? You move them around and they slosh. <laughs> they audibly slosh. Wow. I called them my sloshers. There's one in the bedroom. You know that thing is filled to the fucking brim with calm, bro. Do not take a black light to it. You, you won't like what you find. <laughs> thing is fucking... The Glanch girls. <laughs> <laughs> Sock static. Fuck. The Glanch girls love it. So yeah, here's the neighborhood. Uh, that's that's it, bro. Uh, Lake Tahoe, California. Guys, Crab is absolute this... trash. Put it well. It's like what I spoiled is like if someone told you about a Bioshock audio journal. Yes. All right. Um. Anyway, yeah. So that's uh. Let's see if it mentions the the, the mannequins uh, at all. Well, sold for five hundred and fifty thousand last year. Let's see if it mentions anything about the the mannequins. A uh, little bit of love, duplex located close to close to the casinos, shopping, skiing. The only cinema in town. Nope, nothing about nothing. Doesn't say a single fucking thing about the mannequins. I feel like a casino is a place you don't want to live close to. Yeah, probably. Eh. But what I what I would fucking do. Um, if I was a real estate agent, I would be like, take the fucking mannequins out of the house, hide, at least hide them, do something with them. They cannot be in these pictures. But you know what? I mean, like, dude, somebody did buy it regardless. Mm -hmm. I mean, but like, it, it, it was probably made it a little bit harder to sell it. They weren't there when we took the pictures. They just showed up. That was deafening, wasn't it? That's because I turned off the the, the... audio stuff is hard. What? Oh, did I did I ruin everything? No, it's okay. You're fine. Maybe the mat the presence of the mannequins accounts for the two hundred thousand dollar price difference that it actually sold for. If you remove the mannequins from the property, you will turn into a mannequin. Oh, that's what this asterisk is. There will always be the same number of mannequins. <laughs> right, right. The balance must be maintained. Mm -hmm. in, and, like, it's, and it's like, how come you didn't put any of this in the real estate listing? It's like, you didn't read the fine print. That sounds, that sounds like a really good horror concept. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Damn. The mannequins come with the house. And they stay with the house. If you want mm. if you know what's good for you, right? <laughs> right. It's like, oh, uh, okay. I, it... There must always be a cum doll. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if you remove multiple mannequins at once? It starts sucking in random people from the street and turning them into mannequins. This definitely has Junji Ito vibes. I could imagine a Junji Ito story taking place here where there's like an old man who's like trying to sell the property. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yes, I love those mannequins. He doesn't but see I... a problem with the mannequins because he's so used to them. And one of them, right, one, yeah. of them, one of them is his wife who tried to remove a mannequin when they first moved into the house. And that's why he no, like, but... yeah. What? Yeah, Puma's like guy who's only read Junji Ito. Dude. It is, I, I can imagine the panels. 
I'm he, I'm, I'm easily visualizing it. I, I can imagine the character, right? Yeah. Like the old man character, the mm. way he draws them. Yeah. Holy shit. I can, I can, images you can see. Yeah. It's redundant. <laughs> That's redundant. <laughs> Have um, you seen the trailer for the new Junji Ito uh, animated series done, being done by Adult Swim? No, I haven't. It's good looks looking. good. Looks good. It actually looks good. I watched the one on Netflix. I get the impression it was like some of Junji Ito's like some of his, his like I don't know his his like B side fucking uh, hits, you know? Right. Like some of his like his deep these deep cuts that weren't maybe so popular that they adapted. I didn't you know? see it, so I can't speak to it. I mean, it was alright. I mean, you remind. It's, I, I'm. I'm. My mind is going to a very specific episode of it when you talk about this, but like, um, the one with the gravestones chat. But it's like, uh, I like that one. You know that one, Graves. Yeah, um, I like that one. Yeah, that's that's one of the episodes. Um, that was one of the better ones. Hmm. But yeah, this uh, this is cursed as fuck. This is like literally cursed. Um, yes. All right. So. I got many more listings. Hell yeah. Um, there is one that... Are you are you in this for the long haul tonight? The only reason I'm not is that I have had one meal in the past 48 hours. And I'm on like one hour of sleep. Can you, do you think you can go another two hours? That's my, that's my normal stream length. Can you go another two hours? Yes. Will it help if I suck you off? Uh, I need the protein. And the, the zinc. No, my zinc! <laughs> <laughs> no, my precious zinc! I need that. Did you like how I did it too? <laughs> no, it was good. I, I, I felt like... With felt the tiny... Because like he's been whooshed so many times. It's, it's fucking... Right. <laughs> It, like you're making the kind of sound that someone makes when they're sipping at a particularly weak uh, drinking fountain. Uh huh. You gotta like you gotta like, add some extra suction, right? Yeah. Um. Do you want to take like, a BRB and go get some food? I'm trying to think about what I would like. Just go eat. grab something easy. Like you got anything in your kitchen? You got any like little snacks or something? I so we can like keep cheese we can and keep, crackers. We real can quick. keep you. Do, like, we, we can keep you going. Let's keep the momentum. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling well enough. Like, my stomach is kind of cramping, but, like, I'm present. You want to keep you know? the momentum? Yeah, let's keep going. I want to do a, a quick shill for myself because this is the time when a lot of people start going to bed, I think, around midnight. It's around midnight oh, yeah, here. Fair. So let me pop this up on screen and pop this up in the chat. If anybody is new to the channel, I am requesting that and you like the content if you like the content you could check out those links in the chat that's my uh twitter is there my youtube channels are there it's where we have archives and there's even there's a highlights channel as well uh if you want to support and you don't want to do it on twitch it's uh appreciated of course no matter where you do it but some people use the ko-fi ko-fi and the patreon those links are there and finally uh, join our Discord server because that's where the real magic happens. That's where we get the, um, that's where we get the, what do you call it, stream notifications every night. That's where we get our art organizing, our community uh, events, which by the way, nice try, Wisp. Uh, the link is right there. Thank you, Wisp. Um, by the way, do we want another extension on that finger family thing, guys? I didn't forget I was going to make my own You Laugh, You Lose, by the way. Um, what for do you, you mean? Oh, like, yeah. I, I oh, gonna, yeah. A, a playlist a, for me. Playlist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I, I've just been, like, I've had so many. But yours doesn't happening. have to be a You Laugh, You Lose. Your, yours could be, like, a, um, like, a you, you fucking, um, like, if you, if, if thought, thought is provoked, you lose or something, you know? Mm. Right, if, if I make you think, if I make you acknowledge your own existence. And let me tell you something. Getting me to think, pretty fucking hard to do, man. All right, all right. Pretty so challenging. I, it's, a pretty, pretty challenging. it's a pretty low bar. Low yeah, it's bar. pretty challenging. Gotcha. I'll, so I feel like there are two approaches. I could either do things that are completely brainless, or I could do things that are really complicated. 
maybe a nice medley of just, both. Sh- yeah, shut shut him down, like <sighs> overwhelm him, overload um, him. Well, as you're supposed to watch the things in rapid fire, but I don't do that. The hair is for charity, Jasal. The hair is for fucking charity. I, I I feel like I look like a cartoon character that's like at the top of my brain. But I can't figure out what the character is. Guys, what cartoon character I know do I fucking you are. look like? Who am I? You look you look like a cartoon advertisement, like a nineties cartoon advertisement for Baja Blast. Okay. No, not Krusty the Clown. No, it doesn't look like Krusty. Buggy? Buggy the Clown? Nah, Buggy. No, I don't look like Buggy, guys. Stop. Blue Hawaiian Punch. There it is. You look like a cartoon character advertising Blue Hawaiian Punch popsicles. No, I feel like it's a fucking like Ninja Turtles character. Really? Or something where I... he's got like like the fucking like shit like in the middle. Like it's the the, the hair is like flat right now, so it's not really doing the thing. My, you look like Stu Pickles. Rock Steady. Let me see what Rock Steady looks like real quick. The Warheads guy. There you go. No, he doesn't have hair, man. Warheads guy. No. Just like a sour Warheads. I can't figure out who this character is. You do look like a Doug character. Doug? Yeah. Like Douglas? I don't know who the fuck I look like. like Alright. Um, guys, also, again... I want to go over this real quick, but my buddy Fred is doing a a reveal of his new VTuber model. If you're not into VTubers, just shut up, say nothing. Okay? If you are into VTubers, because people love to bitch about VTubers, I noticed. If you that's are the into- thing, right? Like, the, the VTubing is cool, but my streams are still just my streams, right? Right. VTubing is a vehicle. Again, again the, the, the VTube model is just a little fun little thing people put in the corner and it's like what you'd like, what you would like the content better if just, if that thing wasn't there, they probably, the person probably streams the same way. Okay. The person definitely the, is going to stream the same way regardless if there's a little fucking fella in the corner. Um. So on my last week with Lauren, um, Lauren I, I is, made his a preview, is his previous yeah, my, my VTuber old model. model. My, my old model. Um, before you, I bef- made a confession. Before you tell the story, I just want to. I want to. I want to give you the the show. He okay. is debuting a new VTubing model on Saturday at two about two p.m. Pacific time. So go help help out my buddy. It's a huge event when when a VTuber reveals a new model. So if you could be there and help him out, um, it'd be cool. It'd be really good for yeah. him. And so it, it, uh, it's, it's not. Well, it, it's not just a um, a model debut. It is also a um, an agency debut that is being backed by Meriwether Media. So, so like, he has is, a new agency. This is pretty significant. Yeah, if you want right? to follow, like, my, if you want to follow him, his name is in the stream title. You just click that, and it goes to his channel. Yeah, it's very very. So, what were you trying to say about Lauren uh, the other day? Oh, I, I was trying to tell you one of one of my major motivations for getting a uh, for getting into VTubing in the first place. Because I was enjoying streaming. Yeah. And like I, I liked streaming, but I didn't want a flesh tube. Like I, I didn't I wanted to have something that identified me <laughs> on the stream itself. Flesh but tube. I didn't want a meat tube. Um for a couple of reasons. But Why? the chief reason mm-hmm. I didn't want a meat tube was because I didn't want to shave every day. B- fucking very valid. Very right, ba- like, very valid. F- fuck that. Very valid. I don't shave every like, day. My okay, my you could you could have just you could have just not shaved every day. I mean, I'm I fucking don't shave. Nobody cares. No, you could have just not shaved is, every. You could have just did that. I can't grow a full beard. I still can't grow a full beard. Oh, so you get like weird like 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 prepubescent it's like, like cuck fuzz. Cuck fuzz. <laughs> oh, th- not it's not that bad, but it's like you can tell, right? It's a little it's a little baby facey. <laughs> he gets a little. All right. It, it's like it's not enough to make me want to shave every day. Yeah, like soy but beard. Like a soy... It's too much. <laughs> it's too much to have on stream. Yeah, soy beard. Uh, um. So yeah, uh, I have a, a, a listing here. I think you're really gonna like. Ready? You want to see another listing? Ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh, we're getting oily gym core. Think so? Oh, this is 
this looks a lot like the Christmas Hell House. Like, look, there's the nativity scene, like in the Christmas Hell House next to the pool. Is this the Christmas Hell House? Is it up for sale again? Fred, why would I show you a listing of a house we already looked at? This is... No, you don't get to gaslight me like this, you motherfucker. The, the, out, the outside... They, the outside grill. You, I don't even fucking try me, dude. There's the place Fred, we talked about putting a... About putting a what? About putting a pizza in that oven. That outdoor oven. It's, it's the Christmas Hell House. Fred, if this is the Christmas Hell House, where is all the Christmas shit? They, someone must have redone the house because look, remember, the flooring remember this, is different. Remember this foyer was filled with fucking sand, giant Santas and shit. Yeah, it was. It was awful. It was. It it felt like a hazard. Yeah, they do. They redid it. I'll be fucking damned. This is a th a, th a thing they do to show you, like you can visualize, I guess, whatever you want instead of what's actually there. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, like, uh, like this is the same. <clears throat> I don't know how they do this, but it's that, a, all that white. I, I think the the actual wood grain. Some kind of grain is the some original, kind of right? obviously Photoshop thing. Yeah, the wood grain is the original. Yeah. Yeah. The the white makes it look like I'm. It makes it look like that one Halo Top commercial where like it's post apocalyptic and an old woman is being force fed ice cream. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? I'm spaghetti bobbing. Hold on. This is the same. Do you have a minute? Of course I have a do minute. Have I have... A, do you have a minute? Hold on. I have several minutes. They recreated uh, it in 3D. Is that what happened, chat? Is really? that what they is that what they fucking did? They recreated it in the metaverse. In the metaverse. I just bought the Christmas hell house in the metaverse. But now it's just a regular you, hell house. Do you think do you think that if that kept going? I I sent you the video by the way. I'll look do you at think it that after we're done with this listing. Atla yeah. Okay, yeah. If Atlas Earth had kept going, would they start selling like little bits of people's houses? Fred, Atlas Earth Atlas Earth is still going. It is still going. We 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 took with this this came up the other we night. Did. No, I, I was there. I was there in the stream for it. Like it, you were it, in like, chat. that was the yeah. moment that I learned it had nothing to do with crypto, despite we, just describing itself as a metaverse. Uh, we, thing. we just assumed that, I guess. But that's a reasonable assumption. It is a Someone very says reasonable metaverse assumption. and they're like a crypto cuck. And then right? and then and then everybody you were if you were there, then you remember everybody in chat being like, Oh, we all knew that. You're the only one who's stupid, remember? Right. No, Duh, no we all knew you. that. Oh, uh, you were the only one who didn't know that. Duh, fuck off. Again, someone wakes up and decides, yeah. I'm going to tell <laughs> a lie in Mike's stream today. Right. I always, lo I always loved the bathrooms in the Christmas Hell House. Right, like they're remember of... remember all the garbage that was down here. Re I, re re I remember? remember, and I remember that fucking like that booth. We looked really? into it, and it, it was kind of like overpriced. It was like a light room. Yeah, right? it's like some fucking some yeah. scam, fucking holistic Bullshit. medicine garbage. Right. Yeah. You get it, UV well, lights, it and like... it does something for you. It's fucking scam. Right. They were making a bunch of crazy claims, as I recall. Yeah. So. Oh, the pink toilet is... Oh, they still have the fucking stone. The sink. The sinks. The sinks are the same. Right. Oh, Base of the toilet, just too. just as bad. R fucking awful to clean. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what I think happened here? Because I don't think... We, we got we to gotta look at the, his the history. Right. We got to... I If I can give my theory, though. Your theory. I think that... I think that... I could only imagine that kind of clutter with an old person, right? Like an old person who loves Christmas. Oh, my, Fred, look at the... Oh, and they, my God. And they died. Right? And they died. Exactly. They died and, they and died. like someone bought it. Masterfully remodeled private estate with a $1 million backyard resort and impeccably maintained. Ultimate privacy of 2.77 sprawling acres bordering extensive non-buildable green acres. Dude. 
Uh, where is that section about the price and tax history? Okay. There it is. All right, so when did we look at this fucking house, guys? Oh, wow, it is quite a history. It, it changed hands changed over ha and over. Changed hands a lot here, huh? Holy shit. It sold in 1997 for three million, over three million dollars. Two years, like one and a half years later, sold Which for is under fucking, a million. Which is fucking nuts for 1997. And then sold for under yeah. a million in 1999. What happened? And then, sold for e and then sold for even less six months after that. What happened here? Half that. Jesus. 2008, there's your financial crisis, your housing market crash, right? Yes. 1.7 million. Sold. 1.8 million, more like. One point, sorry, 1.8 million. Uh, listing removed, listed for sale, in, in, and then and then 20... Not 20, well, I can't math. 2020. In 2020, 2.1 million. I feel like that's probably around the time we looked at it. No, chat? Mm -hmm. Ooh. 2021? Okay. Okay, I'm formulating a theory. Go ahead. I'm formulating a theory. The reason that the house was sold for so little is that it was sold to a family member. Okay, yeah, yeah, could be, could be. Yeah, play little tricks and stuff like that, little, little fucking... Not you really know, tricks as tr much as like a gift. Or, or like tax avoidance type shit. Now, it could be tax avoidance. It, it could be, it could also just be like, hey, you know, you're my family, so I'm going to sell this to you dirt cheap. The, okay. 2020 is when that YouTube VOD was published, November 2020. So we, we looked at it around this time right here. Okay. Right. In that three years, that house was removed from the market in 2021, uh, May, was that uh, April? It was only off the market for a month. For one month, was put back up for for more money, for more, more money. money, for 2.3. 2. Okay, price change. They lowered it. 300, all right, look, 310K for a property like this is cheap. Unless I mean, that's the, insane. Unless, I, yeah. Oh no, what am I, no, what am I talking about? They built the house. It was, oh, oh, it was, it wasn't, that's it what wasn't, they, that's what they it did. was, it I'm was sorry. vacant, it was vacant land, it was a vacant property. It was probably vacant land or the house sucked and then they tore it down and yeah. built this on top of it. Uh, 1.9, yeah. 1.8, they're just dipping, they're just going that contingent. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. 1.8, 1.8. Okay. And they finally, finally fucking sold this goddamn thing for 1.8 last year. God, that took they a while. finally fucking sold it. But at some point, at some fucking point since we looked at it, somebody fucking flipped shit. I don't know if it was the real estate agent. I don't know if they maybe they fired a real estate agent and they hired a new guy. And his name was Ebenezer Scrooge. And he came in and was like, bah humbug and fucking threw out all the Santa Claus and everything and all that shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck happened. But like at the some beginning, the beginning of a Christmas movie happened. Happened. Yeah. And someone was like, "Get rid of all this Christmas stuff." At some point, there is no Santa Claus. Some, some, San some <laughs> Santa hater, okay, came in here, declared war on Christmas, okay, and fucking assassinated every <laughs> single fucking clause, every single fucking. The goddamn Grinch moved in. Dude, I've never Unreal. seen the Dies of Grinch emote. That is dies so of good. Gr <laughs> he dies of Grinch. <laughs> you so like good. it? Dies of Grinch. Okay, you, you there's know, never going to be I a. Grew up with that movie. There is never going to be a better use of that emote in, in, in as long as this website exists. No, okay, hundred percent. Well. What a fucked up movie to grow up with, dude. Dude, that movie was like it didn't have to be as good as it was. Uh, you oh you liked it, huh? It, no, it, I it liked wasn't, it. It wasn't no, it was it it wasn't it wasn't bad. Um, I, I will say like in, in it's not the Godfather. It's not I, I wouldn't even call it like a great movie, but it's a it is a very good movie that is consistently funny. So I still quote it all the time, my brother and I, always.
somebody had the wise decision to clean all the fuck. Cause, cause yeah, that I, that was not helping this fucking house get sold. Obviously, very similar to the other thing we had. This is coming up a couple times tonight. That was not helping the fucking house get get sold. Either somebody came in and put their fucking foot down, or somebody died. Yeah, I'm. And I think it's death. likely that somebody that that somebody died because we're we're in accord, dude. That conversation took place before they listed the fucking property to sell it. That conversation absolutely took place. We got to get the fucking Santas out of here, Grandma. And Grandma was like, fuck you over my dead body. So they were like, the all right, well, well, the, then her dead body happened and they chalked out all the Santas. <laughs> and then they finally got to sell the fucking house because all the fucking Santas weren't weren't in a listing anymore. I bet they, they, they could have seen that YouTube VOD, by the way. They could have. It's true. They they cleaned out the oily gym. They watched it and they were like, "This is why we gotta kill Grandma, because these fucking clowns, okay, are laughing at our real estate listing. They won't fucking sit. They won't. No one's gonna buy it like this." Oh my god, we talked about oily Jim being a secret agent, right? Like yeah. he he would slip in uh, through cracks and crevices that nobody else could because he was so oily. Yeah, he's like crack like he, he's doing crack out in the the, the pool shed. of course he's smoking crack and, and these these real estate developers they knock on the door to the shed and he comes out and he has big bags under his eyes and he's like looking emaciated but still just as oily as ever <laughs> and the real estate agent gets a grinchy grin and he says we have another job for you and he goes yeah right. Time to lube up, Jim. We're putting you mm -hmm. back on the field. Back in the field, Jim. All right, so I just played another game there. It was like, I, oh I my wanted... god, yeah, Mike. He has a gun that he uses for his assassinations. It, it's he calls it his luber instead <laughs> of a luger. I wanted to see how long you would go without recognizing the Christmas Hell House, but you recognized it immediately. Well, I mean. The fucking nativity scene. Yeah, that's in front pretty of, distinctive. Yeah. Like, come on. I shouldn't have started with that picture. That fuck. I, I, I fucked like, up. That is the first so picture, peculiar. though. It is. No, like no. it was the proper place to start. Just. Huh. I fucked up. I. uh Yeah, I mean, it's it's just been it's been stripped of all of its fucking holiday cheer. Can you even? You know, I kind of. It's it it's you know it's 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 bittersweet. Isn't it? Because yeah, we had a lot of fun looking bit. at that listing that time. Yeah. You know? And now it's like, well, it's, you know, I don't know. Hide your, I, don't, don't look at the screen. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm closing my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Here's a, wait a minute. Is this Waiting. it? Hold, hold on. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. No, I'm not looking. My eyes are closed. All right. This one is really fun. All okay, right, can I, I look? Uh, you can look now. Okay. Looking. Okay. Okay. So we've got like a decent pool, hot tub off in the corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, you know, I'm willing to bet that that siding, that the those logs are just siding. It's just drywall inside. Uh, which, what, th this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that could be fucking fake. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to bet that. Or it's a, they call it a facade. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh, it, yep, it, I was right. Yeah. It, it definitely yeah, is. It, it definitely is a facade. 100%. Yeah. Which not great. Not great. I did, that that feels tacky. Mm -hmm. I don't love siding. Some already. They, what? 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 What's wrong? But I don't. I don't know. Just. The suicide doors, for one thing. What the <laughs> shit? There's an invisible path that you can't see. This, this, this looks like the Grover house. There's an invisible little, little Grovery, little Grover vibes. Definitely little Grover vibes. Um, this is this this. They were renting this uh barn garage to a family of harpies. Uh huh. Yep. Hot <laughs> harpies. See ya, honey. Scree ah. Scree. Fun. Uh, chimney. 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 
chimney. That's a thick chimney. All right, we got that. What what do you think's going on here, bud? Where is where the fuck is the barn in relation to this? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think you're getting a lot of property with this. But but if if you fucking walk in this house, like are you just this this door, excuse me. Or are you in the garage or are is there like a long corridor going between two two garages? <laughs> yeah, I, I I think I think it's just a door into the garage. Well, why why not have one large garage door and then a fucking a door next to it? I feel like sometimes when people decide they're going to design their own garage, they want to get cute and clever with it. Although it could be because it would be more expensive to have, like, you'd have to have a stronger motor yeah. in order to lift up just a stronger mechanism. I guess so. In order to lift the big, the one big door. I, I guess. Like the living room. Love the Venetian mask on the wall. Big fan of those. Love those. Of course, Pratt's not coming with the house. Love that mask. Love it. This living room has some beautiful uh, skylights. I fucking love skylights. I know we've talked about this before during these streams. Yeah, I like I'm, them a lot too. I'm a fucking slut for skylights. Um, but yeah, cozy little living room. There's your there's your your your, your chimney. Right. So far, this looks okay. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, little kitchen. You got got a little like not a not not a huge fan of like the the speakers in the walls, but I mean, you know, that that's a personal choice. Yeah. What it wait a wait. Oh, the I bet the camera is up there for like video calls with family. Like you can have like a family member who's not present for dinner or something. Maybe. Mike? Yeah. Is this a fuck house? You think it's a fuck house? Why? Well, I mean, the, the, the way you said okay made me suspicious. Like, now I'm suspicious. Oh, there's the woman in the, in the reflection. Why is there a second television next to the big television? Okay. Whoa. Okay. Sauna. That's oh, cool. Sauna. That's nice. What? Oh, okay. He wanted to have his own little sports bar, I guess. All right. It's a man cave. It's a man cave. I still remember the best joke I ever told on this stream. That Like in the man cave, you remember? Fred. Oh, this is like the... What the shit? Oh my god, it's for having multiple games on, and this is in the garage. What the? Was that an indoor grill? Okay, no, 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 it's an outside grill. What? What the? There's cap, there's like indoor style cabinets. There's in, what? <laughs> All right. The, but look, there's a, <laughs> are you getting it yet? What the? Is this just someone who can't stop watching? <laughs> is this a person who has like a screen everywhere so he can watch four football games at the same fucking time? Yep. Yep. That's oh, exact. Oh god, he's he's like a football degenerate. Here's what I want to do. I want to go through this with you, and I want to count the TVs, okay? And then I want to yeah, try to figure okay. out how much, how many fucking dollars worth of TVs are in this house, okay? Oh my god, okay. Alright, so th that that barn with the doors on top is one weird. yeah, it's pretty fucked. Okay, so we got But that's not that's not the most fucked up thing going on here, yeah, my, got, in my in one. my opinion. Okay. One TV. One. Uh none there. Well wait, go back, well, go back, go back, go back, go back, well, go back. Well what's that? Wait, 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 what is that? What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was looking at the same thing. Um Because this because, because this guy might go to into the kitchen to wash his hands and miss a touchdown. So he needs to have the little a little fucking TV here. Okay. This is so, this is the only person for whom the Google Glass was made. Dude, one Google Glass would have fucking replaced this guy's 96 TVs. 
The speakers up top. I... Ima imagine having to live in this house and you don't give a fuck about sports. I feel like... I, I feel like you can fix this by... Killing the guy? Having a... Having a well, no, I was going to say having a phone, but... Oh, look, he has a motivational poster calendar. He doesn't want to look at his fucking sports ball on a phone, dude. He wants to see it in full, beautiful fucking resolution on a fucking big-ass TV. Anime tits on all screens? Well, it's also... Dude, everything that... All of this, all of this, this entire house doubles as a colossal goon cave. Okay, like, yes, it's for sports. But I mean, like, that has... Any 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 space like this that's fucking like lousy with televisions could also be a, go a goon space. Could be yes. I'm like counting this as a, I'm counting this as a, as as a fucking television. Okay. Every this, scre count or, the screens. Count the screens. Okay. Or 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 hear me out. Right, like the person who buys this house with all the TVs in it is one of those people who like cannot miss a second of a streamer. Maybe. Right, like. If I do not, if I am not there constantly for every stream, I am like, I am not a true fan. I'm just going to let you guys know right now, you can miss a stream from a streamer you like. It's fine. Not me! Except Mike. Somebody in chat goes like this. They said, imagine how many monitors you could watch Jabroni Mike and still consider it to be second monitor content. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cocksucker. Yeah, uh, sorry, Mike. You've been downgraded to uh, 43rd monitor content. <laughs> you've been uh, you've been demoted. Different different stream every time. Like this on every screen. Is screen number three. Okay. Screen number three. There is two okay. screen. This is now there are five. Four. Okay. We're Wait, up five. we're up we're up to five, bud. Because there's two here. On, both on the stand? You see them? Yeah. Uh, I, are you sure the one on the right's a stand? I think that's a framed photograph. Or is it? Hold on. Maybe we don't count that, the tablets. That's a, that, that, that's, no, that, that's a framed photograph. All right, let's not count. Right. Th okay, all right, so four. So that's four. Five, six. Five, six. Okay, the implication of this is that this guy is watching sports while he's fucking his wife. Like, this is George Costanza. Core. <laughs> Right, not gonna miss it. Right, like sex is temporary. Football is forever. forever. The Mets are <laughs> no. The Mets are a baseball team. Um, the, I don't know. The shit. Buccaneers. The Whatever. Buccaneers are forever. Uh, so I mean, sport toys do this, by the way. Although this is also also the Goon Cave, of course. But sport toys do this because. They love to watch multiple fucking sports games at once. Like very, I I think there's there's very few sports guys. Like it's it's almost like I think their their philosophy is like more of something good is better. But it's like how do you how are you going to be able to pay attention to any one thing? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell and I'm gonna I'm actually gonna tell you how. Mm -hmm. Because these fucking sports games have so many. Fucking commercials. That, oh yeah. Like you, you have to have like ADHD and like be fucking flipping between. Like be, it, it, it's genuinely because of the fucking commercials. It's it's almost ninety percent because of the fucking commercials. That that if you go into 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 like a fucking Buffalo Wild Wings and you see fucking a thousand televisions, or you know what I'm talking about, right? I know exactly what you're talking about. It begins to get to the point where you're like Buffalo Wild Wings is giving tons of advertising to these advertisers. Yeah, and it's but 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 the reason the reason that it looks like that is because it's like if you're watching one game and it goes to a commercial, it's, you can look at another at another fucking television at another television and start watching a different game. You, you know, know what I mean? What? And you're, you're yeah. just going around the fucking room every time you see a commercial. You know, because that's I, what fucking advertising culture has done to us. Right. You know, like I've, I I think okay, so because I, if you don't do argument. that, Fred, because hold on, we'll hold that thought one second because what happens if you don't do that? What happens if you only have one television? Right, you might miss it. You're going to be flipping through channels and you're going to fucking right. miss the good shit. You need yeah. to, you actually if you're really this, this this fucking horny about sports, you have to have this many televisions. Right, like this is an escalation. Yeah.
It's it's a power creep type thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like it, it never seems that unreasonable to buy just one more. Look at TV. the chuggle the chuggalepsies. Baseball, oh. football, basketball, hockey, cock porn, golf. <laughs> By the way, I want to point something out. Look what's I mounted. was literally about to say that. Like those are so he can listen to the game without waking his wife up. Mm -hmm. This man cannot get an erection without hearing John Madden's voice ever again. <laughs> What was the theory you were going to say? I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Um, my, I, You know what? It's a stupid theory. We'll keep rolling. But I love your stupid theories, Fred. Okay, I, I fucking... I don't even think it's a stupid theory. My thought, my thought is just, like, there is such a stigma around men um, having... Like, being non-neurotypical, like, being neurodivergent, that, like, there are way more men with ADHD than we know... And, like, they all are into sports because, and, like, sports have recognized this fact and are actively taking advantage of it. Yeah, maybe. No, it's that, that, I mean, dude, some sports fans, when, when you get them going on, like, their hyper focus, they feel very, like, you know, like, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to be, like. I, I, know like I, I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. Like yeah, on no, the spectrum, I, I, absolutely, absolutely. No, it, it totally can be a hyperfixation. One million percent. Like uh, yeah. most of the really, most of the really, really passionate about sports people I've known gave like, I'm on the spectrum vibes. That absolutely. yeah, be, like yeah. especially when they get really into stats. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Th there is an industry around that. Uh, yeah. For sure, uh, yeah. Um, and I mean, like you know, whatever people enjoy. I don't, I don't dislike. I, I find it very difficult to give a fuck about sports, but um, I don't, you know. I like I enjoy whatever, e whatever makes you happy. Yeah. Um, like I, I enjoy esports. I enjoy like weird, obscure games. Oftentimes, I mean, like I am in no place. I think that, I think that the concept of competitive Dead by Daylight is stupid mm. on its face. And yet, I enjoy watching it while I fall asleep. <laughs> Chad don't, is don't at me. Chad is desp at him. Chad is desperate. Fuck off. Desperate to point out the camera aimed directly at the bed. Yeah. Okay. No. Like the the one at the table made sense if you were going to like. Maybe this is goon shit. Distance cut. Ooh. And mm. I guess that's either the realtor or maybe maybe um. That's the realtor. Somebody who. That's here, the realtor. Probably the realtor. Um, Security? What? How many screens are we up to? Uh, we're up to six, I believe. Because we have four with the one on the table and then two more in front of the bed. Although, what a shitty picture this is. What the fuck? Tentatively, yeah. Mike, I, I, I would like to add one provisional screen, assuming that there's another one to the left of the large one. It would be, honestly, I'm, would, I would be mad if there wasn't. Like they're, right. they're, so they're want... fucking damn well better be. Right. We'll 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 make a we'll we'll say a provisional screen is on the left then. No TVs in the closet? Fail. <laughs> yeah. What a shitty picture. Stand outside the fucking closet and take the picture. What are you doing? I I come on. This is an art piece. There's a TV like in the washing machine. There's a TV monitoring the shower uh, at the I, dining room. I, I believe this is whatever's going on in this room. There are at least two TVs visible from this angle. Uh, one, two. Yeah, I'm seeing at least two, if not a third. That the TV's man. monitoring the shower. Yeah, what are you talking about? You well, how many? Jump. How many TVs we up to? Uh, so we had six provisionally, seven. Then, uh, so we'll we'll say seven. Like, you want to just assume that there's another TV to the left there? Yeah, yeah. Just for our own sanity, so nine. We're up to nine. Dude, honestly? 10, 11, 12. Honestly? A TV in the sauna would be awesome. I feel. It would, it, it would, it, it, it's stupid, but it, it is stupid, and it wouldn't work because it would destroy the television, but it would be cool. You know, to like, I know it would get ruined, but I would, would like to watch TV in there. All right, so I don't know, not in a sauna, dude. This is a fucking camera feed of the bathroom. What, Fred? The shit. No, no, it's no. I'm, it, it says HGTV in the bottom right. <laughs> oh, 
What's HGTV? <laughs> Home Garden Television. It's 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 a fucking TV channel. It's not. Ah, uh, okay. Honestly, but God, you, you, you like nearly induced a fucking panic attack. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. This kind oh, of, this, that's like some saw shit. This kind of rules, though. Look, did this little bar? This, this this bar with these this fucking looks TVs like back a here. Sports bar. And he's got these. Uh, see, here's the security cameras. Yeah. But that's more screens. Do we count do we count these three screens? Mm, okay, it is we're talking football screens. So I'd say no. Then you have to remove like one of them, I think, cuz I counted a tab. I counted two tablets earlier. So we had 9, there was nothing in the bathroom, and then 10, 11, 12, 13 with the one on the table. And then I think well, oh, oh yeah, so 12 if that was a security one in the kitchen. You're talking yeah. about the one in the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. 12. So we'll say 12. Okay. All right. 13 with the one on the left. Yep. And then another on the right. 14. We're up to 14. Ooh, look, Jeez. snooker. That's that like is a... that is 14 right there. This is 15 and 16 right here. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, that's 15 and 16. Mm -hmm. Are these... Okay. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. Is that 17? That's a new table. We haven't... Oh, no, no, no. I see. I see. We've seen that table. See? Have we? In the corner. No, you're talking, yeah, about... To... You're talking about the poker table. 16... You're talking about this poker table. Yeah, the poker table. Yeah. Th this we haven't seen. So this is 17. Yes, that's 17. Yes. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. <laughs> God. This, this is, is fucking nuts. Like, like, you would think... You would think... That after having a room like this, that you wouldn't need a room like this. I got my football room, my football room, my football sleeping and room. football room, my, my, my sleeping my and football room, room. <laughs> my Dude, shitting room. Can you my, imagine my how much sweating of, room? How much of a complete fucking nightmare it is? Look at all these remotes. Imagine fucking like trying to figure this out. There are eleven remotes in this shot alone. Okay, there are only two possibilities. One, this person is an absolute mess, and they can never keep track of which remote goes where. That, that's the, a given. I find this the less likely possibility. The more likely possibility is that this dude has a system for ordering these remotes so that he doesn't ever miss a second that he can manage. Fucking complete psycho. So you know that you know that dude in the in Pepsi Man. Uh, Pepsi Man. Yeah, you know the game Pepsi Man, right? Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I never played it though. Did well, I, play, I mean, did you I know the cutscenes. You know how there's like just a random American in those cutscenes. Uh, Speaking I, English. I, I I fucking I seen. I the last time I seen that was years ago, dude. Okay, never mind. I just that's how I'm envisioning the person who lives here. Um. Chat knows what you're talking about. Uh, this is a, proje a, TV a, a, a projector. Yes. Obviously. Uh, yes. I believe these are like some kind of subwoofers. I mean, what you? this is fucking awesome, though. I, I like I again, I'm not trying to watch fucking multiple things at once. Oh, my Christ. That screen is for movies. And the well, other could, screens are for monitoring football games. You could pr you could project anything on that. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna tell you exactly what this guy does. He comes in here. He puts on five fucking sports games. He puts on five fucking sports games, and then he sits no, here and he no, watch and no, he watches no. five fuck. Yes, this is what these people no, do. I, I, no, I I dis I disagree. I disagree. I think because there are other rooms for that. I think this is the movie room. I think I, I at first I thought what you were thinking that he puts five games up on the screen. He puts screens. a movie and I then four I then think, four games. Yes. I think that he watch like just to make sure that when he oh, is he's enjoying deranged. some sort of entertainment, he's making sure that he is also keeping track of all of the football games yeah. that he's watching. <laughs> He's got the documentaries, sports documentaries. He could put on these. He's got the it's sport, anything sports adjacent, probably. Like, no, like, you know like fucking, what? The commentary channels, right? East, fucking ESPN. It could be. It could be. 
The other possibility is that he's like watching nature documentaries. Mm. No, he's got. I'm gonna tell you what he's got. He's got subway okay. surfers. He's got kinetic sand. <laughs> he's got family. He's got Family Guy funny moments. Okay. This is a stretched screen for you he's specifically. Got, he's got Minecraft uh, 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 fucking uh, parkour. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then he's oh. got his favorite his favorite uh, NPC streamer on the middle in the middle right here. No, this is mm, for ice watching every mm, TV. So good. TV so good. Mm. Come 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 Football. come come come. Football so good. Football so Football. good. Football so good. All right, so we're up to 22, correct? <laughs> 22! 23, 24, 25. And don't forget, so that's the garage, which is like is also his gym. This I, I, I understand completely, though, because while I exercise, I need to be looking at something. I, I don't know if I've told you this, but I do not derive any pleasure from working out. It doesn't feel good. I, you know what, that, that, for me, that, Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Sometimes it, it, it is and it isn't. It depends on the day. I kind of just... Low team. I, I was an athlete. It's it's not like I didn't like sports. He's got I was low an athlete tea. for most of my count. life. He doesn't actually watch football. He watches football ASMR and football affirmation videos. My foot, My body is storing fat in my football. Middle screen is cock porn. The four side screens are for Twitch streamers, so he can tell them their second monitor content to the cock porn. <laughs> Plumpy porn. All right. This is don't it's, forget it's football. They're football manifestation videos. I really like affirmation. I I really enjoy like he's they're they're, they're manifesting a touchdown for their favorite team. <laughs> I, I my fucking... favorite team is great. Yeah. My favorite team is gaining yards. This, I like this. I really actually think this outdoor kitchen is, is like awesome. I'm seeing, I'm digging like the stainless steel and I, I, what looks like some kind of like marble or something, granite or something. I don't know. Like, I don't know. But like, all, all I can think is that this is just waiting for like a robber. You don't leave anything out here. Well, they're not going to be able to walk away with the fucking oven and shit. Well, not the oven, but like if you leave anything in the cabinets. The cabinets are my problem because that looks like wood and that's going to warp and get weird and shit out here. Yeah. No? Oh, well, it's under the it's under this awning. It's under an awning, yeah. And we also have... He has bar. an outdoor bar, too, with three mm -hmm. televisions behind it. So that's 20... What? 26, 27, 28. I love his, like, TV hutch. So, like, he can close that when there's, like, rain... Oh, you're right. It it is retractable. That that's actually awesome to protect the TVs. That's clever. That's really good. It's hard to protect outdoor televisions. Um, I am the thing tub. I am most amazed by is that there isn't a screen in front of the hot tub. Yeah, I would fucking. That's a no brainer for me. I would want to. I would want a TV in front of the hot tub. Uh, I mean, so if we're you're back going in everywhere the, else. We're we're now in the barn, bro. We're now in oh, the weird Grover barn. It actually, has okay, yeah. 29, 30, 31. Why this is an CRT old CRT. An old CRT, but it counts. It counts, but like... it all, really? it even it, Look, it has a recess in the fucking wall that it he does. put... He must have done that fucking 30 years ago. Dude. No, he... This is a, like, barn that a mechanic bought before him, I think, and put that TV up there. Like, made that recess for it. So we're up to 28, dude? 31. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, if you count the CRT up on the shelf there. <laughs> 36. It might not be a functional There's TV. There's no way he uses that TV. Come on. I, no, probably not, but like, there's the possibility. I'm Okay, we'll make that another provisional television. So 34 televisions, 36 provisionally. There's an asterisk here. This is the same shot. This is the same shot, yeah. This is from the other uh, mm -hmm. angle. We, we, those don't yep. count. And uh, are you showing us this? Th when are they going to show us the fucking pool in the backyard? Are we going to get... Yeah, right? 
No, just no. Forget no, the. Oh, there's a beautiful pool about, in backyard. Fuck that. We're gonna show you TVs instead. That we're gonna show you the sports bar again. This, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> this sold that was for um, seven hundred seventy thousand uh, dollars. Uh last year. Mm. Uh this is uh, this is New Hampshire. Dover, New Hampshire. Yeah, the pet there. He was a Pats fan. This guy. He was a psychotic Patriots fan. Uh, can, can we identify a team going through? Yeah, there was a like, blanket. Yeah, there was a... Yeah, yeah hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, New England Patriots? Where the fuck Even was... I know that. Where was that, chat? Probably in the workout room, The I room guess? with the projector. Oh. Oh, yep. Patriot. New England Patriots. I like the idea that the Pats he, like, are gonna win a Super Bowl. Freaking sweet, man! Freaking Pats, Lois. I like the idea that this guy did his best to remove any trace of the team that he liked and forgot about the blanket. Yeah, you'd think like, there would be more like there would be more Patriots like merch sitting around. Yeah, I like. But my thought is he was afraid that someone would be interested in this house and then learn that he liked the Patriots and be like, ugh. Oh, I can't I'm buy a house living. from a Pats fan. Fuck that guy. Yeah, exactly. I can't shit in a toilet that a Patriots fan shat in. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like, think... I do not want my fecal matter commingling with their fecal matter. I don't think you move to New England if you can't at least tolerate being around Patriots fans. Yeah. You know, there was a Patriots neck pillow. Somebody in chat... They said, if given the chance, this guy would suck Tom Brady's cock. Like, okay, okay, straight up. This guy, okay, he's a fucking, he's he's like this, okay? You know what that entails. One day, he's fucking hanging out. He's randomly, he's at like a bar. Tom Brady comes in. He's, he's like, holy fucking shit, Tom Brady. He starts talking to Tom Brady. Tom Brady's like, listen, uh, after I lost all that money in the FTX debacle, um, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit dumb. You know, I'm a little bit down on my luck, so I'm letting um, I'm letting my fans suck my cock for five dollars. Like, oh my God, Tom Brady, thank you. The guy would be like, "Well, I'm not gay, but it's Tom Brady, and I can have his penis inside my mouth. It's Tom Brady." No, 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 no. Tom Brady's penis will be inside me, and it'll only me. cost five dollars. That's a bargain. <laughs> I like how you turned into Master Shake there for a second. Five dollars. I'm not gay, but five dollars is five dollars. I okay. He, here's my argument. This dude, this dude, like this dude, definitely has tons of stats and like information stored in his stored in his brain, right? Yeah, he has to. Uh, like he knows, like he knows everything about about the Patriots and all their stats. But there's one thing he doesn't know. Mm. And when Tom Brady walks into the bar, cock size. he sees cock the oppor cock he sees the opportunity. He gets to discover whether Tom Brady is circumcised or uncircumcised. Okay, okay, that too, that too. And that's going on his sheet. Th that's another stat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like holy cock stats, fucking shit, <laughs> right? Like right nut hangs lower. Someone had had a, a good idea. Fucking when he comes in your mouth. Just go spit it out into like a cup real quick and freeze it, and then sell Tom Brady's cum because like you know it's like, some, like it's he's like, a prize stallion. Well, like some freaks will pay like a ton of money for celebrity sperm. Like that's real, and like, you could you, because they, yeah, because they want to like breed a Tom, a Tom Brady, <laughs> Tom baby. They Tom want a Tom Bre baby, no, Tom, Tom baby, Tom Brady, <laughs> Tom baby. You could Tom Brady a Tom baby <laughs> for the right price. You know, for the right <laughs> price. That's why Tom Brady pours hot sauce in all of his condoms, right? That that reason, right there. Right. I don't. I'm not up to date on this one. Um, somebody in chat they said, "I wonder if they the buyer negotiated the repairs to all the drywall for all the fucking TV mounts." No, I think. I think. I wonder, look, some some of the T... This guy probably didn't even take all these TVs with him. I mean, actually, yes, he did. Yeah, Paradise. No, he took them wherever he went. Imagine a rural...
private setting consisting but but then but then it would okay, to be on. to be fair to, it, okay in this guy's defense it would have been a colossal fucking pain in the cock and completely impractical to take all these TVs down just to take pictures for the listing does the overview say anything about the televisions the, the, uh, next 80 to an foot long cost with televisions yes the televisions at least the outdoor televisions are included they leave Ooh, those including two? including the outdoor televisions because those are the ones that wait have a minute the wait a minute bro damage. bro 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 hold on too much to describe you cannot beat what this house offers too much to describe here yet with that yet with the house comes 29 televisions of all sizes he's selling you the TVs with the house not all of them remember we counted at oh, least 34 that's true so he's taken some of them Mm -hmm. He's taking some of them. Um, a media room. Ooh, okay, hold on. I'm trying to think. If you don't count the sc the screen, like we're, we're assuming that like we're getting rid of the provisional TVs. Yeah. Um, or actually, wait. We're, we're let's count the CRT. So 35. He takes the two CRT. No, he leaves the CRT recessed in the wall. 34. Wife said the I had to leave some of the count. TVs, Sedge. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, screen, get rid of the screen, that's 33. Uh, what other TVs? Can we, can we, like, go through and see if we can find any that might not count? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hold on, man. Uh, we just go straight it's to the te interior. It's televisions, not screens. Yeah. Oh, we counted some of the, uh, I, I think it might be because we counted the security. I wonder if he tallied up how much all the TVs cost and then like just sla slapped it onto the fucking asking price of the house. We're well, not that, that's Adding. not really ha like that's not supposed to work like that. I was taught when I was when I became a real estate agent. But although uh, what's what's the estimate on how much all those TVs cost by the way? Anybody figure that out yet? I don't want to think about it. Probably at least like it, it's going to be like probably 1500 for the larger ones. It, it's right? fucking at least. It's it's got to be At somewhere. It, it's got to be five figures. No, it has to. No, it's definitely five figures. Definitely, no question. Chat saying fifteen k. Doubt they're a thousand each. They could be cheaper TVs. That's true. Sixty-five inch ONN TVs are four hundred dollars. Okay, so maybe some of them aren't. I mean, four hundred dollars is four hundred dollars, but this is uh, that's got to be so fucking annoying. My, right. he, he's oh my god, probably sold the, it to another sport toy. Well, think about it—the price of the batteries on all the remotes. <laughs> like, oh my god, at no at no point in time would you ever have all of your remotes with like have working batteries, right? Like, at any given time, at least one of them is dead. Fuck, that's annoying. That would be annoying as shit. Fuck, that's annoying, yeah. Imagine the electric bill. Well, you're not going to have all the TVs on all the time, right? Well, you know what? Yeah, you are. That's why you bought this house. Yeah, yeah, you're sure about that? I mean, this guy clearly did. Holy what's fuck. What's, that, what's a paraphernalia that's hanging out on the... I don't know, the band... What's that? What's that? What, here? Little cocktail. Like, yeah, I'm trying to figure out, like, what the what is all on these tables. Some kitschy fucking knick-knack bullshit. Yeah, it's a little kitschy. He's got that Patriots clock there. Yeah, he's got a lot of Patriots merch here. You see all that? Clocks are really lazy merch. Yeah, fuck that shit. For sports dudes, yeah, right? Come on. Yeah, like... fuck that. All right. You want to move on to another listing? Let's go. We have such such sights to show you. Don't look at the screen. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. No, I'm not looking. My eyes are closed. All right, I think. Um, should we do this one? Uh, I don't know. Kind of fuck, fuck that one. I think. Um. Uh, hold on. I'm looking through all the possible ones okay. we can we can I'm, I'm trying to like pick one okay no worries because we're going like the way we stream it's like an hour per fucking per listing 
So yeah, we, we have like time. so we have like one left basically. <laughs> we have like one one listing left, so I want to pick <laughs> I want to pick one we're all going to really enjoy. Um Yeah, just a solid one. A solid one in what in what sense? Like Do you want to see something hmm. fucking cool or do you want to see something fucking like dumb? Do oh, you, no, I want nightmares tonight. Like give me something dumb. You want something stupid? I want something stupid. All right, hold on. Hold I, on. I'm I, I am in that mood tonight. All right, I got because I got I got you I got you covered. There's more there's more stupid. Bless you. That one's pretty fucking stupid. Hold on. Uh, this one, because there's some in here that I I, I just I, people submitted them and like they're not like weird or dumb. They're just fucking awesome. And like right. I and that's I feel like that's valid for Unreal Estate though. Yeah, right? yeah, like, it, yeah. I think yeah. Yeah. I I think we kind of started with just like weird as hell houses, but I I like that we've sort of expanded out into actually cool stuff because it's fun to yeah. half because it's fun to see people in chat be like that's awful and the other half be like that's awesome. Anything uh, to make the chatoids fight. Okay, so the, the, I I think this one's pretty fucking stupid. Um, okay, we'll see if I agree. Yeah, I I, I it, it's it's okay. I mean, like I'd live in it, but it, it, let, let's let's just say it has a lot in common with the first li listing we looked at, in my opinion. Okay. Also, you have a listing you want to look at. Let's look at that one tonight. It's not a listing. It's a it, it's a blog. It just has really dumb real estate stuff in it. Oh, that so that that on one Zero. image that you showed me is not okay. So maybe not. Right. I don't have a whole listing attached to it. All right. So I mean, we we basically saw it already. Then you know. Uh, well, I mean, we like that whole. That whole account has awesome stuff in it. That that regularly. sounds like that could be an entire night on, in, in, it, unto I'm, itself. It really could. Yeah, like the what the child sacrifice ziggurat, right? That's what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, I thought that was a that was a house that had more dumb shit, but it right. was just one little image of it from a house. Yeah, it's like please hate these things. So I want you to start like settling into what this is going on here visually because it's okay. It's so really that's a mirror. Confusing. Frankly. Mirror. That's a mirror. Yeah. Okay. I oh, want to take a stab at what that might fucking be. What? A sacrificial altar? Uh... I mean, I mean, like, what is the, again, what is am I, I don't like... even understand what the fuck I'm looking at. Are those Oregon pyramids on either side? I'm sorry, what is Oregon? Oh no! Like you, you remember the stupid fucking plastic pyramids that we were looking at? Oh yeah! That one stream? Th throw the plastic pyramid in the toilet. Oh uh, yeah, yeah! I remember that dumb shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the last time um, we did uh, wiki, wiki how. Yeah. Okay, listen. Yes. I believe that. Okay, so it's. Can I? I want to look at the outside of the house again. Where okay, is okay, where okay. is there a fucking like triangle peak? Anywhere in here. Yeah, what? Okay, because you're seeing the, the, the walls, right? Right. So you'd have to, like, if this I... was on the first store, like, where would you put this, right? You're losing space. Okay. I, I am fucking baffled by this one, and it actually really pisses me off. This, I think, looks like a sunken conversation pit type thing. Oh yeah. Is that what the fuck that is? Like a sunken little like. Uh, yeah, me... And then there's a. I I I think it's a window, Fred. And then there's a whole bunch of like yeah. Cause it's, no 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 no. That's a fireplace. I'm willing to bet. That's a fireplace. It might be. Fucking how? I'm not confident, but. That's a glory hole for Macro Falco. Yeah. And then and someone in classic. chat was it? Yeah. There's a bunch of. uh Cultural appropriation happening up here. Up here. Yeah. Uh, what culture? I don't know, but they're probably offended. Um, it. I'm offended for them. Take a look at the ceiling in here, man. So, like, the buildings we were seeing outside have flat tops. So it's, why it's, is it's, it? It's it's fucking like brownstone, like townhouse, like they're fucking just. It's a square. It's a fucking square. Right. The building is a square. So what the fuck is all of this? What is that? Yeah. What is these beams? This is the the, the fucking the, the building from control. 
I like the idea that those beams are there entirely for visual effect, and they Fred, actually but, make it less like. Hmm? That's what has to be what's happening here, dude. Nothing else makes sense. Yeah, what the hell? And there's like a what? fake fireplace. This is very fucking the mind boggling. I very fucking confusing. I, so this is a okay. This is a table, Fred. Uh, yeah, and the lamp. But is it's hanging, really like. It's, but but it's really low to the ground. Okay, right. and then there's a lamp over the table. That's like fucking six inches off the fucking top of the table. What? I, I... did an did an AI design this house? What the shit? There's a little penis coming out of the wall over here. Oh, that's good. The lamp keeps your food warm. Oh, is that? Yeah, it you. It's like a a bar situation. It's a sh is... a shitting pregnant woman statue. Based? I don't know that this is my style. Not digging it? Okay. You have to spend the night uh in in here. You have to spend the night in this room or you have to spend the night in the room with all the mannequins from the other listing. Which do you which do you choose? Th this room. This room, definitely. Herrick has a, a fantastic question. Why did the photographer highlight this specifically? When Is you it being take sold? when you take fucking pictures of these houses, you are supposed to be taking pictures that allow the person looking at it to imagine their own shit in there. I don't give a fuck about this person's shit because they're taking it all with them, presumably. So what the fuck? Is, I don't. She's an idiot. That she's a fucking moron, and she's incompetent. That's why she's taking a picture of this. That that's why. Some kind of weird like Catholic relic cabinet where they keep like the severed tongues of, of the so the rotting tongues of saints and shit. Sorry, I just finished Blasphemous too. Oh, okay, that's valid. How'd you like it? I really loved it. I fucking loved it. Does nice. not does not live up to the first game. That's valid. Does not fucking does not. Yeah, just do, do, it's 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 not a worthy successor to the first game. Mm -hmm. But it's very very good. I do not. Right, hate no, it. I, I absolutely I absolutely get that. It's almost like it's a good game. You acknowledge it's a good game, but but you can't get the first one. I out of your I, mind. I I will I will go so far as to say it's a great game, but the 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 first one's just the first one's just better. Mm. The first one's better. That. Yeah. Um, in, in, for a lot of, I don't want to talk, I don't want to launch into this. No I worries, did be, no I did beat that boss, by the way. I'm considering going for like, there's two endings. I'm considering going for the other ending, but if I want to do that, then I have to do something kind of tedious. So I don't, without spoiling. So I don't think I want to actually do that, but, um, anyway, uh, yeah, the game's great. I recommend buying it, but it's the, fir the first game just, I, Fucking loved the first game, dude. Like, oh my god. Uh, the, the, the first game was fucking magic. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, there's uh, yeah, a little dildo in here or something. I don't know. <laughs> Whacked out bathroom. I I don't think the camera is, is tilted. I think reality is tilted when you enter this house. There is no way that this person dresses reasonably when they go out. Why you say that? Because they don't dress reasonably when they're dressing up their house. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, this... This I, I, This gives me similar feelings to steampunk, and I couldn't put my finger on why. Mm. I And I think I figured it out. It's a... Oh, God. What is it? Um, it's because... Just this. Um, it's because I cannot shake the feeling that the person who has that house describes themselves as quirky quirky yeah um there's quirky and then there's fucking stupid what the hell is this what am can you tell me what i'm looking at where is this in relation to the house oh my fucking god fred what's that 
What the fuck? Is that a cryptid? Oh, God. oh yeah, it's deafening. What is? What is? Hold Did on. I do something? No, not you. Oh, I got this. There's a, there are fuck, there's a glowing pair of eyes inside this, whatever the fuck, it's a door? I can't, is that man-sized? I don't understand, it's like a forced perspective, is this a fucking dollhouse? What the fuck am I looking at? I don't understand what I'm looking at. Mike, I'm worried if we stay on this any longer, we're going to be haunted. Hold on. I'm looking at the stream. Oh, God. That's a face. Dude, what the fuck did we find? Okay, are you seeing the same thing I am? Like, it's hand, it's Bro, left this, hand this, is this, grabbing this the is side. This is fucking... This is Pikmin's model. Remember Pikmin's model? It is! Fuck! Dude. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck right off. It's one of the little dudes. It's one of the, yeah. one of the little skittery dudes. Yeah, the little Pikmin's fucking, yeah, little yeah, fucking yeah. freaks that he was drawing. Yeah. That he was painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little fucking like freaks. They, yeah, this is one of the little ones that was tending to, like, the big one. Yeah. Yeah, Fuck yeah. this. Fuck off. Fuck. Oh, God. Dude. So like you okay so you see it like oh okay could you send me like could you send me the image because I want I want to draw what I'm seeing yeah yeah awesome idea hold on I'm gonna draw I'm gonna I'm gonna show you let me let me open GIMP hold on a sec you're gonna GIMP it up I'm gonna GIMP it okay he's let gonna me... GIMP it yeah 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 I got All right so while he's GIMPing it does anybody want to try to figure out what the fuck this e Im image even is. Like, there's a gate, and then there's a little, like, cabinet. Again, but it's bad enough without the cryptid. It, it is giving Catholic church vibes to me. I don't know what the fuck is happening down here. Is that a bed? There's a little door? Is it a... I, 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 this hurts my fucking brain. Uh, Lumpy Touch said it's an escape room. It's a sand pit. It's a this is simply this is a, a place for your cats to shit, basically. But it's like built into the house. In fact, you can shit in here. This reminds you of the weird bathtub in Blue Lick Road. I it's, this is dumber than that, frankly. I okay, Mike. I, I want to show you what I'm seeing. Yeah, did you draw it? I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've drawn it. Um, okay, send it on over. Okay, uh, cryptid. Man, you drew that fast. I mean, oh, I'm just outlining it. No, you know what? You should you should try to do a thing where you draw like 500 paintings in 24 hours. Wow. Um, I wonder if I could bilk people out of thousands of dollars yeah, by playing you should, a bunch of instruments too. You should do a thing where you make a hundred, a, a, a thousand drawings in 24 hours. So this is what Fred saw. Yeah, that's more or less what I what I fucking saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're seeing the same thing. Pretty right? much, and the, then pretty the, much the, the exact line same on the thing, right. Yeah. The line on the right is an arm that is like grabbing onto like the edge, the door frame. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I saw. That okay, is exactly okay. what I fucking saw. We saw I the just exact. Make same. Sure. You and I saw the exact same thing. Fucking Christ! That sucks, dude. Fuck off. That's a doorknob. It could, yeah, it could be a doorknob. So just the face alone is enough, though. Yeah, but here's my theory about this, and this is gonna fuck you up even more. Here, here's what I think. I think I'm seeing. I'm trying so hard to make sense of yeah, this. Yeah, I have no idea. Like, is this in between that, the houses? Listen to me. That okay. fucking wall that that door is on, okay, mm -hmm. is actually about. It's it's like. Four, f four to six feet from the person taking the picture right now. Do you understand? Do you understand? I'm... Do you understand? Hold on. G give me, give me like five seconds. I'm like analyzing. Oh yeah, what the fuck? That's a. I believe that's a tiny door. 
That's a, do- a door for duendes. That is not oh a man. Oh my god! It's like it's like a gremlin. You you th- you thought that was like fucking twenty feet away. You thought that was like a fucking like like the length of the house away, or some shit. Right. Yeah. I, no. I thought that this no. was like the entire house. Length. No. 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 You're right. No. It's that's really fucking four. That's like four. That's like four fucking feet away from the person taking the picture. Maybe like five, six feet away. And that's a tiny little door with a tiny little freak inside of it. Oh, this is fucked. And you could put your hand in there and he chews on it like a fucking gam jabor, wherever the right, fuck. Right. That... Do, do you do you think do you think that they toss in a chicken wing every so often? I think they satiated? I think they have to. They Otherwise, have they're to. gonna wake up and, and their penis will be stolen. Right. Oh, it's like a, a penis stealing cryptid. Well, I think we have to fucking move on because I cannot figure out what the fuck I'm looking at. I, I, it, it, it's Euclid Let's was keep wrong. Moving. Euclid was wrong. Is all I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. There's windows up here. There's mirrors, making it even more confusing. What is that? Little balconies? I, I fucking thought. <sighs> it's quirky. I, this, this house is actually stressing me the fuck out. Actual SCP. I, um... Actual SCP. Is this a kitchen? What is this? What do you is do with it? that? What What's is that? The vent. What no, the that? vent. The vent is over a wooden table, or is, is it that? Or is that just a cover? This could house you, like, defies God. Could you zoom in on that table underneath the vent? Um. Or like, uh, like open it in a new tab, and then uh, I zoom have in. to. Um, you can just right-click the image and then open a new tab. Probably. Hold on. Okay. What the fuck are you looking at? Table. The image on the screen. No, bro. Like what? the 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 oven table thing in the center of the in the center of the image. Hold on, Fred. What what is it? Open new tab. Right click. Open image in new tab. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm looking at screen. I'm looking at the stream now. Sorry. I I did it like an idiot. Okay, so okay. We're looking at what here? We're looking at like the the table in the center, right? This fucking shit. That's there's, a wooden. Yeah, that's a wooden table. There there, there there's there's like a a, a a a fucking hot plates underneath it. There's like there's like burners underneath it. Can you remove that wooden cu- Oh, I see what this is. So there's a stand for a cutting board, and then to save space, you can remove the cutting board to get to the heating elements. Uh, why? It's a space saver. I've never seen something set up yeah, like- You know why they need a fucking- fucking- Is that- no, You know why the they need, they the need right? a, a, safe sp- a, a fucking space saver? Because they have walls and fucking ceilings that don't do anything, taking up all the fucking space, bro. Dude, is that a fucking, like, elevator for shit? Like a dumbwaiter? A dumb- yeah, like a dumbwaiter, but not quite a dumbwaiter. Like, uh... Ah, uh, the, the well? Like, a, it, there's maybe there's well water down there or some shit? In Inside the, city? the house, we're looking at a, this we're looking is in, at a brownstone. This is in St. Louis, Missouri, guys. It's a bucket. Is... Yeah, for what? The right. low, the lo- It's for lotion, Fred. It's yeah. I was gonna say that. That's for like the gimp to come in when you need to cook, right? <laughs> oh my God, we found Fody's new house. He. Oh, there's like a cum goblin down there who fills up the bucket with semen every time he lowers it. This is the most perplexed I've ever been on on real estate. Same, I think. I think like what's so weird is I can tell what everything is supposed to be used for. It's just I can't imagine myself using it. What's going on back here? What are those? What's what's that fucking display unit? What is this fucking bizarre sitting Pete couch thing in the corner of the kitchen. Why is there a rope and pulley system? What the fuck are you doing with that? Okay, I, 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 I'm relieved to see something that makes some kind of sense. It's a kitchen. That's nice, yeah. Okay, it's like a refrigerator. How... I know what a refrigerator is. T O P. Dude, this O-P. is. Did, are we on fucking drugs right now? Did you slip me something, bro? I mean, not not enough acid to make this happen. Holy fuck. I, what is happening, man? Their favorite anime is One Piece? 
See, I was going to say they have that to, like, complain about balance in League of Legends. Fred slipped me some uh, albino penis envy. Yeah, this is exactly what I thought it was. Is that a is tiny it? little TV? <laughs> what is, is that doing there? No, I think that's a speaker. <laughs> no, is uh, that a screen? It is a screen. It is. What ball? It is. It is. It is. Are, so those are all antiques. What's happening the on the what's happening on the ceiling, man? Was this once a museum? Oh uh, yeah, it's all antiques, yeah. There's somebody's fucking panties is, is in there? Is enshrined oh, in you're here? You're right. Somebody's fucking a... crusty slugged in panties or is, is enshrined in here? Was this like a whorehouse or something? No. I still don't understand this piece of furniture. What are you supposed to Alamo. What are these? We we got to look at the description for this. I yeah. Uh, let's get through the images. I get. You know, this might be one of the only times that I feel like we need to stop to look at the description because I don't know what I'm looking at. There, like it, I can't it's, even analyze it's it. It's impossible to fucking parse in your brain what <gasps> you're seeing. Mike, 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 Mike. Close up on the little fella on the on the I, pedestal. I, I see the little man. I see the little man. Hold on. You you remember you remember our friend in the tiny window. <gasps> it's him. There he is. It's a representation of him. No, it's just a dude. Never mind. I thought that his arm was a giant nose. God damn it. What <laughs> you thought for that? You thought this was a long. I see. I see what you thought. You see the face. You I see, see the what face. you thought. I see what you it thought. Was, when it, it was tiny, and then you zoomed in. I had to like twist my brain and like contort my 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 brain, but I see what you thought now. Oh man, I wish it was. I wish it was what you what you thought it was. Oh my god! Someone's pointing out this is a mist house. Yeah, this is like a point and click <sighs> adventure house. Holy fuck! It is. Everything is weird. Nothing makes sense. There are mechanisms oh, that no God, normal person would use. The Talos principle Fuck. or some shit. Look at the. Look at this. What is no, going I'll, on I'll in here? Alavix Apity. No, completely correct. What the fuck? Even this angle. This angle looks like you're supposed to like have a prompt to click through to go through the door, <laughs> and like another prompt to go and inspect the little dude on top of the pedestal, and like you're supposed to take the dude on the pedestal and then put another thing on the pedestal, and it changes a thing in a different <laughs> room. He's so right. <laughs> oh my god. Why is it why was it made like this? The looker. Remember the looker chap? And the pictures they're taking are yeah, are making it even fucking worse. What is this column in the center there? Guys, there's 58 fucking pictures. Oh my god. There's a lot. Oh my god. Ex explain, look at my mouse. Look at my mouse. Explain this. Mm. Uh that's where the little fella sits. What is fucking happening up here, man? The, that, what, that's where the fellow what, sits. What do you even do with this room? This, this, this is a bathroom? Is it? No, there's, again, like... There's I toilet cannot... paper. I think we have had a total of three images where I can clearly tell what the room is supposed to be used for. Hey, Fred, even... you know you know how yeah. bathrooms have mirrors? Yeah. Uh, is that a horizontal mirror? Oh, good. I get to look at my crotch. Unless you want to get on your knees and look at your- and you can see your face that way. Cock mirror. Is, cock mirror, yeah. It's like, if, if you ever want- if you're a foreskin haver, you get to admire your foreskin. I think this is on the other side of- of- of that. May, it may, is, maybe? It is, yeah. The, those- those dividers, I think, were- no, wait, is it? Go back real quick. How did this- this had to be some kind of, like, art- No, 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 no. No, no, no. So those are covering up like the washer and dryer units, I think. You're right. Yeah, that's not. Okay, you're right. Although I, I do believe that this is the same bathroom based on the tile here. Yes. But I could be. Like it's a turnaround? I could be, I could be wrong. What the shit? I, I got nothing, dude.
I, I got nothing. I, I feel like I stumbled into a fucking another dimension. No, okay, we, Mike, we have looked at a lot of houses yeah. at this point, I, right? I, like, I, uh, we've, we've, we've been doing unreal estate for, I think, years now. Years. I, we have seen some weird shit. We've yeah. seen some stuff that is just, like, bonkers. We've seen bad taste. I have never been so baffled never, by same. anything that we've looked at. Fucking same. And it's making me a little bit angry because I can't, because, like, I... I, I can't understand, and it's making me, like, it's, it's fucking frustrating me. Right, yeah, no, I, I'm kind of in the same place. We're, like, monkey confused, monkey angry. Yeah, what the fuck is this? What am I, what are you, it, it, it's supposed to be art, right? It's art, it's gotta be. But like, it's, but it sucks? <laughs> I, I don't know, it's kind of weird, I... You like, like it? You can like it, nothing, it's okay. Nothing fits, like... You know what There's it is? There's a fucking glory Every... hole you can suck cock on the stairs. Oh, thank God. Um, I've been needing one. But the I think I know what makes this so difficult. Usually when we look at a house, we can look at this. place a general <laughs> time period. This is entirely anachronistic. Yeah, it's everything. Ev this is an everything house. This is the house of everything goes. Can you even tell me what that is? What do you look at? Mirrors? What's some kind mirror? of weird, some kind of random molding that doesn't do anything, and puts oh an, and and then there's another mirror in there, for no reason. No, this is an escape room. This you, isn't a house. You know what else I feel from a, this house feels extremely claustrophobic. Like this house does, feels yeah. fucking tiny and fucking. The mirrors. Cramped. I think the mirrors were installed to help alleviate that feeling. Yeah, but it's still definitely. Feels cramped. That you nailed it. You nailed it. And when you look at the at whatever this is from this perspective, it looks kind of like a fucking like dinosaur skull or some shit because the mirror is reflecting the the piece. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't know. It looks more like the front of a tennis shoe. Whatever the fuck it is, it's reflecting itself and it's creating a, a symmetrical hole yes. or something. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Oh god, and you can like because there's a mirror on the wall as well. It's it, it like it, it you you are seeing infinitely. Yeah, you so it's it, even yeah. more oh. Disor disorienting. A bonsai. Guy, guy definitely uh, is like likes bonsais. We saw a tiny little plant earlier. Is this a real bonsai, I wonder? I don't know, but what is this railing? Like what what is like what's going on? Does that what's look down on? on something? I don't know. I am. I don't know. There's windows there. Uh, there's this. We're jumping I, around in the house too. They're not going like, through I, the I house in a, in a, in a, in a, like a way that makes sense, right? No, but I I don't think I get the feeling that there isn't a way to go through this house that makes sense. Y yeah. Right. Like whatever mad logic concocted this house will not permit the person taking these photos. To take them in an order that makes sense. There's a window, a big circular window going to another room in the house. There's mirrors on the ceiling. Pink champagne on, on ice. That's the lyric, right? There's a fucking... Uh, I am. There's I am. a fire fireplace. Um, this guy's got a, he's got a typewriter here. That's cool. I um, am desperately trying to comprehend what's going on here, and I have nothing. Oh, good. A normal looking room. Perfect. Perfect. Candle iron. The fuck? What are they? Do they think they're in a fucking survival crafting game? <laughs> this is their Minecraft. Uh, like, chest stash, right? Look at this. Okay, this, so those This are... is where I started to get, like, real, like, I was already confused. This is where I started to get angry. Those are prints, I guess? Uh, like, this has to have been, a mu like, a museum, but it's being sold like a house? Hold on a minute. I, I want you to look at the, at the shitty, there's a window here, I think. Look at the shitty fucking sloped wall. 
and then another slanted wall that divides the room slightly. And then there's this fucking massive molding over here for no reason. Right. Like, how do I... There's a little ladder for some reason? No. Okay. No, Mike. You said, like, this is where you started getting angry. No, I'm, I'm on board with your anger. No, like... I am... I am actually speechless right now. Nothing makes sense. But you're because you're completely right. You have this wall cordoned off, but then this wall comes in slanted and you have to like crane your head to make sure that you don't hit it going into the other half of the room. Why? Yeah, you get Why? it. I, 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 here's the part that's really that that makes me where I, I, I what, what's pissing There's me off skylight? is thinking what is, is the geometry of this house? Fred, Fred. Think about how much lost square footage there is in this room. I don't even want to think about it. Like, just, just lost. For no reason. Right, what? Because they, they they wanted a slanted wall so they could watch their cum cascade down it? <laughs> it's cum related. Here's this. Uh, there's that, a very, very, very that is narrow. That distressingly narrow. Na yeah, yeah. That's, I'm telling you. This claustrophobic is fuck, dude. And there's fucking shingles on the wall? You're right. Why are they... Or are they even shingles? Or are they just styled after shingles? Ready for They're this? styled after shingles. Ready for this? This is a mirror. We're looking at a... No, no. Skylight. What? Okay, which I like. Okay. Oh, this is actually a big open room. I thought that the bar in the center was like a break in a mirror, but it's not. It's just a fucking bar. That's, that's, a, not... stri that's a stripper pole. No, stripper yeah. poles are thicker than that. Like that, I feel like if you started trying to do stripper moves on it, if you tried to if you tried to pole dance on it, it would like you would break it. It would bend. So here's the bed, right? Here's what's gonna happen to me. I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna try to get out of bed, and I'm gonna fucking stand up, and this and and my this pole is gonna be between my legs, and my cock is gonna get fucking demolished by it. <laughs> Honey. Did you clean the cock demolishing pole? Oh, I'll do it later, honey. Two fucking skylights, and again, the, the roof is- I, I can't- there are pictures of the roof, that's where- I, Wait, why is this styled after an adobe house? I, it, you're talking about the stucco. The stucco, yeah. Chat, behave. You, you see, Chat, behave. Is, is it- is it- is it- is it- am I- am I using that word right, adobe? Yeah, I think. Like, I, yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Because you also have the um the wooden These bars. These post things, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah you're, you're right. Well, I mean, like, that one element. There's also a little fucking Adobe-style, like, fireplace there, which is weird. Because, like... Yeah, what? Th this, is, this is reminiscent of the Flintstones house. And um, th the fucking shingles is not Adobe-style, though. No, this... None of this makes sense. This is, like... If someone made a house the same way that a teenager made a MySpace page. It's like a Hypnospace Outlaw page. Just fucking throw anything in there. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. This is neat. Fred, if you laid in this bed. Okay, which by the way is like, I, I don't know, like built into the... Okay, no, no, no. We, I demand Fuck. you rephrase that. If I curled like a fetus into that bed. And then like in the middle of the night you had to piss, so you got up. Um, do you think that you would slam your fucking face on the ceiling over here constantly? Worse. I would scrape the top of my head on it. On that edge. If you heard a loud sound in the middle of the night, you get up suddenly. I, I, I guess, I guess if I had to sleep here, I, my feet would be there. My head would be here. Like I'd sleep in this, the other way. Like normally you want your head against the wall, right? But you can't fucking mm. do that here because of whatever the fuck this is. Yeah. That doesn't work. A fucking abortion of like fucking sheetrock and drywall. An abomination. There's a fucking window here, but you, you, you can't see it because there's... What, there's like a little fucking space back there? Ah, oh, fuck. I hate this. What are you people walking around up there? What do you do with this? Why are there poles in here? Fuck you. Why is there this a is... fuck? Why is there a sunken? But what the fuck is this? Fuck! This is, 
This is like a house made to induce dementia. And, and this rich. Is an this is a scientific experiment. <laughs> seeing if you can induce dementia in people reliably. I, I guess I don't have an issue with this. There's a little recesses in the wall for your... your for your jars. Vases, for your vases. I guess. <laughs> your fucking vases. Look, there's another vase on the bottom left. Yeah, there, there is, yeah. Was that a steam... St like an oh, old, an look, old look, timey look, there's, there's uh, stove. The, there, there's, the, there, there's the rope and pulley system. This is underneath the kitchen. Mm-hmm. The kitchen's I'm pointing, up. I'm pointing at the screen like a fucking moron, as if you can <laughs> see me. So, I don't, uh... I... Like, no, this is no. Uh, this this is the, this is a point and click adventure house, and you cannot convince me otherwise. This is a proof of concept for a video game. <laughs> Why are there gates? Right? What are these? Oh, you know what? You know what this is. Hmm. You have to solve a puzzle to get this to open, because <laughs> because you your shitty around. because your shitty character can't jump, right. because it, can't squeeze around. Here's the oh, roof. God. I like that view. Cool, great. Okay, so it looks like the roof is slanted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was wrong but about that. At... But okay, I'm, I mean, like, I feel like that is such a minor point at this point. Yeah, it's that's that's it. Yeah. Like we are, we are so far beyond the roofs. So shape. on the roof, I believe we're still on the roof. Who the fuck put a Japanese lantern, like, hit it back there. What is this? And there's a little, a little fuck shack up here? No, this is the backyard. We're not on the roof. My bad. There's a backyard to this house. Apparently. Oh, what? Oh, no. What is down in the depths? Little Zen, uh, little Buddha, Zen, Zen, like, maybe. Hold maybe on. There's a pond a, or something. Different Dan is saying there's an article on this house. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I would love a goddamn explanation. All right, post it in the chat. Can somebody, um, can we get permission for that guy to post a, a fucking, uh... There's a video tour. All right, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to dig, we're gonna dig into this one, we're gonna dig into this. SCP-184, think... hold on, is SCP-184 the architect? <laughs> what is it, what is SCP-184, do you know? Uh, is it the architect? Because the, I love the architect. That's one of my favorite SCPs. It's a. I should. I should show that to you at some point. Look at that creepy. I, I'm going to assume it's a Buddha head. Oh, don't worry. I decapitated the Buddha and kept him in my backyard so that we can have enlightenment all the time. It's a. Oh, this is back in the upper fake, floor. Fake fireplace because there's. I, it is the. Okay, it is the architect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the architect, um, the the SCP-184 was a little object that you placed inside of a room, and then it would start creating copies of that room expanding out indefinitely. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a really good one. I love the theory that, like, they keep the architect out, like... The SCP Foundation has figured out that the farther away you get from Earth, the weirder things get. And they figured out that it's because the architect was stored outside for so long. So the architect... And, and it, is, it has expanded the universe. Created the universe, basically. Potentially, or expanded it. So this, so this fucking uh, backyard is all, like, like Asian-themed, which is cool, actually. Some kind of weird uh, <laughs> garage? Shigoli Ravioli says the mu the museum of everything blows. Everything blows. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just a, a a kind of a thing you sit under. Fred, that owl's face Hello. is gone. His it face is. is gone. Where is his face? They took. Holy shit! Oh, that is terrifying. This is Egyptian themed. What is this? Again, there's a lot of cultural uh, mish mish mesh going on here. 
just kind of you know throw it so together it's like a polynesian type thing i think no this is a hundred like this is a 3d rendered adventure game specifically we, we this was one of the first rooms we saw yeah it's a different we it's a, a different angle though so like god knows what those fucking triangles are about i'm willing to bet it's some sort of pseudoscience could be i know you love pseudoscience this is... Is, is is this bdsm shit what's all of this what are all these pulleys and chains like what is, at, what is this? at first at first i thought those were i i think it's just ornamentation this is yeah. weird because these are like lit better these photos yeah they are it's that bathroom there's the toilet didn't see a the toilet bathroom. before is it is it just me or is the bathroom god okay that that bar is thicker than i thought but is it just me or is this bathroom massive there's another wing to it back here i think no that's a mirror oh my god that's a mirror it has to be a mirror oh my right? god it's a fucking mir the, the mirrors are making it look massive fred that's all it's so hard to yeah. tell like i think I feel like mirrors are really bad false advertising for Zillow listings because yeah. when you are looking at a photo of a room with a mirror, it makes the room look larger. Yeah, that's you're like, like the oh, point that means of it'll the mirrors, feel larger. Yeah. Yeah, but, but like, I have never felt like a room is actually larger when there's a mirror in it. No, if anything, it underscores. If, if you put a mirror in a small room, the mirror only serves to underscore how small the room is sometimes. Does that make right, sense? Right, right, yeah, it's... I'm I'm, tr I'm trying to think of, of a good example. Like, it brings more attention to how cramped it is, in a way. Right. Duende it, ledges, it's, yeah. It's, it's, like, it, it's like lifting an old Subaru, right? Like an old commuter car Subaru, like mm. lifting it, right? Or giving mm. it massive wheels. The massive wheels don't make it look better. It just draws attention to the fact that you have a shit car. <laughs> Fred, I want you to take a good look at this bedroom. Fred, how the fuck are you going to sleep on that, buddy? How are you going to sleep in there? How are you going to actually sleep in, in there? Like, would you want to? I feel... Yeah, and what, and, and, what, and what is that TV doing there? You pointed that out before, but that TV's in a fucking horrific spot. <laughs> This is like, a well, I don't living know what you're space. supposed to do with that. I... No, this this is a living space for a dog with human intelligence. <laughs> or just a dog. Or just a dog. It could just be a dog. Like I can see a fucking like like a, like, a, like, a, this, like an anthro no, furry no, no. fellow living. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Th this looks like a furry's concept yeah. for like an anthropomorphic character's living yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's so right. Cause he's got that little fucking doggy bed. Right. Yeah, and then like the, the shape of the room is weird. It's like, oh, this appeals to the character, right? I'm I'm guessing the pole is a support function thing like i they, refuse to believe that because can you fucking it, it me too frankly but like that fucking look at remove that. It. that is Th no that is fucking, not load bearing then fucking remove that yeah, I load think it's bearing to be stripper like... pole it's got loads on it if you know what i mean <laughs> oh it bears loads all right they had to cut a hole in the rug because of this stupid fucking thing they did yeah oh they cut a rug they they Oh my god, Mike, they literally cut a rug. Yeah. This fucking sucks. Plus, like, plus this, two that or your band. This this sucks. I think this is how you get to the roof right here. So this is your bedroom and this 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 leads out here. You come back you come over this. So the stairs to get up here are behind this. If you make a left at the top of the stairs, you go out here. You come into this little room. Which has more fucking stupid bullshit in it, and then I don't know. Does that doesn't that does that door not look tiny to you? It it looks tiny. It it looks. This is a house made for again like. Here's the views. Like, the the upper floor there looks like a VR chat world. Mm hmm. What's this now? Uh... 
Yeah, here's your front entrance. Yeah, great. Oh my god, the door is huge. It's it, it this Forest is a, perspective. Like this is a small house. Twenty five hundred square feet to try to force all that bullshit into it. Like, is it actually twenty five hundred square feet, or is more is is half of that fucking drywall? No, that what, does what that has, that does nothing. What is this Wes Anderson bullshit? <laughs> it's the shot. It's the, it's this. It's it's the Wes Anderson shot. Yeah, yeah. Like the person. Oh my god! It's the the they didn't get a realtor to take the photos. The person who lives in this house took all the photos, and I know they did because of how fucking artsy they're getting. Yeah, with all it was their up. Their, they're up their own ass. I, I want answers about this fucking house right before I fucking snap. I am gonna fucking lose it. I want and well, where's the YouTube video? Link that shit, guys. Yeah, yeah. Give, um, I like if you have it. I don't know. Send it to me on Discord or something. Chatters, where's the shit? Hold on. Having to copy and paste manually. Yeah, no worries. Oh. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, Christ. Yeah. How, how do you go? Oh, I found. Oh, Fucking god damn it. Chat, I killed you. I replaced you. I replaced you with the with the YouTube video. I killed chat. That's pretty based. Oh my god, I killed chat. Release their souls. I killed chat. Someone went, finally! <laughs> <laughs> now I need you to post the link again, guys. Oh, I, I have the YouTube video. I have it. I'll send it to you. Here you go. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Shit. Ass. Come. Wait. No, yeah, I don't I have it. the YouTube video, but I do have the article. I got it. Yeah, hold on to the article. Hold on to the article. Okay, okay, okay. This is a hold off on. This is a 14 fucking minute video, though, guys. Ooh, okay. Hi everyone, my name is Ken. Welcome to this house. Today we are exploring a house built in Lafayette Square in St. Louis, Missouri. It was built around the 1860s and then in the 1970s, artist James King took over this house, stripped it down and made it his own personal work of art. Every single detail in this house has been handcrafted and is beyond anything you've ever seen. Stick around because we are- And there's a yeah, good reason that. for that. There's a good yeah. fucking reason for that. We're going to blow really? your minds. It looks like any normal house on any street in the United States. Not really. But once you start looking closer at some of the details, you notice that things are just a little bit strange. This pedestal here, we can see that it's not an actual pedestal. The top of it is made from a fruit punch bowl and a toilet plunger that have both been painted black. Fred, this is gonna get stupider and stupider and stupider. Are you ready for that? Look, I understand that taste is personal, As we but enter like- like, taste is personal, but I'm still going to judge I'll someone who eats shit. Giant... Who eats shit. Sonic meal. Sonic meal, yeah. Vaulted ceiling. And it is paired with a mirror that also goes floor to ceiling, right to the side of us. As we turn to look forward, we'll see a staircase that is encased by architectural details that just don't seem to make any sense. Now, nothing yeah. in this house is quite as it appears to be. As Herrick, Herrick puts it perfect, perfectly, houses are not art. You have to live in that shit. It needs to be functional. As we look closer at the details, um, we'll start to notice some quirky things. First, we'll enter the sunken living room that is inside of a pyramid-shaped area that is boxed in and blocking the windows from the front of the house. There's actually a skylight that allows light to trickle down into the space and illuminate it. And... There are also some interesting details here. Um, the fireplace I'm... is actually fake, and there are triangle-shaped speakers built into the wall. They're speakers. Oh, they're speakers. As well as custom so you can... art. Oh my god, so you can goon to binaural King. beats. Um, James King... Look what he had to do, because he blocked the windows. He had to add lights in the wall. He was close friends with Bob Cassily, the primary designer of the City Museum. So as we leave that room, don't even try to keep track of where we are in the 
What a fucking waste of time that room is. What a waste of fucking space that room is. Don't even try to keep track of where we are in the house, he says. Yeah. House. The use of mirrors in this space exaggerates the proportions and really lends itself to almost a fun house. I don't want to live in a fun house, man. I, 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 did, did this guy sell this? Because you get lost did so he? easily. So this, for example, as we follow the architectural elements, um, this archway, for example, connects to a column. But as we switch to the other side, the details are totally different. So every time you turn somebody bought this it. house, it's like starting over with visual mapping. Somebody fucking came in here and stripped out all of this shit. You don't know <laughs> exactly where you are. And this is kind of the central room in the house. It has a lot of natural light fed by skylights and a lot of architectural salvage used as decoration. No, yeah, this was made that, to that's, discombobulate. That's why it looks like that's why it looks like shit. Because it's it's architectural salvage. He got to put a bunch of random shit and stuck it on the walls and said, look, aren't I fancy? Look, I'm an artist. And as we look around, there are just so many little details to take in. Um, this chandelier, for example, is- Yeah? By the way, this room yeah? has absolutely no function except pissing you off. Being very low to the ground. We also have original sculpting work by Bob Cassily. As we look down through the coffee table, we'll notice that it's actually glass that's open to the basement below. So we can- Oh, what the fuck? The that's what that was. That's what that is. Fuck off. See straight up into the house from the basement, and it's kind of cool. As we rotate around, I, so just notice he, here's a little the thing: bit, that, a that, little bit. that that is a little bit cool. But the point I want to bring up, presumably, someone's got to live in this space. Yeah, that's that's the that's the problem. This this space is designed to discombobulate you, Mike. When I am at home and comfortable, I don't know about you, but. I would rather not be confused by the space I'm living in. I feel like I'm confused enough in my day-to-day -day <laughs> life. I don't need my living space to add to this. So, as we look further around this room, there are even more details to take in. And there are beams that don't make sense. You don't want to be d discombobulated and chill? There are pulleys the, at the pad? nowhere. There are even this two-story set of shutters right here that open up to a koi pond. Okay, we can see this. You're right. It's it was tiny. It's a koi pond. Oh, we're finally going to find out what the there fuck this is. Hold on. There are pulleys that go to nowhere. There are even... Pulleys that go to nowhere. This two-story set of shutters right here that... Two-story set of shutters. Open up to a koi pond that kind of serves as a courtyard. This koi pond is just so beautifully decorated and it is so unique. None of these elements. Can you pan the camera down so I can see what the fuck you're talking about, really please? Makes sense Is the window open? They are, but they all serve as decoration, and this truly is just one giant piece of art. This house. Um, I, I wouldn't. I don't want to live in a piece of art. I, I, I you know, I. A house because it really is just like. Even he, even he's like, fuck. I wouldn't live in this. One giant inhabitable sculpture that you. Inhabitable. He said he used the word inhabitable. You can live in living inside of a museum or an art I feel of it. So no, the natural light no, that's being let in no, once again is from I, a skylight. So we don't actually have any windows you, in this room that look You can live in this space in the same way that you can live in the hollowed out remains of an elephant. <laughs> and I, I thought don't want they to. smelled bad on the outside. Yeah. So that's a koi pond. You put water in there, you put it's 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 like a fish pond. You put fish in it. Whatever you do, you cannot hand it to this guy. <laughs> you, you know, you can only look at the fish from the one angle. Directly to the outside, though you would. And I still don't know what the fuck. That's where the duende was, by the way. Never. It was, yeah. If you weren't. So wait, we sit. Wait a minute, Mike, 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 Mike. I want to see through that window again. Go back just like a few seconds. That window. Is that window? This one right here? There, yeah. We see one thing that could have served as an eye. Where's the other? Notice it. I'm telling you, it's it's, it, it's closed right the now. Panels on the roof. Also, I'm assuming there's like a we tiny have... fake fake plant in there. It's being let in once again. It's... 
There's that yeah, plant from plant. a skylight. No, that's so fake. we don't actually have any windows in this room that look directly to the outside, though you would never notice it if you weren't looking for the glass panels on the roof. We can look this around is... at even more details and we can start to see how these things were made, how oh dear pieces of random debris of junk essentially were glued together nailed together yeah he doesn't yeah, he doesn't like this place he doesn't like I, it. i'm getting i'm and getting that distinct like feeling that they weren't now this isn't to excuse some of the finer things there are bits of alabaster there are pieces of marble old cast iron engraved wood junk wood it's all <laughs> over this house and we can see how the artist has kind of pieced together all of these bits of salvage as none of them quite line up and we hear those pulleys again <laughs> that don't do anything. It's just a bunch of gears that add even more mystery to the space. We're adding mystery, Mike? mystery to the space because I want mystery. Mike, remember how we were talking about that that infographic, the talking about art? Yeah, we should have like at what's that. good art and what's bad art. Yeah. This house acts as an effective argument for the accuracy of of that. That guy's argument, though, was literally just, like, if it was made past, like, you know, post, like, the no, eight, I, 1800, it sucks. No, I'm, I'm, I'm memeing. That dude is completely full of horse shit, and it, his logic and doesn't even hold up internally. No, he's a moron. Artwork on these walls, yeah. a lot of architectural... Now, he's, he's, like, some kind of fucking, like, classical, like, righty bro type fucking thing. Knowledge. Like, like yeah, it's, he's, like, it's, into some trad shit, probably. Trad traditional value art or whatever. So we can look whatever. around and see bits and pieces from the local area, from buildings that were demolished, or even just a collection of porcelain and encaustic tiles that have been framed on the wall. And then he showed the banana tape to the wall, and he's like, you know why nobody makes art like this anymore? And then he shows a picture of, like, you know, a Michelangelo sculpture, and he's like, because modern artists can't compete with it. And I'm like, does this guy really believe this, or is he some kind of grifter? Like, is as it? Well as I hope it's the second thing, because I don't want to think people are that dumb. Random bits of different. You saw that, right? Like... Show me again. No, the the I'm talking about the that that guy on Twitter. Apologies, I was I I was looking away at something for a second. I'm also like, were you very out of it? Were you talking to a chatter? No, I wasn't. The artist that Fred, Fred, yes, Frederick, cock porn. Frederick, did yeah. you bring enough cock porn for the whole class? No, but I brought enough balls. <laughs> Fred, share your cock porn with the class. <sighs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Bring enough. Do you, 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 you if you're gonna bring in cock porn, you have to bring enough cock porn for everyone, Frederick. Okay. Actually, hold on. He's gonna wolf. Think. He's gonna wolf cock me. <laughs> he's gonna wolf cock me. Buildings that are just kind of taken out of their context and displayed as artwork. There's also a bathroom off to the side here. Again, lean dude. Thanks one more time, guys. Thanks for everybody uh, uh, subbing and resubbing. So you guys are great. Thank you for a full year, dude. And Here you go. Once Have again, my cock porn. And Fred actually linked me cock porn. I I think I you just showed me this shit before, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Fuck, that's awesome. Amount of detail is exquisite. The, see, okay, you know what fine. I like about Have... this bathroom? These look like logs. Have actual cock porn. Okay. They look like logs of shit. They, so like, like nothing helps, helps you poop. It's like he ripped those off of a banister and was like, yeah, that'll do. Guys, dumpies for Zomo. Thank you for the, the prime, Zomo. Have you ever seen plywood look so elegant on the ceiling? They're even... No, I, I actually I actually marked. I didn't say it out loud, but I, I marked in my mind that it looked awful because it's plywood. I mean, like, he's saying, have you ever seen it look so good on a ceiling? And the answer is like, no, and I, I still no, have nobody... it. No, because nobody... Detail is exquisite. And I still haven't, because that... Have you ever seen plywood look so elegant on the ceiling? 
There are even bits of wood that have been used in place of grout to separate the tiles. Yeah, that looks like fucking ass! On the walls in this room. Yeah, no, The sinks bad. are completely unique. And the mirror just makes it feel like it is such an enormous space, even though it's really just your average powder room as far as size goes. As we turn the corner, we immediately come uh, to the kitchen. And I'm is this to point dude really praising him for his use of mirrors? He, he can't just go fucking full negative on this, man. He's making YouTube content. That's He's on all of the woodwork are actually the bottoms of aluminum soda cans. Ew. That have been painted. So that is yeah. a really your house is yeah. full of garbage, man. Really interesting DIY project, and this house is just full of DIY projects. I know you guys are going to see things that I'm not even going to mention, just because there's just too much to cover here. So this there is, is in, a like functional kitchen the idea house, of making man. this house and decorating it with junk is interesting in the same way that someone making a sculpture out of cow shit is interesting. <laughs> Like, wow, that sure is interesting I, that you decided to do that. Okay. Uh, I, 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 think, I think the cow shit sculpture is more interesting, frankly. And also, um, I fucking, I, there's a range, a hood, everything. It's not your traditional range by any means nothing. because it's built up on a pedestal. I'm, I'm so exhausted from this. This this listing, just this one listing. I, I had I had stamina up until like halfway through this listing. Dude, There's this is brutalizing us. Yeah. Dumb waiter that goes down to the basement. It is a dumb waiter. Here in a built-in seating area. But for that what kind purpose? Of, That's what we're calling that, a built-in seating area? It goes in an L shape around the kitchen with a display overhead. And an L shape. This is an L house. Every inch of this house is just covered <laughs> in art. So if you are feeling overwhelmed by the details... It's not just, art. It's garbage! Just, um, just skip along with me because... Every inch of this house is just covered in artwork. It's so dense. Production. Every inch of this house is so dense with content. Here are the soda cans. Every frame is so dense. And again, on the cabinets, uses decoration in the corners, as well as copper counter. This dude just wanted to justify his diet Pepsi addiction. Yeah. Backsplash. Could have refunded the cans, made a couple bucks. As we look around this house, we can really see how it embodies the viral hashtag Zillow Gone Wild in the very best of ways. N no. Not really. No, no. Now, there's really. another really interesting feature of this house. We are looking straight up into the upstairs bathroom right now. So this house was designed oh, to good. breathe. Are we being Stop. dicks about this, Fred? No, because this hole leads straight up into the bathroom. We are in the kitchen right now. There is a hole so that the shit smells can waft down into the kitchen. Uh, see, Fred, you're thinking of it glass half empty. What if the food smells waft up into the bathroom? Then I'm going to smell food and shit. <laughs> now I smell food and shit. Like, it's going to smell like shit on food. Here's, here's, what, here's what I would do. If I was ever in this house, I would go up into the, this bathroom. I would I would shit directly on this grate, and then I would <laughs> waffle stomp the, the shit. So, like, the, so if someone was in the kitchen, it would be raining feces onto them. Okay? That's what I would do. Okay? <laughs> ne never never let me into this house because I am 100% doing that, okay? <laughs> Fuck. What the waffle stomping so that air <laughs> experience of a lifetime. Air could flow throughout it. Kind of like a natural air condition. A, a singular waffle stomping experience. So this asshole is saying that it, this is doing, th this is like this because it's a natural air conditioning system, but like, but what you about, saw the, hear you me saw out. the air can, mm -hmm. hear, hear me out, it's gonna sound fucking crazy. How about an air conditioning system? Well, Mike, was that I'm glad, I'm glad you said that because go back about 10 seconds and you'll see one. They, they actually have it. Uh, I, Look. It's uh, it, it's it's above the doorway here. Uh, yeah. Now, so it, it kind of leads me to believe that this little system that they have going is not working out so great because they no oh, there's still really need an air conditioner. Of this no, it, it's We're kind of like how you get engineers who have an ideal right creation. Yeah. And it's like it never makes it past concepting or like the prototyping phase. I don't even think this is how 
like would this even work this this wouldn't even this wouldn't do anything if you did this no no like this wouldn't no. even this wouldn't work the way he thinks it does so this house was designed to breathe so that air could flow throughout it kind of like a natural air conditioning system it just allows air to more evenly flow throughout the house no i don't think it no works. no it doesn't and we can even look it, it does nothing down to the basement and we can see that the shoots, i'm they don't welcome to be up, proved but wrong they still but allow for air to breathe as we head what was that shit editing did you see that upstairs yeah there is decorative painting that goes all along the walls and the colors and the textures immediately start to change whenever you get to the top this material that's on the wall, I can't even tell you what it is. It's almost like leather, the way it feels. And, of course... <laughs> See, I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. There are more skylights that are cut into the ceiling. Those are skylights, to apparently. To allow natural light to come in. Yeah, okay. they're coming through, just, like, abscesses. Everywhere. So, here's another piece that was designed by Bob Cassily. The oh, it's hanging! Designer of the... What's hanging? Oh, 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 never mind. It's it's a mirror. City Fuck. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I yes. forgot. Fuck. He built this piece to go over the stairwell, and it is just such a unique, organic piece of architecture. And there's just That's not detail architecture. everywhere. No. I mean, no, fuck you. No, fuck you. There are also, you. like, no doors in this house, so you just, like, walk through the beads. And, oh, cool. Great. And you get to the bathroom. Oh, good. Yeah, leave Mike? the door open so you can shit in here. I Mike? think I think this is this, the the guy's intention was he wanted to smell shit all the time. I, I I was going to say that the bathroom sure seemed open. However, I would like to note that the complete lack of doors also I think spells out pretty clearly the marital status of this man. <laughs> Wait, you're telling me you're telling me this guy couldn't score? You're telling me that mm. Imagine bringing a woman back here. Right. No. Would but... you like would you like to enter my dementia mansion? Um, what do you think of my my pulleys that don't do anything, babe? That get you hot? You like that? Why are you angry and leaving? What's the matter? What did I say? Right, hey is babe. It, is it something I said? Hey babe, 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 go downstairs, go downstairs. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now 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 put the condom in the bucket and now I can <laughs> lift it up with the pulley. Isn't that cool? Oh uh, yeah, maybe his what? Maybe he started doing this shit to his house, and his wife was like, "Yeah, I'm out." <laughs> like this is a red flag. He shows her the stripper pole. Yeah, yeah. The bathroom is really elegant in its own way. It has all of this dark. Well, get dancing. Wood and dark tile, beautiful countertops. Cut up a rug. And mirrors. <laughs> it was a plus two, Fred. And Thank just you. little places to display art. But it really is clean and simple, but just very, very elegant. I would hope it's fucking clean. Is it elegant? There's even a is it... claw foot tub. Nope. That, that is not the word I would use. It's kind of in its own separate space over here. I it would use the word haphazard. Because it just has some gorgeous details on it. And then this actually does have a window to the courtyard that we saw with the koi pond. So you're still not looking at your neighbor's house if you decide to open up the blinds. As we head down the hallway, there are... Because God forbid you can see outside the house. More pieces right, yeah. of art, more fragments of pottery just displayed on the wall as if though they're in true form. True form? What? What? What does that mean? What? What? And let's take another look at this because this is just... This is just amazing right here. I've never seen anything yeah. like this in my life. So we turn the corner and we can notice that we're in a lofted space now. So we're above that central okay, room hold in the on. house. With all I've the never things. seen anything like this in my life is not necessarily a positive thing. Like, I, like I, I could see a, like a bear fucking a hollow log. And I'd be like, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Don't care to see it again, but sure was unique. It's, uh, I, I feel like he is complimenting this house, but he's also trying to be, um, I, I feel like he's, he's holding back a lot of negativity, right? Yes, absolutely. Because you want to know why I'm willing to bet yeah. that the homeowner is like hovering over his shoulder. See below us. Or he can, area. he's in the house There's and he can hear him. 
Yeah. Giant fireplace in this room is no doors. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it goes. He's hovering. He's like, oh, this is so cool. I'm gonna be on YouTube. Derp. It's floor to ceiling. <laughs> and also, and everybody's gonna see my space. So dopey I guess shit. Would kind of be like an office or like a quiet writing area or something. It's not completely closed off to the stair hall, as there's this kind of partition wall here. And yeah, that's as we that's that's keep awesome. Going, we get to kind of like the actual office space in this house. So this would have been like a real workspace where James King could have drawn or made little models, made pieces of art, and we can. You're not he, doing anything. He, no, he no, fuck have you. Had no enough space. Yeah, exactly. Fuck you. He's not doing shit in this room. I mean, maybe shit is the only thing he's doing in this room. Right. No, and like you might say, oh, he's painting in here maybe. No, because the paint fumes. He's making a cow shit sculpture in here. See yeah. that his two workspaces are separated by the living room below. Wait, and this is this the... Earlier, but I think it's important oh, to point out that's that where it this is. is the space that divides the room on the second floor. And over here mm. is just an absolute... I'm gonna fucking hurl. ...dream of a drafting studio. We have... All these different art supplies, a yeah, but giant drafting desk, and just everything an artist could ever wish for. So we'll start to head up Please to the mail. third floor now. What? And Who are you it's asking? really cool how as you head up the stairs, the bottom floor goes out of sight, and suddenly you're in the master bedroom. So this space is very light and open. I fucking despise those shingles and on the wall, dude. It also has... Oh, yeah, we didn't even point this out. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this bucket that hangs from the ceiling? Was he shit in there? What is that fucking no. bucket? What is that for? That's where he keeps the condoms for when he brings girls light. home. And the high contrast between the lighter walls and the dark ceilings, the dark furnishings, the built-in bed, it just lends itself to a very euphoric kind of feel. A very ethereal feel. Euphoric? Yeah, is that and what you're feeling? He, he, oh, I, there, there's the shoe. It's the person to the left. That's him. That's the owner. Just out of frame. We saw his. We saw his shoe. Yeah. Well, it could be one of his crew. You know, one of it those guys' be, camera crew. I, get. I don't know. Someone who wears is just like nothing I've ever seen before. It is the kind of shoe. Icon. He's saying it again. Look. Did you hear him? Mm. Did you hear him? And the visual texture in this room is just like nothing, nothing I've, I've ever, ever seen before. before. It is yeah, and there's a good fucking reason for it. Absolute eye candy. There eye candy? That's fucking... I. He's calling that eye candy. Okay. Yeah. It, no, what, what's the opposite of candy? Uh, fe feces? I, I guess. The little trinkets that... It's eye feces. I got pink eye from looking at this. I. Somebody said Mike streams. Display. <laughs> Who said that? Who the fuck said very that? Peacefully. I'm. Yeah. You know what though? I. Yeah, they're right. I'm. I'm very much waiting. Like I'm so over this hair. I need this hair. This hair to end. I need my hair to go back to normal. I, I'm. I'm done. So done with this fucking hair. <laughs> They're right. They're right. This does I, I, this does look like fucking shit. Played very tastefully, and the color balance in this room is just exquisite. No, it's not. Does he even no, know what not. these fucking words mean? No. He's calling things gorgeous and exquisite, and it's like, you just fucking call everything that? I promise you, being in here is like no space you've ever been in your life. It is... In, 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 these, in, again, these not are... necessarily in a good way. These are the words that you call a girlfriend when you've lost interest in her. Oh, you're gorgeous. Oh, you're like nobody you're I've ever yeah. dated before. You know. Right. Here's this room, and it looks like this. They paid him. They didn't pay him. Absolutely is... peaceful and completely. Oh, this guy didn't get paid for this. There are even these French doors that open up straight to the outside on the roof, and that brings you to these. I love views females. Of the city and. Should I just shave my fucking head, guys? We're still not all the way do up. It, so do it. Do it. 
and then fucking like tape it up onto the wall and be like this house is like now more artistic than this fucking house in st louis here we can start to see kind of how the house is laid up we can see skylights that allow light to trickle down into the different rooms the vents from those holes that allow the house to breathe i feel like and as we i don't feel like trickle top, down is the word i would use to describe what the light is doing more like sloughing off of the roof on the widow's walk and we can turn around and we can see the entirety of the st louis skyline from this spot this is the coolest part of the house because you're not in it anymore so this would be a great place <laughs> you can to see watch actual fireworks. architecture yeah whenever could the you arches imagine this would be an escape an escape during the yeah. summer i i i on i on ironically think I, I'm, I'm full, full serious. This, this has been said a couple times before. But like, literally buy this house and make it into a fucking escape room, like a full time escape room. Do not live in this. Yes. Like literally make this entire house an escape room. And just yeah. like totally unironically. Yeah, wow. I agree. Taking the taking the view. From like do that. Like actually do that. Here. Are, are you might. I don't know if you're like allowed to like in terms of zoning and shit like it's that. Like but being like, at the top of a one. You know how sometimes like you get people there with the Oregon pyramids. Vents that are spinning. Yeah. And they say, oh, like you, you put this here and it's going to put out good vibrations and good vibes. This is like the opposite of that. This is like a locus of bad vibes and bad <laughs> vibrations emanating out into the rest of the city. Uh, Even if other people cannot see it, they can feel it when they walk by. They feel dirtier, right? Yeah, they man. feel like something's wrong. It's fucking just... Oh, look, you can see the St. Louis arch. You see it? Yeah. There is an entire I've been up there. Entire city huh? that just yeah. adds to the backdrop. It, it's been to the, you could go to the, the top of it. There's like a little, uh, a little like uh, viewing area. And it, oh, you can see like the Mississippi River and stuff. Just it's cool. Just breathtaking whenever you're up here. There, there's nothing else like this in the city. At least good it's nothing residential the closest thing would probably be the city museum which was the third time earlier. you said that um james king was apparently very close friends with bob castley and we can definitely see the influence of bob castley's work in james king's work so i uh, okay let's go ahead and okay head okay downstairs. mike stairs mm. i feel like saying oh yeah he this the person who made this was friends with the museum director and you can clearly see his influence is like Someone saying, oh, yeah, th this person was very close friends with, um, with like, th this Japanese museum, right? And, and you can see his influence clearly on how he made his house. And then, like, the dude just has a bunch of racist caricatures, like, painted on the wall. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't mean there's taste or it's tasteful. He's got a Even fucking if the influence. He's got a like, sculpture oh, of racist Luigi. Right, people, people. <laughs> Look at the city museum in St. Louis. It tracks. The city museum isn't actually a museum. Oh, it's more head ass and bullshit. We're just going to skip through really fast to get to the garden. So yeah, there's a tiny ladder that doesn't go anywhere. Off the back of the kitchen. Whenever you walk outside in the backyard, we lose that sense that we're in a city. We feel like we could just be in our own little chunk of paradise. There are statues and waterfalls no. and bridges to nowhere. And it is just landscaped beyond. Uh, I'll, 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 no, give I, him the, I'll give him this. This is like, the... It's cute, Mike. Any, yeah. There, there is one before. thing Once that again, is being omitted from this video. The sounds sound of like the city. In a peaceful place like this in a little corner, a little a little bit of paradise that you carve out for yourself, the sounds of the city become intrusive and they are highlighted. Because of all the birds and the trees and the You might okay, this this is a kind of a courtyard situation where like okay, so there's houses on either side of him oh. and there's definitely a house behind him. Listen. He you are gonna hear the the, the the din of a fucking city when you're sitting back here. But it is going to be pretty muffled because the the buildings themselves are 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 blocking sound. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, I get what you're saying. He says it's it not doesn't completely, sound like not, a city. Not completely. But you he says are, it doesn't. Water flowing yeah. around. 
So he's saying that like the sounds mask the city sounds. Yeah. I'm doubtful. Rock has been stacked perfectly, and by the way, this was. It's not completely gonna do that. He's exaggerating. Just, with just nothing in the backyard, so everything you see has been placed by hand and is very intentional. And here's one of those bridges that I mentioned Intentionally earlier that just kind of goes to nowhere next to another bridge. This is actually nice. This is fine. I so I, I feel like I feel like I like this space. The space and. Let's notice how the ground is constantly changing. The <laughs> Wait, bricks are laid out in different patterns. There are works of art that just back up to these garden walls that you... You like the donut? That's a good donut. You couldn't see from just five feet ago whenever you were walking up on... The first wheel. <laughs> by Ugg. On it. So continuing Put on, on rock garden chain. Shed, and it is kind of made in a pagoda <laughs> style, or at least to have some sort of a semblance of a pagoda, and directly across from some it, semblance of a pagoda. pagoda <laughs> and because the semblance, there is a little footbridge that you can take to cross over to it, and you can see that the bricks here have been stacked in a way that you would not normally stack bricks. The bricks have been used as decoration. And here again, we have the aluminum cans on the outside of this pagoda that have been painted. Gross. And it's just all these little bitty details that just make this house so special. I want to give a huge shout out to the owner of this house, Fritz McAvoy, for allowing us to come film here. Once again, we were on a very tight time crunch here and only had a few minutes in this house. All right, dude, shut up. Um, I want to Jesus. go back to... um the listing for a sec because I just have some questions about whether or not it's sold and shit. So hold on. Um, Where's the, where's right here. Okay. Okay. Um, Closed. Yeah. Sold so deal's on, been closed. Uh, it sold in 2021 for, uh, oh wait. Oh, it says it's not saying how much it sold for. No, it's, that did usually it's saying how much it sold for. Yeah, four hundred k. Uh, it's back. Maybe it was meant to be yours. If I had a world of my own, everything would be nonsense. Nothing would be what it is. Because everything would be what it isn't. Bro, this is Shri. Ch What's his fucking name? Shri Chen Moy. This is his fucking poetry. And contrary wise, what is, it wouldn't be. And what it wouldn't be. And what often isn't on on. This wouldn't be what it not isn't not be. Wouldn't. Can't. This dude. This dude is styling himself like Willy Wonka, but he ends up sounding. He ends up sounding. Like the Cheshire Cat, yeah. Like right, this is like it, it's it's not even good though, right? No, like, it's I'll fucking listen to cringe. The Cheshire Cat talk <laughs> makes sense. Do you take cash? This is entirely <laughs> bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret. All the best houses are no sunken conversations no. rise to incredible heights. Oh, because there was a sunken conversation pit, Fred. Remember? Mm -hmm. It's pretty funny, yep. right? Yeah. Tables that clearly show the wonders of the deep because of the, the glass table. Mike, I think I can earnestly say I do not ever want to hear a conversation between anyone who would willingly spend their time in this house. Waterfalls and rooftop gardens outside inside and angles of peculiar destinations something's real something's created all things coming together to form an unexpected adventure through the mind of a visionary man this could be your dream and you could decide where it goes from here imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality fuck that's unhinged this Dude, sounds I, th th this sounds this sounds like the opening to a product pitch for like an apple presser to make apple juice 
or a uh, right like like he opens yeah. with this broad prose and then it's like i introduce to you the apple <laughs> presser <laughs> right. um I, I, okay i'm gonna be real with you this real estate agent this was written by the real estate agent you think so yes i do and i'm gonna tell you oh wait listing provided by fritz mcavoy mcavoy yeah, realty yeah that's the fucking listing agent so but didn't the fucking guy in that video also say that fritz mcavoy owned the house yes he did so the the agent is the owner he's he, yes. he he apparently he is he is a real estate agent though he is a realtor yes and why the fuck did he buy this he bought it for himself he likes it and I, I, now he's he he, I, he, oh, he he loves he, it he loves it he loves it no okay mike i'm actually there are two possibilities that i am willing to court yeah one is that he loves it and he wants to share it the other is that he tried living in it and it started driving him mad and now he's just <laughs> desperately trying to foist it on someone as evidenced by the contents of this paragraph he is fucking right. insane right just like oh the magic of the mind and oh we fight reality with art yeah please fucking buy it please buy it i don't want this anymore y you know what it is like any real estate agent that he tried to list with saw this and noped the fuck out so he actually had to get a fucking like he went and got like a, a, a brokerage license and became a real estate agent himself so he could fucking list this himself right because yeah, no. I, I like i like the idea that chad is suggesting that this house is a curse and the only way to pass it on is to sell it <sighs> kind of like the mannequin house right mm -hmm. um fred yes that article that you found pretty much is just going to have the same shit we just saw in that video, right? I could I could skim it if you'd like and, and oh. double check. Let I think. Take, let me take um, a look. I think what we're going to do is probably wrap up here soon, really soon. We are going to have a community media share segment. But one more time, because I know a lot of you are not going to stay for the community media share segment. I need to request that you check out the links that I'm posting in chat. Follow me on Twitter and all that shit. YouTube and join our Discord server. There's a link to the Discord server. Similarly, you should um, you should follow my buddy Fred uh, on Twitch. He's on YouTube. Don't we have a, a shill command for him, guys? Didn't didn't we do that shill for? Yeah. Yeah. There's I, all Fred. I, there's I all still, Fred shit. Follow Fred. It's been it's been a while, but I still make down the rabbit hole. Uh, my graphic He's, designer is. He is almost done with this with one section, and then he'll have one more section left. That's it. Two, uh, two more, two more sections of animation left. Freaking sweet, Lois. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, but I I hope people like it. Um, so yeah, we got a couple of things here. I'm gonna start with this. Is from Ender Dev. It just says so head. The head. head you can anyone? relive the glory days of not having green blue hair. <laughs> God, I miss those days. <laughs> uh, what a fucking mistake this was. Thank you, Ender Dev. Please don't do anything nefarious with that render, please. Thank you. Uh, we also got this. It's from Pig Wrestler, and it's some absolutely beautiful uh, colored pencils, I want to say. Art. Oh, look, Lauren's in the water. There's a little... um. Or he's, um, like, hanging out on top. Jabroni Mike-themed version of uh, Statue of Liberty. Really cool. And, guys, again, thank you so much for hanging out tonight and supporting this channel. I want to thank the people who subbed, the people who resubbed, the bits. Guys, thank you so much for supporting my shit. Um, and, Fred, yeah, thanks for being here, bud, of course. Dude, of course. You, you um, know I love this. This is from Weirwolfy. It is a Joker referencing last night's stream. A Joker composed of Agas. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> oh my god. Um, why so? 
Aga. Um, and there's a video here from Red Carnation that I would very much like to see. I'm here for this. Oh, oh, oh my God. Um, let's take a link in source. Okay. Let's take a little peek. A uh, little peek at this. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm a little drunk right now, but I'm laughing my ass off because Glock is literally the most sexless being ever brought into creation. Look at him. On a fox scale of 0 to 10, <laughs> he's easily a minus 30. He's nothing. He's a gormless hamster who eats cheese. He's like a Mormon fantasy. What have I ever done to oh, shit. this badly? I just try to make the world a better place with my penis sucking. And you come for <laughs> that, like this. My penis sucking. Oh, it's fucking great. Oh, thank you, Red Carnation. <laughs> his, his, his voice is top tier. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, listen, guys. You don't get the reference? Oh, let me hook you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, friends. Did you have a lot of fun with the videos? Do you want more? Subscribe to our channel to have more fun with me. Click here to continue watching more such beautiful sing-song rhymes. All right, so... Show every version of this. I, I don't know where the other ones are. Um... <laughs> so fucking... Again, thanks so much for watching, everybody. And um, I think, yeah, let's not wait six months to do this again, Fred. No, absolutely. I uh, have. I mean, we have tons of material. I guys, okay, let, let me put it this way. One, let me, one second. Uh, hold on. Let me just, st Fred, don't look at the screen for a second. Okay. Okay. Uh, hold on. We had. Hold up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There were ten listings that I wanted to um, to look at tonight that we didn't get to. And some of these are fucking awesome. Like, actually, honestly, the ones that are left most mostly are cool. Like, I feel like we need to re-up on dumb ones. So if you got any dumb ones, send them my way, guys, all right? Uh, so, YouTube. Mike, I, uh, actually, I, I, have, I have a proposal. Um, yep. Yeah, we, we would love contributions, obviously. Um, but also, going through... Uh, that, that like, what? Instagram please, account? Well, um, uh, you said it was Instagram, hate right? These things. Yeah, um, yeah, on Instagram, please hate these things. Um, I would... Like, we could maybe, in between the cool listings, look at a bunch of stuff from Dog Please shit. Hate These Things. Yeah, a bunch of dumb shit. Yeah, like, sprinkle, there's... Sprinkle them in. Like, there's houses here that are just f beautiful. Uh, I, uh, we'll, we'll, I won't spoil them. We'll, we'll do it, uh... Yeah, I don't know. We do got to spread these out a little bit. Maybe in, like, a couple months, a month or two? I mean... Something like that? If, like, I, I am down... I am very down. Um, cool. All right. Uh, I'm going to end this stream, and I have to get the fuck out of this chair. My ass hurts. I need to have a second Holy meal shit. in two days. Fred's got to go eat because he's dying, apparently, it sounds like. And, I... guys, here, okay, let me, let me talk about tomorrow. Okay, first of all, Fred's going to debut his new uh, uh, VTuber model on Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific. Um, mm -hmm. I'll go check it out. Show, show, yep. show him some support. Uh, 2.30 p.m. Pacific. Uh, Pacific. I actually, tomorrow, I'm going to have to start a stream late. If I stream tomorrow. But I might fucking actually, I might get to stream Starfield tomorrow night. Oh. If you get a key, right? Yeah, I might get a key for Starfield t tomorrow night. For tomorrow Ooh. night. Um, If not... I think I'm gonna stream it Friday. I don't. We'll we'll see. Um, isn't Thursday your soft break day? Not if I can stream Starfield. 
So, I mean, that that's the exact... If I, 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 if I can't stream Starfield tomorrow, I'm not going to stream, and I'll fucking stream it Friday. But if I can, I'm going to fucking... Um, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Promise, but it'll be late. Promise not to hold back on bashing it if it's crap. No, I'm oh, not no, going to hold back I, on it. I, I think that historically we have a pretty good record of like being like, this house sucks, but I like this element. Yeah. Right? Like, I, I think that... And then oh, well, they're looking talking about at houses Starfield. that we love and we're like, oh, the, oh, Starfield. Oh, I'm stupid. All right. Um, if you pre-ordered it, it goes live tomorrow at 9 p.m. EDT. Well, I, I think that might be when I get to play it, and that's, like, around the time that I would probably have to start the stream anyway. So maybe probably closer to actually, like, to 10, realistically, because I'm going to have to install this game, and it's a big game, and, like, the first time set up, and... Um, all right, whatever. Guys, I will see you either tomorrow or friday and yeah thanks again for watching everybody and fred thanks again for being here buddy i had a lot of fun with you tonight dude of course i'm i'm glad to be out of my work hole and able to do stuff again let's work hole. like yeah i was I, I i was stuck in a hole for a long time and i, I have climbed out and Get i'm out very the hole, happy about son. all right guys have a great night everybody buona notte Oh! <laughs>